Awaken 180. Awaken 180 travels with you, and I'm eating all sorts of foods, salmon, ground beef, broccoli, cabbage, collard greens, you name it. It's not a lie when I say I'm eating to lose weight is the only way to lose weight. Do what we all did, Matt, Mike, and myself. Call Awaken 180 Weight Loss, 844-346-1800. That's 844-346-1800, or go online, awaken180weightloss.com. This is the flagship station of the Jacksonville Jaguars. WJXLAM and FM, Jacksonville Beach, 1010XL, home sweet home of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, and he's listening to the Nimnik Outdoor Show. With tips and stories. Presented by Duck Duck Rooter Plumbing and Septic Services. Every Saturday morning, 7 to 10. On 1010XL. Imagine driving a late model Corvette, BMW, Mercedes, Lexus, Honda, Chevy, Ford, and more. All at a fraction of the original sticker price. Visit Vaughn Motor Group's indoor showroom and browse a great selection of dream cars that are inspected with warranties. Before you make your next auto purchase, check out Vaughn Motor Group on San Jose Boulevard or at VaughnMotorGroup.com for a complete inventory listing. If you can dream it, you can drive it at Vaughn Motor Group. Big Chief Tire guarantees quality service at every visit. Frank Ramsey here. Right now, take $50 off a new set of tires to stay worry-free on the road. Plus, with Big Chief's tire protection plan, you can enjoy free tire repairs and replacements for up to three years. Don't let worn-out tires slow you down. Stop by Big Chief and experience the difference today. Visit BigChiefTire.com or call 904-932-0950 to schedule an appointment for one of their five locations. Big Chief Tire. Keeps jacks rolling. If you're a business owner and want to learn about federal, state, or local government contracts, plan to attend a free online webinar April 23rd. The Florida Apex Accelerator, in partnership with UNF, provides expert guidance and consultations at no cost. The Apex Accelerator program can make selling to the government less complicated. To attend the free coffee and contracting webinar April 23rd, register at unf.edu slash sbdc. Then select training and event tab divorce men only.com this is kenny lay of kenny lay and associates our firm specializes in representing men in family law that's all we do that's our only focus we can help with all of your family law needs such as divorce custody alimony and child support for over a decade we have helped thousands of men with these types of issues we even have an appellate division ready to challenge a judge's ruling if you need a family law attorney go to divorce men only.com divorce men only.com Offices Jacksonville. Mueller Air Conditioning presents Are You Cool? Today's challenger, a corporate management manager from Jacksonville, Florida. Meet Les Blankston. Yeah, hi, Bob. That is a remarkably beige suit there, Les. Tell us, why are you on the show? <laughs> well, I just replaced my old air conditioner with a new one from Bueller, and I'm just so comfortable these days. I wondered, am I? cool now? Let's find out, Les. Go ahead and spin the wheel. (laughs) That's right, Les. By upgrading your old AC to a more energy-efficient model from Bueller Air Conditioning, you'll save money, save energy, and proudly show your family that you are cool. Do you think I should get a mohawk? Uh, Pace yourself, Les. Stay cooler with Bueller. Visit BuellerAir.com. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Coogan Nation, time to rise and shine and start your day with Duval Sports Media Big Steppers. Dan Hickett. You know it! Jeff Proctor. It's a big deal. Gosh, it sure is a big deal. And E to the T. E.T. is in the booth. <laughs> Rise and hey, shine. Go, kids, go time on a Wednesday morning. Hump day, stump day around these parts. It's the Petros Plumbing Wednesday. Let's see what we do with Get Smart John here in about an hour. It was certainly a late season of discontent if uh, you're a Jaguar fan. For all of us that watch the complete and utter collapse of the 2023 regular season. 
I mean, just an absolute debacle. And after all that, yesterday, I guess the beginning of a fresh start, there certainly are some new faces in this locker room being counted on uh, to to wipe out uh, the memory of the end of last year. I was I was thinking, what a what a run this franchise was on, right? There was that 17 game stretch where we had the second best record in the league behind the Chiefs. You factor what they did down the tail end of 22 and how 23 started and just a combination of, of <laughs> multiple bad things led to what we saw at the end of 2023. And so now 2024, after some dabbling in free agency, some subtractions, some additions. The offseason program began yesterday. Nothing on the field for a while, but a chance for Doug Peterson to welcome the 2024 season. We've had a lot of time from our last game to now. We've had a lot of time. A lot of time to think about the direction in which we're going. I think that's the most important thing. Is that we got to get better every single day. We can't be satisfied with just being satisfied. We can't be satisfied with just being average. We can't be satisfied with just being ordinary. No. No. we got leaders in this room. We've got Super Bowl champions in this room. We've got guys that have been there and done that in this room. That's the culture we've started. That's the culture that we're going to continue to have. Every day. Every day we attack the classroom. Every day we attack the practice field. Okay? Every, every day is an opportunity to get better. Coaches and players. Coaches and players. Every single day. Okay? And it starts yesterday. Look, this is you can't get on the field, but that's this is an important time. You've got all the new faces, some very important, and we've gone through the free agent class, and it just seems like overall it's it's just kind of a a, a balance, isn't it? Maybe I, I really think the key for twenty twenty four. Uh, and et, good morning. How are we? So I pass say, Jeffrey. Um, it, it just and look, this is the case probably at every NFL team, and this is an un probably real realistic uh, expectation. It's the injuries. Got to stay away from the injuries. And Trevor's injuries down the stretch and trying to play through them. We're going to hear from Trevor Lawrence. He met, met the masses yesterday with the declarations for a 24, and he, and he talks about that fine line between playing football when you're hurt or hurting your team by playing football. I'm not sure Trevor necessarily hurt the Jaguars. I don't know if a replacement on the roster would have been any better in the situations we were in, but he wasn't good enough down the stretch. That's for sure. And we, um, everyone recognizes that, including uh, his head coach and him himself. So you're going to hear from uh, Trevor Lawrence, also hear from Foyer Lulkin, who's kind of taken over, right, as a defensive leader uh, on this football team. He got the contract extension this offseason. So we got Jack's talk, issues and angles with the draft now just a week and a day away. Next Thursday night, if there's no pre-draft shuffling, uh, we'll be the proud owners of the new 17 pick. So we'll see who that is, what position they go, and we have uh, talked to that one to death, uh, certainly at this point. Well, E.T., what did I tell you about the play the, the play in that I just I'm I, I'm trying really hard not to just call a dumb idea? What I said about the play in. And the incredible risk that the NBA puts on itself by playing these really meaningless games. NBA teams play 82 games. Take the top eight in each league. If you're barely ninth, oh well, see you next year. Enjoy the lottery. The biggest reason. And before we get to last night and the reason manifesting, just take a look at tonight's Eastern Conference. One through six are set. Six pretty good teams. You know what? Seven and eight are pretty good teams too. Nine and ten are not. So let's run Joel Embiid and his injury history out for a meaningless game against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. Let's do that to get a one-night audience. Never mind potentially losing Embiid or at a bio or pick a star. Pick a, pick a player who could really influence what happens in the postseason? 
yeah, let's run that risk so that at the end of the day, most likely, Philadelphia and Miami are going to be the seven and eight seeds in some order. Yeah, let's do that. We'll let Chicago and Atlanta play some idiotic game. It looks like some wreck game. And whoever loses is going to have to go. And then let's put either Embiid or Jimmy Butler or whoever you want to put, insert name here, let's expose them to injury another game before the real postseason starts. And we take you to New Orleans last night where the Pelicans and Lakers are playing one fantastic game. Lakers built an 18-point lead. New Orleans charges down the stretch. It gets to be a back-and-forth bucket fest. And there is no doubt who is leading the charge for the New Orleans Pelicans. We have a Zion Williamson sighting for those who haven't paid any attention and perhaps peeked in last night. Zion is bumping and banging and rising to an already 40-point effort. He hits a layup to tie the game at 95-95 late in the fourth. And guess what happened? Zion hurt himself. Don't know what it is. Walked to the bench area, immediately taken to the locker room, threw his towel as he walked back toward the tunnel, and his night was over. Williamson out of the equation for the remainder of that game. Who knows for now another Injury opportunity, that's what I'll call the play-in. It's time for the NBA's injury opportunity. They don't they don't market it that way, do they? So Zion, with 40 and 11 last night, and quite honestly, probably a few more buckets to come the way that game was trending. Instead, you wonder if he'll even be available. You're saying it's a hamstring. There you go. There you go. Was it worth it, NBA? Or should maybe you just have sent the Lakers and Pelicans in as the 7 and the 8? And have Zion Williamson at at full go. It's just, it seems uh, certainly unfortunate. I won't use the word unfair. I mean, the NBA players and teams know what the deal is when the season starts. But man, (laughs) this is the danger. This is the danger of playing two or three, I guess it would be two, four, six meaningless basketball games, man. Meaningless basketball games to reward what? The Atlanta Hawks for their eight games under 500 season? Speaking of injury opportunity, if you're a Hawks fan, let's hope six or eight of these jokers go out for a year. (laughs) Yeah, so the Lakers um, uh, do enough late. LeBron kind of had an off night, but he hit a big shot late. Uh, D'Angelo Russell clanked everything for the second half until he hit a three-pointer with uh, less than a minute to go, gave the Lakers a four-point lead. They hold on to win. And so now New Orleans, I would say most likely without Zion Williamson, will uh, host the Sacramento Kings. That's because, meanwhile, we saw the death of a dynasty last night, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And it went out feeble. They took our guy, Clay Thompson, out behind the barn. Yeah, he's 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 glue today. They, they, they put old Clay in the glue factory after last night's uh, Bon Voyage. Do you see Clay Thompson's stat line? Oh, yeah, Ofer. 0 for 6 from the field, 0 for 10, uh-huh. over 0 for 6 from 3, over 0 for 10 from the field, and in what would very likely be Clay Thompson's last game as a Warrior. It's not been a good-looking season for him. He'll be whining about something today. No points. Scoreless. And thus the death of a dynasty. Uh, Draymond Green is just aged into a distraction. Steph Curry is approaching mid-30s. Clay Thompson plays playoff games where he can't score a point. Yeah. The 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 Warriors dynasty is dead. No more titles for Steph and the guys. No no pieces you could add to Steph that would be enough. We'll just now watch the tail end of a remarkable career for him and wonder do you, does Clay Thompson come back for a million? I mean, gosh, that's maybe about 900,000 more than he seems like he's worth this morning. And Draymond and his effectiveness is now just a hit or miss proposition. They're not really loaded with young talent. They're still a decent basketball team, but no more decent than with those guys. They were the 10 seed, so let's keep that in mind. Season over, dynasty dead. Kings just beat the tar out of them, by the way. The Pelicans do have this, despite the uh, NBA deciding to just 
take Zion out of the equation for the rest of the year. The Pelicans do have this going for them. Remember how lopsided this season series was against the Lakers? Lakers had swept them. They won all three games. They won one of those NBA uh, Cup games by 40. What's the exact opposite with Sacramento coming to town? New Orleans went 5-0 and against the Kings this year. It's only the second time in NBA history that one team went 0-5 against another. But again, the league in its infinite wisdom has added play-in games to teams that qualified as top eight over an 82-game season, and they've lost. This would have been a great breakout time for Zion. He's been out of sight, out of mind, you know? Watching him play in the playoffs, would, would have been it would have been good. Uh, but instead, it's not. He was balling too. Whew. He was. He was. He was just. He looked good. He was going right at AD and LeBron. Just going right at him, rising up, chest bump me. I'm putting this thing in. Forty points and eleven rebounds last night before um, it it went um, south. We got the Murphy Power Hour today, so we'll be talking some uh, Major League Baseball and more with our guy Daniel Murphy. I don't know if it's too early for a Shazam spotlight, but I, I, I got to, I, I got to, this dude, Jack Caglione, man, Jack Tani, down in Gainesville. Yeah, that boy raw. Okay. Um, Florida play, I, Florida played JU last night. And, um. Uh, the Gators uh, won. They avenged a loss to JU earlier this year. They beat the Dolphins 12-1 last night. But the story, Shazam, brought to you by ShazamAuto.com and the Murray Ford Superstores. Wasn't close. Gators run ruled them. But the story here is Jack Caglione, who last night, think about what I'm about to tell you, hit a 516-foot home run. Shazam! Five hundo. As a comparison, since stat tracking in Major League Baseball started, no one's ever hit a 500-foot home run. Never mind 516. In fact, Google machine for me in there, ET. Look up the longest home runs in Major League history. Now, there have been some shots back in the day from Babe Ruth. I know Reggie Jackson hit a ball out of Tiger Stadium where they have estimated how far the ball may have gone and big stories. But I'm talking about in the stat cast era where they literally, using the you know technology of ball flight and ball speed, can tell you exactly how far said home run would have traveled. Uh, when I Google it, it says in 1987, a gentleman by the name of Joey Meyer... Okay. Hit one 582 feet. I don't think that's Major League. Is that Major League? Was he playing uh, for the Rockies or was that? I think that was a minor league um, stat. I think. I think I remember that. That, uh, by the way, is stupid. I, it doesn't seem like it'd be. Did it land in the back of a train? Well, it was in Mile High. So So it was. It was a Rocky? It's, All right. Well, uh, what's second? All right. Let's see. Hold on a second. Hold on. I don't remember very many 500 foot home runs. We'll just put it that way. And even in that year that E.T. referenced, I don't know if we're within that specific, you know, if you watch a baseball game now, by the time the guy rounds home, they give you his exit velocity, his launch angle, and the projected distance. I don't know if we were that quite in lockstep when uh, that home run was recorded, but good grief, 582, that's even uh, sicker. <laughs> um, but yeah, 516 for Jack Caglione. But Mark just, McGuire. What, how long he hit one? 487 feet. Okay, that's 487, see? In 1998. Yeah, I don't think there's another, I don't think there's a five foot, a 500 foot homer in the majors. Mm-mm. Not in the. Andres in the, Galarraga, 468. Yeah, see, that's, that. by the way, 468, that is uh, 50 feet shorter than the one Caglione hit last night. 560 feet. We are talking about. Five five sixteen about a what a hundred and fifty yards would be four hundred and fifty feet. You know four eight, eight. You know you're talking about hitting a ball, a baseball like a hundred and eighty yards. Et, hundred and seventy yards. He he hit a baseball a hundred and seventy yards. He stood in the in the back of the end zone at. 
at the stadium at Everbank on the north end zone, and he hit it up into the upper deck in the south end zone. That's how far he hit the baseball. And yeah, they use aluminum bats. I get it. I don't know where it would rank against a uh, uh, college, but sure, the 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 aluminum bat makes a difference. But the aluminum bat's you know been around for a while in college baseball. But okay, wait. But wait, there's more. He has hit a home run in 17 of the last 21 games. Shazam! Is that is that right? I, it's gonna have to verify. The 516 is enough. I'll leave the Shazam with the 516 in the win over uh, JU. Uh, he also pitches. He's ranked right now as the fifth uh, number five prospect. Boy, ironically, the, the Gators may miss the postseason. They are just having a god-awful year. This is the first really dominant midweek performance they've had in a while. They're just 19 and 17 uh, on the year, but they have two consecutive wins for the first time since April 2nd, so there is that. But Jack Caglione, 5 17 last night and the Shazam Spotlight brought to you by my friends at the Murray Ford Superstores. Let's come back. Let's get into some Jaguars talk here from Trevor Lawrence. You know, uh, how does he feel first and foremost? Boy, you forget. I thought to myself, man, they sure seem like they're back quick. And then I thought, man, they've had three and a half months off, right? Postmortem pressers came about January 10th. So January, February, March, April, you know, three months. And so back at it, at least inside the building, uh, for some uh, team building, some game, you know, some 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 game plan introduction and more. So we're up and at him here on a Beach Rose Plumbing Wednesday. We've got to get smart John today. We have uh, the Murphy Daniel Murphy Power Hour talking to hardball. We got the high school report today. What we got today? E? Oh, we got Bishop Kenny weightlifting. Okay. Yeah. Them, so them boys pushing that weight around. Maybe I can get them to lift up a you know hicking over their head and you know do a pile driver or a suplex or something. <laughs> Dang. The old school NWA wrestling. Listening to The Drill on 1010XL, 92.5 FM. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. Get Florida Gators play-by-play on 1010XL. The Gators hope for harmony in Music City, Florida Vanderbilt. Thursday and Friday night and Saturday afternoon on 1010 AM. Let Hottest Mazda find the perfect Mazda SUV just for you. Lauren Brooks here. Transition from city streets to off-road trails in a newly leased 2024 Mazda CX-50 for only $316 a month. Or lease the stunning five-passenger 2024 Mazda CX-30 for only $298 a month. Our professional non-commissioned sales team always puts your best interest first. Plus, every vehicle purchase comes with two years free maintenance. Visit Hodges Mazda today or shop online at HodgesMazda.com for the Hodges Mazda difference. To deliver details, lease terms, and fees for qualified applicants expires April 30th, 2024. Life isn't the same without live music. Players Grill Mandarin has Samuel Sanders performing covers and original music this Saturday at 8 p.m. Jam out with this local singer-songwriter while enjoying tasty food everyone can enjoy. Players Grill Mandarin, where the neighborhood meets. This is Ace Carline for QC Kinetics. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics now. They've got two great locations. Call for a free consultation at 904-274-5522. That's 904-274-5522. And go see them, Mandarin and Ponte Vedra. You can get in. They've got availability. You need to give them a call. Stop dealing with pain in your hips and your shoulders and your knees. Steroids, surgery, drugs, these are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. Give QC Kinetics a call today. Again, 904-274-5522. Go see them in Mandarin and Ponte Vedra. That's QC Kinetics. I'm here with Danny Van Sickle, director of the Electrical Training Alliance. Danny, tell me about your program. Hey, Rick. We're a five-year electrical apprenticeship. Our students start out making over $40,000 a year and right now graduate making over $90,000 a year, including benefits. There is no tuition or no student debt. You just have to apply and get accepted. Did you say no tuition and no student debt? You heard that right, Rick. Once you're accepted to the program, your only cost are the books and the course fees, about $800 a year. That sounds like an amazing opportunity. How can I learn more? Just go to etajax.org and you can apply there. Apply by May 23rd. A lot of companies will tell you they're the best. At Custom Tree Surgeons, they show you. 
every time. Custom Tree Surgeons has built an all-pro team. Every tree service professional has years of experience, continually trained and certified. They know what, when, and how to handle any job. It gets done efficiently and quickly by a team of experts. So for tree trimming, removal, stump grinding, and emergency services, forget any name other than Custom Tree Surgeons. There is no job they can't do better. Go to website customtreesurgeons.com. That's customtreesurgeons.com. And let them show you how the job is supposed to get done. D.D. Beecher's from Beecher's Plumbing here. A lot of plumbing companies say a lot of things. We focus on what customers say. Like who a few weeks ago, Donna, said the entire experience was the best fix-it experience she ever had. Or Chris, whose hot water went out on a Saturday, and he thanked us for getting it fixed that night. Because that's the difference when you hire a real plumber. They show up to fix the problem. So next time you need a plumber, remember Beatrice Plumbing. Because real plumbers fix problems real fast. See the world through the eyes of a linebacker. I tell it like I see it, and I see it like a middle linebacker. Tom McManus joins Jaguars today every Friday morning. Period. Brought to you by Renewal by Anderson Windows and Doors on 1010XL. You don't have to be a football star to get a signing bonus. The team at Republic Services needs your skills, and they're paying up to $5,000 for you to join the roster. You'll be joining a winner. As an essential business, the Republic Services trucks have not stopped rolling with hourly and weekly pay and better benefits and vacation packages than the rest of the league. Driver trainees, $1,000 sign-on bonus. CDL drivers, $3,000. Diesel mechanics, $5,000 bonus. Join the winning team at Republic Services today. Visit republicservices.com. Equal opportunity and Hacker here, and I'm loving the doors that are now opening now that I'm down almost 50 pounds. Oh, yeah. And those results are in just seven weeks with Awaken 180 weight loss. By doors, I mean opportunities I've avoided because of my weight. Like an all-day adventure to SeaWorld or spending three days at Walt Disney World. Did I gain the normal five to ten pounds I would have at Disney? Of course not. In fact, I lost three pounds last week at Disney thanks to the good folks at Awaken 180. Awaken 180 travels with you and I'm eating all sorts of foods, salmon, ground beef, broccoli, cabbage, collard greens, you name it. It's not a lie when I say I'm eating to lose weight is the only way to lose weight. Do what we all did, Matt, Mike, and myself. Call Awaken 180 Weight Loss, 844-346-1800. That's 844-346-1800 or go on Online, awaken 180 weight loss.com bring your guns and bring your hoses and we're ready to put up some punches it's guns and hoses charity boxing it's back it's that time bell time in fact 6 30 saturday april 20th join us at unf arena dan and i there for the millionth year in a row it is so much fun this charity boxing and it's serious and it's fun and it's impactful and you're gonna have a great time by the way street party before and after the event make it a day saturday april 20th bell time 6 30 unf arena guns and hoses Jimerson Burr is a full-service Florida-based commercial law firm that has experience and capabilities to handle any legal issue a business is confronted with. Learn more about what they can do for you at jimersonfirm.com. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. <sighs> All right, back here on The Drill. It's a Beatrice Plumbing Wednesday. Like family, Beatrice is there. Go to BeatrosePlumbing.com. I mean, whether it's uh, just uh, a plumbing emergency uh, or plumbing plans, any and all jobs. It's Beatrice Plumbing and BeatrosePlumbing.com. So the Jags will pick uh, next week number 17 in the first round. We've had a bevy of first-round picks, right? I mean, the... More than one year, we've had two in the first round. Two years that we picked number one, we we parlayed it with a second first round pick. Uh, one of them has worked to a degree. Travis Etienne, the other Devin Lloyd, uh, still emerging, right? The Muma pick is a head scratcher after he really lost all his playing time last year, and they signed you know Aluka and now extended him. That's uh, looking more and more kind of like a wasted third rounder. But the Jags have had a lot of first-round picks at their disposal. They should be building a good team, and they should remain good 
if they're doing their homework and making the right picks, that that 2020 draft it just continues to haunt us with C.J. Henderson and Caleb on Jason, considering what was drafted right around them. Just haunting, hauntingly bad. Double dip miss. Did we get LaVisca in that draft also? Uh, it's, it's so forgettable, I don't know. I've erased it from a hard drive. But how about this one? When the draft rolls around next week and the Rams pick in the 20s, consider this fact, E.T. If they stay there, Sean McVay will make his first first-round pick as a head coach of the Rams since he was hired in 2017. Now, they had taken Jared Goff overall number one the previous year, 2016. But all the wheeling and dealing that the Rams have done for veteran personnel and deadline trades, we, we've documented how they built it that way. It really is amazing that Stafford and McVay had them back as a playoff team last year. The way the Rams did it, you're supposed to bottom out for a couple of years before you can get your feet under you. So just the fact that they've remained relevant, and in part because of great drafts outside of not having first-round picks— Let's don't lose sight of this. How do you survive with no first-round picks? You draft Cooper Cup in the third. You draft Puka Nakua in the fifth, sixth. You draft those two defensive linemen who each had eight, nine sacks last year in the mid-rounds. That's how. You draft running backs who are just fine in round five. But here's what happened since McVay got the job in 12... 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Seven years in a row, he's won a Super Bowl. He's been to a Super Bowl, back to the playoffs, all without a first-round pick. They sent their 2016 and 2017 first-rounder to Tennessee to get golf the year before. They sent New England their 2018 first-rounder for Brandon Cooks. Oof. Wow, that seems steep in hindsight, right? First-rounder for Brandon Cooks? Yep. In 2019, they actually had a first-rounder, but they traded back for more picks from Atlanta. They traded their 20 and 2021 picks to us for Jalen Ramsey. And then they traded their 22 and 23s along with Jared Goff to Detroit for Matthew Stafford. Haven't had a first-round pick since 2016. Wow. Uh, Jags, on the other hand, have had a ton. Trevor Lawrence. Key, most key among them. With his team as the offseason workout program began yesterday, first is uh, comments on what this three month sabbatical has been like for him. It's been good. It's been really good. It's been nice, uh, you know, physically being able to get healthy and kind of get back in the swing of things. Um, been able to travel a little bit, do some stuff, and now we're, we're back rolling. It comes quick, but just excited to be back, obviously, with, with the guys that were here and some of the new guys in here. So it's, it's exciting to get everybody back together. All right, says he's uh, taken a while, but he feels 100%. Asked about the addition of uh, Gabe Davis, which is really just an offset move with Calvin Ridley having moved on. Gabe seems just like a super hard worker from what I've heard about him. Um, He's a guy that that likes to work, wants to work, really competitive, um, goes about his business the right way. Obviously, you know, we haven't got a chance really to work together much yet, but um that that's starting now. So it'll be it'll be great to to see him move around. And I know he's he's getting back healthy. Talk about just a lingering disappointment from 2023, but first, let's talk about where we are right now, a starting point of what needs to be an aggressive mentality for this football team. You know, we got to attack this offseason and be really intentional. There's very tangible things that we need to get better at. Obviously, I'm not going to go into all the details right now, but um, there's things we need to get better at, you know, for myself, for us as an offense, as a team, um, and we kind of just put all those out there, and, and now we're all on the same page of where we're heading, where we're going, what we need to work on. So I think it's it's necessary to do that at the beginning of the offseason. So you're not just – the worst thing you want to do is you don't want to waste time. You don't want to just come here and work out and go home and really not know where you're heading and what you want to work on. So I think it was good to get everybody centered and know where we're, where we're going. Jaguars also – listen, there's, there's different ways to deal with failure. You know, I've, I've referenced this over and over. I apologize if you're hearing it for the second or third time. But the Chargers – collapse and just from a game sure seemed to linger out in Southern California. And then it was piled on with injuries and other stuff, but they never got over blowing that 27, nothing lead to the Jags. We did the equivalent over the final quarter of a season 
um, just a total, total dejected feeling inside and outside of the organization here, really up and down the entire First Coast. They need to use that as fuel, at least according to their quarterback. Yeah, it was obviously a disappointing season. Um, I mean, some of the stuff that I said after the year, but I, I think just being removed from it, it's a lot easier to see the good um, after the fact. Not necessarily the good things that happened, but use the bad things as good and to, to make yourself better moving forward. I mean, there's just so many things that I learned last season, whether it's, you know, trying to stay healthy and, and dealing with some things that I haven't had to deal with in my career or not playing as consistent as I wanted to play and to finish the year, whatever it may be, maybe not meeting some expectations that we had for ourselves as a team, not playing well in big games, all these things that have gone through my head. I think you being removed from it, you can, you can take stuff from that and use it to make you better in the moment. It's hard to see the big picture. So I'm thankful for that. All right. Listen, p- part of it is playing healthy, being smart, um, when you do play injured, and we're going to hear from him on that in just a second. Um, Look, he said he's had conversations. It's just, you know, it's obvious. I think it'll behoove the Jags to do the deal as quickly as you can. The prices aren't going to go down as we move forward, and regardless of whether or not you're happy with the pace of progress for Trevor Lawrence, we damn sure don't want to start over at the position. He's shown more than enough to grow into a – Championship winning quarterback, if you ask me. So, so you a sign right now? Yeah, I just sign right now. You bet I would. Um, I would too. Yeah, but especially we know, we know he's our future. We know has to be right. Him. We're gonna ride or die with him. So you might as well just sign. Sure. And, get it done. and again, we've gotten to a point where we get a guy that goes, you know, twenty four touchdowns, twelve picks, and nine and eight, and that ain't good enough for us. We come a long way, my man. And so with pizzas around and hell, just a lot of other factors, you know, we're going to ride or die with Trevor. So, yeah, let's let's get it done. He said extension is not his focus, but, yeah, uh, it would be nice. And certainly conversations are uh, ongoing. This is a time where you build chemistry with guys uh, within your own locker room. Got a lot of new guys here. Also, a lot of new guys around the AFC South, ET Cut 16. Uh, listen, Trevor and his teammates, they're not deaf and blind to the way their rivals are taking care of business. Yeah, I do. It's, stuff happens every offseason. You know, I think it's you, – you got you to gotta still play the season. You got to play uh, 17 games and a lot can happen and everyone makes wants to make a huge deal in the offseason of different moves that happen. And, yeah, I mean, we have a really good division. There's no denying that. You know, we got – Got good quarterbacks, good offenses, good defenses. Um, it's a really competitive division, but for us, it doesn't change anything. You're going to have to go through all these teams, anyways, if you want to go win a Super Bowl. Well, and and to that end, forget what they're doing in Houston or Indy or Tennessee or anywhere else. It's more about what they're doing and building right here. I like the guys that we have, and obviously the draft's coming up too. I'm sure we'll get some some more pieces there. Um, and just continue to get some some good younger guys. But I, I love the guys that we have and what we've started to build here. And we got some new pieces this off season on the defense side of the ball. Uh, what they're doing over there look, looks great, looks awesome. And, and Ryan, I love him and his scheme and what he's trying to do. So excited about that too. Um, obviously, that doesn't really have anything to do with me, but that's going to help. And um, yeah, I, I like where we're at. I like obviously Gabe was huge. Mitch was a great pickup. Um, all the guys that we got back that we re-signed. Uh, I'm excited. Listen, the, the season went off the rails. The team didn't perform overall. Trevor didn't play his best. I still would rather have a doggy that says, if I can play, I'm going to play. You know what I mean? He didn't have injuries that had him, you know, it, in a coma or anything broken. He tried to play when the season was on the line, and was it to the team's detriment? Who knows? He was asked if he, at any point, regrets playing through the injuries that he had last year. I don't really regret. I don't regret necessarily the decisions I made. I think – the thing to learn about it is maybe the way I play. Maybe there's some times where I can avoid some hits. Um, you just got to stay healthy. You know, the teams that get better every week and that stay healthy are usually the teams that, that go pretty far in, into the playoffs and win the Super Bowl. So especially at quarterback, you got to stay healthy. So that's that's something I, I've learned. All right, so this this offseason program, it begins. This first, you know, couple of weeks, there's, there's a time frame where there's nothing on the field at all. You're just inside the stadium. You're in classroom settings and, you know, uh, obviously the physical part of it. And then it ramps up just a little bit. And after the draft, you get the rookies in. We'll see them on the field a little bit, but nothing really until the mini camp 
Again, Josh Allen, uh, listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. He wasn't around for OTAs. He found that single, you know, minded focus and purpose suited him well, and he came up with a career year. So I- I'm not going to take any kind of indication on on Josh Allen's sightings this offseason. I'll trust he'll be here uh, when it matters. But they have done a pretty good job of getting pretty close to full participation, and it's just more important now you're getting the new guys ingrained with the terminology and, you know, where the cafeteria is, for Pete's sake. you got some new faces that are walking around down there. Um, you also have some faces they make sure are going to stick around. Um, and that includes Foye Luokan, who got his contract extension. You know, Nielsen comes from the Falcons. Foye came from the Falcons just a couple of years ago, but these two did not work together, but they certainly will a lot now. Um Foyer was asked uh, about Nielsen and the new scheme that'll be a part of this Jack's defense. Uh, we really haven't gotten too deep into schematics, but there's just watching the way that Atlanta played last year and the Saints before that. I think he got uh, a lot of his defense from that. Um, just watching the way they play. They play aggressive. They attack. They're downhill. They play fast all over. It's all about effort. And I think that's where he's going to keep our standard to. Um, playing hard, playing aggressive. Uh, if we, we just take those um, outside of scheme, just take that style of play, I think a, a good deal of things will happen for us. Well, the defense really disappeared down the stretch. It could never get a big stop when you needed one, and that collapse lingers. And, you know, I'm sure the players hope, and this really, we're the local media, the, the collapse questions really should stop, right? Not, not this first time, because that's a big part of how do you put that behind you, how do you use it moving forward. doesn't need to be asked again in training camp or at any other point uh, of the season, I, at least not by my uh, judgment. But there is this, and I'm sure it was even mentioned by within the organization, is just making sure that that series of events can't happen. And so how, how did that late season swoon um, how, how does that affect your ability to make sure it doesn't happen again? Everybody's committed to doing things right this time around. Um, you know, you, you don't want to say, we don't want to get in that position again. And it starts from the first game all the way to the last, you know. Uh, but just keeping improving every week, no matter what the scoreboard is, you know, keeping our standard every week. Because sometimes you win games that you didn't play your best. Now you don't learn from them if you're not trying to get better. Uh, I think that kind of happened to us, and we're not going to do that this year. All right, so that's Foye Luke, and you also heard from Trevor Lawrence, uh, Doug Peterson. Welcome his team to the offseason program uh, off the top of the show. You can uh, find out, uh, listen to more of these always, by the way, at jaguars.com. All right, let's come back uh, on the other side. we got a football fix, news from around the National Football League. Um, also, I'll give you a quick comment from, you know, champions land of late, Athens. Georgia had their spring game this weekend as well. Carson Beck is situated for a big year and a big career. We'll hear from the Mandarin product after Georgia's spring game. Take you around the NFL and more when we return. It's a Beatrice Plumbing Wednesday on 1010XL. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. This is Brian Musburger's v Action Update on 1010XL. Brought to you by Duck Duck Rooter Plumbing Septic and Air Conditioning. When you're stuck, call the Duck. Proud partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Max Free to the mound today for the Atlanta Braves. A dollar forty-eight road favorite at Houston and JP France plus one twenty-four nine over the total at Minute Maid Park. Zach Littell on the hill for the Rays today. A dollar twenty-five favorite against Reed Detmers and the Angels plus one hundred five eight under at Tropicana Field. Tampa Bay Lightning close the regular season at home today with Toronto. Lightning a dollar thirty home ice favorite of the Motley Arena. The total is six and a half, and that number is shaded to the under. Lightning will meet the Florida Panthers in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. The Panthers won the Atlantic Division. Free betting splits available at VSIN.com slash split. With your action update, Mike Senna, 1010 XL. Duck Duck Rooter is a full service plumbing company that's locally owned and operated, fully licensed and insured. We'll be at your home in a timely manner, provide honest pricing, and ensure the job is completed correctly or we'll make it right. Duck Duck Rooter can handle all plumbing jobs, including repairing broken pipes, clearing clogged drains, to installing new fixtures, water heaters, garbage disposals, and full repipes for older homes. If you're stuck, call the Duck, 904 862 6769. That's 904 862 6769. 
Hi, this is Dale Murray with Murray Automotive Group in Stark and Kingsland. Save yourself from those big city dealers and their fast-talking flim-flam tactics. No matter what your automotive need is, we've got you covered. Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and nobody beats our prices, and I mean nobody. Shazam! Plus our exclusive 15-year, 150,000-mile warranty included on every qualified vehicle. And we'll trade anything from AirPods to fishing rods. Compare our prices online at ShazamAuto.com, then come see me, Dale Murray. I'll be waiting for you. Shazam! Hey, I know we love our happy hours, but have you been to Mr. Chubby's Wings for lunch lately? Yep, their new specials are awesome. I eat lunch there all the time. I went this week and got wings, a drink, and chips for $8. As usual, the best prices in town. You can't hardly find anyone doing $8 lunch anymore. I know. I'm saving my money for the weekends with $8 lunch specials. Save your money for the weekends. Enjoy $8 lunch specials Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Three locations serving you for all sports all year. Mr. Chubby's Wings, proud partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. If you're ready to upgrade your home's backyard living appeal and just need some design inspiration, let the experts at Art of Natural Stone make your outdoor living perfect. Known for summer kitchens, gazebos, pavers, patios, and pool decks using all natural stone. All the custom elements you need for a first class professional design and they do installation. Open to the public on Phillips Highway and on Beach Boulevard. Find ideas online at artofnaturalstone.com. Ladies and gentlemen, experience the thrill of the Kentucky Derby at Best Bet. Saturday, May 4th, witness the most exciting two minutes in sports and dive into the action with live wagering. This could be your lucky day. Mark your calendars and join us at Best Bet Jacksonville, Orange Park, or St. Augustine on May 4th for the ultimate Kentucky Derby experience. Visit bestbetjacks.com for more details. That's bestbetjacks.com. I love the smell of fresh draft picks in the morning. What are Jacksonville's draft day options? Tell us what you're thinking for our first pick. 1010XL's draft coverage is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson Windows and Doors. Proud partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Baloo here for Smunez Vision. Why Smunez Vision? Well, I've been with Dr. Neil Smunez now since I got back to Jacksonville in 2006. 37 years of experience he has. Smunez Vision is a family organization that focuses on personal high quality medical and surgical eye care. Dr. Catherine Smunez is fellowship trained in cornea and cataract surgery and all refractive surgery. Combined, that's 30 years plus in laser eye surgery. Visit SmunezVision.com today. Here you can see. If you've played sports or still lead an active life, chances are joint pain is nothing new. This is Dr. George Barry of Barry Orthopedics, and we like to be your option when it comes to taking care of your body and getting back in the game. From shoulders to elbows to hip and knee pain, Barry Orthopedics can diagnose and treat a variety of injuries that are causing you pain. We are Barry Orthopedics and online at barryorthopedics.com. With more than 30 years of experience, our team is here to care for your entire family. Find out more at barryorthopedics.com. That's B-A-H-R-I orthopedics.com. I'm here with Clayton Bromberg of Underwoods. Clayton, let's talk about diamond cutting. How is a diamond price affected by the way it is cut? Frank, that's probably the most important question asked about diamonds because the trade-off between a diamond cut for maximum beauty and one that's not is the diamond's carat weight. You see, diamond cutters buy rough diamonds based on quality and weight. So as they cut the rough diamond, everything cut away affects profits. However, There are specific known cutting parameters, and each deviation from these means they have a heavier, less beautiful diamond. Unfortunately, a customer can't detect all those cutting imperfections. They need expert help about a diamond's cut grade. You see, for any round diamond of a particular color, clarity, and carat weight, there are as many as 10 different prices that can vary by as much as 50%. At Underwoods, we look specifically at how a diamond's cut before we look at anything else because it's the most important factor when it comes to a diamond's beauty, and to us, whether it should carry the Underwood name or not. Let's go! Looking for a night of action without a big hit to your bankroll? This Saturday, April 20th at 7 o'clock in the Vice Star Veterans Memorial Arena, cheer on your Sharks as they go all in against the Las Vegas Nighthawks. See what I did there? With tickets as low as $15, you can't find this kind of family affordable fun anywhere else. Call 904-621-0700 or visit jacksharks.com. Let's go! Decades night. Find that old members-only jacket or favorite flannel shirt. We're celebrating the 90s. What's your favorite decade? Let's 
go. Don't miss the fun this Saturday, April 20th at 7 o'clock in the Vice Star Veterans Memorial Arena. For tickets, call 904-621-0700 or visit jacksharks.com. That's tickets at 904-621-0700. Let's go. Let's go. Ten Ten XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars, protecting you and your family. Call three nine six fifty five fifty five Jacksonville. Just stay ultra focused. Uh, we we obviously have a goal, and that's going to be our next game. So as we go into the summer, you know, focused on that one game. That's our goal to you know win each and every week, and you know our mind will be locked in on Clemson as we start you know back up in June. Already talking about Clemson up there in Athens where they played their spring game this weekend. Carson Beck threw it 45 times. I believe to be a Georgia spring game record. They don't have much quarterback depth. Gunnar Stockton threw it 37, 82 throws. For Kirby and the boys. Game ended in a 2020 tie. By the way, Dominic Lovett is a receiver name to watch. They lost Ladd McConkey. They lost, obviously, Brock Bowers. Um... But Love It, I think, was part of last year's portal. Didn't do much, but had over 100 yards and a touchdown catch. And it's going to be a big year for Carson Beck and the dogs again. And uh, Beck will undoubtedly become a first-round pick, maybe the top pick overall by the time we get to this uh, portion of the schedule next year. But plenty to do before then, and Georgia is stocked and loaded. Trevor Etienne did play. Um, Caught a couple balls out of the backfield. I saw that. But uh, 45 passes. For Carson Beck, the game ended a 2020 tie. It's interesting up there. The winning team gets steak and lobster, and the losing team has to eat beanie weenies. And so Beck <laughs> Beck thought at the end of the game that being a tie, they'd all eat the steak and lobster. Forget the two natties. Forget all the SECs. The whole team ate the beanie weenies. Uh huh. Yeah, uh-huh. there ain't no there ain't no partial winners around here, boys. <laughs> I'm sure Kirby was cussing at him as he fed him. So um, there you go. Fire up the bandy. We got a football fix. Now brought to you by the Jacksonville Sharks. Home this weekend. Check them out. JackSharks.com. Get your tickets there in the Julington Creek Golf Club. That's stealing golf, Julington Creek. There are 17 wide receivers on Ryan Wilson's top 100 draft board. Does that influence how you think? It should. Right? Yeah. If you The top 100... So that's the first three rounds. He got 17 wide receivers with grades as high as the top three rounds. So, yeah, unless you just love the stew out of that fourth receiver, whoever you think it is, A.D. Mitchell, Brian Thomas, the three dudes are going to be gone, right? Harrison Jr. is gone. Adunes is gone. Neighbors is gone. You're not getting them at 17. If you and, – and again – I, we probably shouldn't be quick to rule out an offensive tackle prospect if they love them or another position, but if it comes down to corner and receiver, and I know I got 17 receivers in the top 100 of a at least one observation here, it would seem like the value there in rounds two and three you know, might correspond with similar value for other positions that I'm considering there at the um, with our first pick, the number 17 pick overall. So the Chiefs are basically avoiding the Rasheed Rice questions. Their their offseason program began virtually yesterday. Still really no comment on the potential penalties. Eight felonies, though, Rice and, and other lawsuits over that just idiotic decision. Seems like the NFL will get out front here a little bit of this one. Right, summertime's coming. Kids are out running around, racing cars. Maybe, you know, it's it's time, man. E, this is a bigger problem than than that. It's really manifested. Let's go to Henry Ruggs, driving up a million miles an hour. Let's all the problems in Athens with Georgia. Now you got this. Yeah, it's a problem. It's a bigger issue. This is happening, right? This is this I mean, it's like the it's like the dog fighting revel, you know, revelation revelation with Michael Vick and you learn that well that kind of stuff's going on more than you might think but I mean, this is just beyond irresponsible it's it, and it's a message that apparently is not getting home with so too many young athletes 
So we'll see. Um, with the draft a week away, certainly the, the quarterback shuffle is going to catch a lot of the attention. Do you think there will be a surprise, E.T.? Or do you think it's going to go like we're seeing? It's going to go uh, Caleb number one. Like, the surprise would come. Are we sure it'll be Jaden Daniels number two? I'm pretty locked in on yeah. that. There seem to be some that think that maybe, you know, that you know don't count out Drake May. Don't... Somebody in love with J.J. McCarthy. I think J.J. McCarthy is the one that I would be most afraid of. That dude has risen way too fast for a team that didn't throw the ball a lot in yep, college. Yep. I know he won. I... He's the one that scares me, man. Of the even more than Penix, who now is kind of sifted and fallen more closer to the bottom of the first round. We all remember Joe Flacco's magical ride for the Browns at the end of the year, leading them into the playoffs, putting up big numbers. We did. Do you remember what the, the Browns' record was when Deshaun Watson went out? Uh, they, they weren't too good, were they? The Browns were 5-1 and one oh. after Deshaun led him to a win in Baltimore and cracked his shoulder blade in the meantime. Hmm. Had to get put on uh, IR and so was lost for the year. But, yeah, while we kind of look at the Browns as being some late-season salvage from Joe Flacco, I imagine the Browns are kind of anxious to see what they can get now with, with a full year of Deshaun Watson. Give him credit. He finished that game with that broken shoulder bone and a shoulder blade, and they ended up, again, winning, getting a 5-1 and one at the time. Obviously scuffled after they lost their quarterback, but rallied late. Dolphins picking up the uh, option on a couple of guys that, yeah, of course they are. The fifth-year options for wide receiver Jalen Waddell and linebacker Jalen Phillips. Both first-rounders in 2021. Both have been absolute Grand Slam home runs. Waddle at number six. Uh, Jalen Phillips rush in at number 18. And that's a football fix. I tell you what I got. The Sharks are at home this weekend. Shark Nation hit up 641-1010. ET's got a pair of tickets for you. And you could be uh, in the arena Saturday night as the Sharks are just they're due and bound to pick up that first win after a bit of a slow start here to begin the season. That's Football Fix brought to you by the Sharks and the Julington Creek Golf Course, the home course. Tee it high and let it fly with me at the Julington Creek Golf Club. The drill from the studios at Republic Services. We'll handle it from here. He's not afraid to tell the truth. You ever hear of Superman? He died fighting next to me. My point exactly. The truth teller, Rick Ballou. What are your superpowers again? Weeknights on 1010XL. I help him because no one else does. Let me get this thing unwrapped here. Duval! Pros, pros. What in the world are you doing working on your Duval? That's right. And I really identify with Duval. You live in St. John's County, knucklehead. I mean the Duval sub, the Daily's Dash Duval, turkey, ham, Melted cheddar and habanero jack cheeses, lettuce, tomato, crispy and fresh, you know, like me. I'm sure there's a Daily's Dash sub that sums you up. The boss. Because, of course. Oven roasted beef, monster cheese, roasted mushrooms, caramelized onions. It's the boss of all subs. Only available for me. That's just not true. What do you mean? I walked in the other day, screamed, you know it, and said, a boss for a boss. Well, no matter who you are, there is a Daily's Dash sandwich or sub for you. Go find yours. They may even make you a boss. I'm sure they will, because it is Daily's Dash. Where more is better. And you got that right. Mia here, and if you want low payments, then you've got to go to Arlington Toyota Pre-Owned and save today. How does this sound? Just $500 down and only $288 per month gets you a pre-owned 2021 Toyota Corolla. Or you choose a pre-owned 2021 Camry, RAV4, or Tacoma for just $500 down and $388 per month. Plus, Arlington's Credit for Everyone program and 30-day exchange. Don't wait. Save thousands and shop ArlingtonToyota.com today. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free from credit cards, car loans, and personal loans. Hey, Prosser here. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. 
With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle. You can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards. Get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips and approval is just minutes away. So call now, 904-999-1508. 904-999-1508 or go to LoanPronto.com. NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. There are only a few things the government does well, and processing passports is not one of them. Hello, it's Congressman Aaron Bean, and taking care of constituents in Northeast Florida is a top priority. If you need help with that passport, the VA, Social Security, or any federal agency, call my office, 904-557-9550, or visit bean.house.gov. I'm Congressman Aaron Bean, and serving you is what we do. Paid for by official funds authorized by the House of Representatives. You know, they say April showers bring May flowers, but about nigh, they're bringing more than just blooms this April. Hick and here, gang, it's time to spring into action and refresh that vision for the brighter days ahead. Don't let cloudy vision rain on your parade from dry eyes and allergies causing irritation. Ugh, the cataracts blurring your vision. Bow Nye can help protect what's important to you. If you're experiencing problems with your vision, call or visit bowdye.com and schedule that consultation. Bow Nye and Associates are keeping the first coast. Focus. Home of the Jacksonville Jaguars. WJXL AM Jacksonville Beach. WJXL FM Jacksonville Beach. Hey, stop paying for exterior paint that doesn't protect your home or business. Hicking here for my friends at Rhino Shield. Man, those beautifully durable coatings. And I'm telling you, they're beautiful and they're durable. They never chip, crack, or peel. You want that backed up? They back it up. 25 year warranty. Who does that? Rhino Shield. Prevents unsightly mold, mildew, and algae. Uh huh. Prevents water intrusion from those crazy storms that we get in Northeast Florida. Fight salt corrosion, Class A fire rating. And by the way, that's while saving you thousands compared to the cost of repainting over and over again. Gang, 0% financing, up to 20% off right now. Great low pricing. Never been easier to paint your home with Rhino Shield. Take the first step today. Get your free estimate at rhinoshieldjacks.com. Go to rhinoshieldjax.com. Sign up and get that free estimate and enjoy. Slacker plumbing. Yeah, hey, listen, I need a plumber over here right now. Yeah, well, we don't have any openings for about two weeks. Two weeks? Yep. I was just changing the shower head, and the water line broke, and it's flying everywhere. All right, one week. Uh, what if I uh, throw you an extra hundred bucks to come now? What's the address? It's two Huh? I guess he changed his mind. If you've got a leak that can't wait a week, call Roland Reese Plumbing and fix your plumbing problems fast. PlumbingJacksonville.com. Hey everybody, Mike Dempsey here for Awaken 180 Weight Loss. Look, last week I recognized I had made a difference. No, it wasn't saving a puppy from a well or pulling an old lady out of a burning building. Remarkable as those would have been, this one was pretty cool as well. I saw Hacker and he was down 45 pounds thanks to Awaken 180 and it was awesome. Well, why was it awesome? Well, he thanked me for introducing him to Awaken 180. So I'm not only able to watch him have that same transformation that I had, but I know I had a bit part in helping someone make a 180 with their life, and it inspired me to continue sharing mine. From Matt Hayes to Hacker and hundreds of listeners, every story is uniquely inspiring. If you have questions, feel free to ask me about Awaken 180. I'm happy to answer all of them, and just maybe you will be the next Awaken 180 success story. Call Awaken 180 today at 844-346-1800. That's 844-346-1800, or schedule your consultation online at Awaken180WeightLoss.com. Here's your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update, sponsored by Awaken 180 Weight Loss. Jack QB Trevor Lawrence goes into the 2024 offseason program, focus on the team and not a contract extension. Uh, my job is to go win games and, and to be the best I can be for this team. Even if I you get the, the contract extension, that's still my job. FSU football head coach Mike Norvell, following yesterday's spring practice, highlighted the play of wide receiver Malik Benson. Malik is such a great fit for, for this program, and he is, you know, he loves playing football. 
He loves who he gets to do it with. I mean, he's been a wonderful teammate, wonderful addition. Jacksonville's Jumbo Shrimp notched three hits to get a win Tuesday over the Norfolk Tide at home after three scoreless innings. The Jumbo Shrimp took the lead in the bottom of the fourth. Jacksonville faces off with Norfolk again this evening at 1-1 to Financial Ballpark. Game time is 7.05. At your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist Local Sports Update, I'm Sam Nelson. It's 7.03 and it's 60 degrees. Your time and your tip is brought to you by Bueller Air Conditioning. Stay cooler with Bueller. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Ladies and gents, please put your hands together as Dan Hicken enters the studio. see if you talked about this i don't i don't know i was yapping on the phone driving in today so i wasn't listening thanks apologize but i think we had a two somewhat important developments in off-season football yesterday okay both of the same ilk all right to me and that is this i think yesterday we learned <clears throat> and i think it's important to talk about yesterday we learned that Billy Napier and Press Taylor will be calling plays for two teams that we follow. Okay. This year. All right. I thought we kind of knew that, but yeah, I did become more official. Trevor let the let the Trevor said, "Hey, Press, Press, be call." So, so it looks like Press Taylor will continue to call plays for the Jacksonville Jaguars, and Billy Napier, who has a co-offensive coordinator, they really like. That's kind of been the the yeah yeah the drumbeat coming out of there. So, but yeah, those. And I think if you look back, I don't like. I think people, if you if you if you're a Gator and a Jaguar fan, you probably had more of a problem with Press Taylor than Billy Napier. I, I guess here here's <clears throat> I guess here's the problem with Napier. Uh huh. Or a consideration with Napier. Mm-hmm. Do the other things, the having wrong numbers on the field, not getting the field goal unit on in time, do those right. things take a hit? Is it too much to be calling right. the plays right, 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 and not right, right. buttoning up those things? I'll so agree. Right. the actual production of the offense and the actual plays, the chess game that's going on, I thought was pretty, you know, yeah, certainly above average. Yes. But it was, you know, did it bleed into the other mistakes that cost them games? Yes. That's a fair point. And that's what you have to wonder. And and press, I think press is fine. I think we just, but the NFL teams well, somebody, win and lose. They don't somebody do, needed to be blamed, I think. And press was sort of the guy. And but, I do, I think, I, I do think this. I think Peter, I think I was going to go through Peterson's filter more maybe than it has, at least initially. Yeah. It'll be interesting. I, I don't know. And I appreciate, I don't know. Like, I, <laughs> I would rather Peterson call the plays, but I'm not an, I don't know. Right. I, you know, I mean, I, and the fact that we couldn't line up and convert third down and short. Also, and there are certain added things. to his demise as a play caller. And Doug runs these little bubble <sighs> screens and the rollouts. He kind of those are his. That's his playbook. Yeah, you know. So a lot of what's in there just isn't. It doesn't look like some of the other offenses too. Right. But I think that's significant in the in the respect of. Uh, no, that, that's that's fair. I didn't. Yeah. I, I I didn't mention Napier at all. We mentioned as part of Trevor's uh, press conference yeah. that that was an offshoot of it. But yeah, yeah th- those are. I think that's. I think that stands out in my mind. From there's a lot of stuff. I mean, there's a ton of stuff going on in the sports world. Oh right yeah, now. for sure. I, mean, I, could, I I got rants and anger and oh. happiness and joy. Wow. And, yeah, I got. I'm full of it. Right Man, now. I am full of it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Some people would say Hick. You're up Shit's Creek, buddy. Wow. I would say, no, I'm not. You're not no, on, I'm not. You're not on that I'm not watching TV that show. show. Yeah. No. No. It amazes me how freely you throw that out there. Just throw it's it. On a it's show a, that hadn't been on in forever. I mean, I, you TV want me to go show. find a bunch of shows and movies that have dirty words in them and start rattling them off? <laughs> Is there? Huh? Sheesh. There's a lesson to be learned, I huh? think. 
We're going to go James Bond? Is that Bond. what we need to do? James Bond. Huh? Need to start talking about Octo. Oh. Huh? That's a good one. <laughs> Nine o'clock. ET, look up that one. You know that James Bond movie? Uh-uh. It starts Octo. Go ahead, Google it. <laughs> <laughs> the password is Willow. Willow. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's no, not. of course not. Seven you started oh. it. Yeah. See? Oh. Wait, that, that'll be next. Let's review movies. We'll start with the James Bond flicked octopussy. <laughs> there's, a less, there's a lesson to be learned about the portal for the kids. Uh, what do we got? We've been over backwards for the kids. What happened? What do you with, mean? With the portal. Is this a rant? No. Okay. We've been over backwards with the portal for the kids. We give them free agency. We pay them. This is a bad look for Billy Napier. I'll tell you why in a second. All right. I, I think it's a bad look for the kids. I, me too. Me too. But it so, just speaks to what the cliche uh, is out of every coach's mouth. But I'm sorry. Finish the important part. Part uh, A. So this dude, uh, uh, Ronald. I think it's Ronald. Is that his name? Nunnery? It's Robert. Is Manny. It Robert? Manny Nunnery. It's close. I was right on it. Manny Nunnery came here, I think, from Houston. Yeah. He's a transfer of safety. They were expecting him. He played, made play. He, had a, he may have had an interception the other day. He was like safety or linebacker. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Star. And uh, and so he came. He still had a year of eligibility after redshirting and COVID. It's one of those, I can play eight years, guys. Right. So he went in the portal, and then he pulled himself out of the portal. I guess they probably convinced him to stay for spring. Okay. And he's... So he came over, he went back into the portal he once he got here? played a year for the Gators. Oh. After the year ended, he said, I'm going in the portal. Oh, I thought he just came over, to be honest. No, he played last year Shoot, I don't remember him at all. Yeah. yeah. Um... Joined Florida last season, 28 tackles, one and a half for loss, okay. and a half sack, three starts. Entered the portal during the winter window. Withdrew from the portal in the middle of spring camp. With injuries in the room, Nunnery got to play spring camp pretty much as the starter. Played with the second team in the spring game, got a pick. Yeah. But they got Shamar James, they got Derek Wingo, they moved R.J. Moten there, they got Deuce Spurlock, they got Jaden Ramson, they got Pup Howard, they got that Miles Graham kid who's an early enrollee. Um, class of 24 signing is one of their best is Aaron Childs. These are all their guys. So there's probably no room for Nunnery. And that's fine. So Nunnery gets, uh, uh, goes back in the portal. And on his way out the door the second time, he says, he posts. Yeah, you can't read this. Oh, no. Yeah. No, it's a bad word. It's uh, a, well, the N word appears yeah. four or five times. Um, yes. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to read it. Play play me, I'll say me, yeah. play me the whole spring on the line of scrimmage and want me to be a superhero. When me get hurt. When people, another me get hurt. People crazy, <laughs> LOL. I'm the bad guy because a guy who get a million dollars called a BS play on 4th and 16, that's the Missouri game, uh, blank on me and then want me to be superhero for you, bad play calling A. Dang. Yeah, it's a little harsh yeah. and not the way you want to go out because yeah, somebody, other coaches take notice. Yeah, Why do sure. I want this kid? This yeah. is true. Yeah. I, I'm just saying we read it. They read, I mean, it's a different world now. Yeah, yeah that's a that's a clown post, bro. Clown post, bro. I, so anyway, um, yeah, so that that happened. I've got our uh, Dreamfinders uh, drill poll question of the day. Oh, off shooting from yesterday. Dreamfinders Homes, the official home builder of your Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, 20 plus Jacksonville communities in the best locations. Dream, DreamfindersHomes.com to find your home. Playing off yesterday, you told me, Googans, you wanted corner. Okay. So if corner is the choice at 17, which one of these four would you pick? And I could have had five, but they only opt for four, so I gave you four. I left Kool Aid out, thinking he's lower rated, and I wanted to get our guy in. E. So uh, I got Nate, son of Mrs. A. Wiggins, Nate Wiggins from Clemson. I got Terry and Arnold from Bama. I got Cooper DJ from Iowa. That's who he wants. Is it Gene think, or Jean? Yeah, that we was, still don't know. Yeah, I, and I think that's a uh, not happening. And I guess we'll never need to know. And I have Quinion Mitchell from Toledo. A Those mid- are your four okay. choices. I have 300 votes at Dan Hick in social media. Uh, if you, he will post as well or already has. What's up, dear? And, uh... I'll ask both of you. You get one. E, who would you take of those four? Coop, Wait. man. Coop, that a baby. That a baby. Now, for real, now at this point, we're going to send you up there, and that's who you're going to pick. Now, we're not just fun and frivolity, right. and I want the jersey. <laughs> that's the guy you want? Man, I ain't going to lie. Hold on, man. Let me sit on you this. Saw, I saw, you saw him slam dunk. 
Uh, hold on, man. I'm going Terry and Arnold myself. All right. Right. <sighs> Quinion Mitchell is the hot name, but I, this is a, a poll question that the answer is going to be different if you're a draft nick or not. Yeah. If, if, if when I do a deep dive, I've got to go with that boy from Bama too, man. Seems like Mitchell is higher rated than Arnold. They're close, but yeah. I'll take the guy who's been playing at the mm-hmm. in the schedule that Arnold's been playing. Too. I like yeah. the Mitchell kid because he's a Florida kid. Yeah, I like him too. I like him most. So is Arnold, by the way. But I, Arnold, I, I think, is from Tallahassee. If I, I'm not I like I like the fact that Mitchell had an opportunity this offseason, and he has stepped up at every single one of those platforms. At the Senior Bowl, yeah. it was awesome. At his yeah. individual work at the Combine. Yeah. So he's a competitor, yeah. and, he, uh, and, is, and is a ball hawk. So I'm fine with him, too. Mm-hmm. It's one of those two by a mile over the other two. All right, well, right now, Terry and Arnold has 41.4. Quinion Mitchell, 32.6. People are paying attention then because those are the names yeah. that, that – that, you know, you, you should most want. Koopa Loop, uh-huh. 17.2. And Nate misses a Wiggins, 8.8. Uh, for a limited time, a select moving ready home, Dreamfinders Homes is offering an amazing 3.99% interest rate in year one of your mortgage. Yeah, and go to DreamfindersHomes.com. Get in the get in the club. Get more details. So, uh, Dreamfinders Homes everywhere you want to be. That's our poll question. We'll have it up all day, and you can uh, vote if you'd like or not. Uh, your Mets are red hot. Medi's won. Uh, well, yeah. No, I mean, what do you, what do you mean? Yeah, playing, you're nine and three since yeah, the nine 0 and five. They're playing good baseball. I'm, I'm not not real. You, they don't look like super imposing. Is what you're saying? I like the club. They're 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 gritty. But guys like McNeil and Nimmo got to per- perform. Yeah, neither That's of them it. are. I know they are not. Or they, uh, Frankie's not. Sporadically at all. are. <laughs> he's still not going Lindor. No, no. I mean, he's who, up to, he's up getting, to one, what are you getting? He just like like one forty five. You're getting like 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 <laughs> like sidebar players. It's just a different every one every day that's doing it for you. Yeah, like Harrison I Bader's Alonzo had a, a couple good moments. Yeah, and I know. And, I saw uh, the guy who came in last night had a had to go ahead double. We found a Wendell. Yeah, that's like his first hit. That's we, what we, I mean. It's like a different guy. We found a um, relief pitcher has been lights out. Reed Garrett, he's got 31 strikeouts in 17 innings. That's he's been good. very good, and he's developed a pitch. And they're, so they're, they're, our bullpen has been terrific because we, we've won like three games using the B group. You know how you, you have your A group that you use, but then you can't use them the next night usually? And our guys are like – our our, our – th- you know, guys are, you know, out of vino and sugar. And so out of vino and sugar aren't available to us. And that's the game. Like we held on against you guys and won. Uh, we won another one in the last series and we won last night against the pirates. What's most encouraging for the Mets. I appreciate you giving me this platform, Jeff. <laughs> Knock yourself <laughs> what's, out. What's most encouraging about the Metropolitan Murph will be in in a little while. Yeah, we'll I'm just kind of, I was with kind of setting the table. It's become yeah. a whole, a full course though. Yeah, yeah, yeah is that we've done it against teams with winning records. Yes. So we're one of the few teams, like we've played, every team we've played so far is, is off to a great start. Partly because of us, but yeah, so that's been, a, that's been probably the most encouraging thing. But yeah, we go, we go to LA this weekend, so. The Braves still okay. are on a streak because we have not lost that Mets series yet. Yeah, we lost two out of three that week, so we can theoretically split that series. Braves have, yeah. won, have not lost a series. They've ah, uh, well, That's all you got to do. Well, and they've, Win they've, series. they've won the first two at, I guess if there were a, now, Again, you know, Guillaume, we're going to see a bunch of him. Braves got another injury yesterday. Ozzy Albies, fractured toe. He's going to be out for a while. They're already down Sean Murphy. They've lost Spencer Strider for the year. So this depth and this lineup and this farm system going to be um, tested to a certain degree. It's There's still plenty there. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've won two in a row against the Astros. And, and boy, Houston has really gone south, man. Just the talent, just you know, the to the Correa. They may have the, fi- they may have finally the fallen off. And the and and you know, like a day like yesterday where they even said, um, look, and, and Abreu was was considered toward the end when they picked him up. Yeah, but I mean, they had a lineup yesterday. I mean, they got Singleton at first. They got yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. just dudes you never even really heard of. So yes, uh, and the Braves have shut him down. Listen, the pleasant surprise for Atlanta. I'll say this, and then we'll uh, move on off of baseball. Mm-hmm. The present, the the most pleasant surprise. Uh, Double A right now is hitting one for two on big pitching moves this offseason. Bummer, it's accent on the first syllable. That dude that they traded Soroka for that's come down from Chicago, he has gotten hit every single time he's pitched. In mm-hmm. fact, uh, his ERA after last night, 6 7 1. He went two thirds of an inning, gave up three hits and two earned runs. But they got this Ronald, Reynaldo Lopez cat mm-hmm. also this offseason. Mm-hmm. Made his third start. He's now 2 0 with a .5. So you got that going for you. Yeah, seven, yeah, six innings, seven strikeouts, a .5 ERA through three starts. He's 2-0. He's been their best pitcher. 
Mm-hmm. So, uh, anyway, two in a row and a nice little day game today. Let's just finish off the sweep in Houston. Let's go. Well, the best part of baseball last night was Jack Caglione hit another monster 517. shot. 5-17. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, – There's not been a Major League Baseball home run in the StatCast era that's been documented that's gone 500 feet. This year? Ever. I thought Trout hit one this year 500 plus. I think 4 – well, I, well, I had E on the Google machine. We might have to vet it. We may have to do some auditing, but he had me at 488, I believe, or with a well, – uh, He hit it over the scoreboard at Condren. If you've been there, it's, it's an unbelievable – this guy – like I said, he's the best college baseball player there is. There's a lot of, you know, if you know college baseball, I mean, because he pitches as well, and he's he's a very good pitcher. He still struggles with uh, with his uh, accuracy. But he is now just 13 home runs away from, I believe, Matt Laporta's career record at Florida, and he's going to basically try to do it in two years. He hit 33 last year. He's got 20. I think he's... I think he's at 61 in his Florida career, and I think Laporte is at 74. That's 13 more home runs. He hit 33 last year. I think they have 17 games left. I think he's got an outside shot. He's the greatest home run hitter in Gator history, though. Uh, I mean, he set the single-season record last year. He hit 33. And, uh, listen, Florida's not very good. They were able to finally win a midweek game and beat J.U., who beat them earlier Take this that, year. Daniel Murphy. So we'll get all over Murphy when he comes. He in. came in when you were on vacation, one, uh, and he Crowing. came in one day, and J- J.U. had beaten mm-hmm. Florida the night before. There have been three five fo- uh, 500-foot stat cast home runs, Giancarlo Stanton, yeah, uh, C.J. Crone. Yeah. Now, and Nomar Mazzara has the big league record. In 19, he had a 505-footer. I now, guess he's a Rocky. I don't now know. Now you got, um, you know, you got aluminum bats. Yeah, for sure. So I'm, not, yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that is no, such. But a, this guy is six, that's hitting at 170 yards. I've been man. telling you about. Um, we've been crowing about this sure. kid all year. But six five two fifty. He's the Otani. I don't understand why he's thought of as like the fifth prospect overall. I uh, saw this stat. Is this true? Is he homered in 14 of the last 17 games? Is that may, possible? Seven games in a row. I know that. He's homered in 14 yeah. of the last yeah. 17 games. Yeah. He's he, what he, You know what he's doing? He's that 12-year-old in your little league that yeah. comes along once every 20 yeah. years and no one can get out and he homers every at bat. And he did this last year with Wyatt Langford. And they, yeah. and they unfortunately came up a game short. Uh, but anyway, yeah, he is second in the country in home runs. Charlie Condon's having that monster year for Georgia. Has 24 home runs. So he's been uh, – He's been terrific too, uh, but Caglione, yeah, is is saved Florida time and time again. Uh, he they didn't need him last, but he's also hitting four. I mean, he he hits like his exit velocity every time he scores one up, and he and it's not like he's hitting three hundred. He's hitting like four hundred. He's been terrific. So anyway, that was uh, that was worth the uh, watch too. Has um, he been successful pitching? Yes, I mean he's got pitching to a low ERA and yes, winning. but he he. He's, like, is he, if he wild. did not, I still don't know if, if he's he going to be a hitter or a pitcher in college. If he didn't bat, would he be drafted? Like if yes, he weren't a yes, hitter, yes. he's that good a pitcher. Yes, yes, because he's 96, Well, because there's someone on the text line, and in theory, in big picture theory, this this statement could be considered true. Well, like, just because he pitches doesn't make him, quote, the best. But, no, if he pitches like one of the best, it does make him the this best. This is like. It matters. I don't understand. It's like Otani. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. understand people who argue this with yeah. me. Well, they don't know college baseball. They don't I know Jack Caglione. I'm talking about baseball, though. If you pitch yeah. at an elite level. And you hit at an elite level, and the other guy has got a little bit better stats than you but doesn't pitch, or the pitcher has a little bit better stats than you but doesn't hit, you're the best player. Here, here, here's here's where and I can never get this far in this argument with <laughs> yeah. you. Here is why that's minimized. Yeah. Because the guy that you would pitch in place of him uh-huh. would, would be a lot closer than the guy that you would replace as the hitter. Yeah, not for Florida this year. <laughs> but you, well, that's true. We'd be too. dead. With I, I was thinking more in terms of Otani. Yeah. Now, college, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a different deal. Yeah. But, like, in terms of Otani. Yeah. I just, I, I mean, anyway, but that's, that's, yeah. So, uh, let me give you his numbers here. I think he is 4 and 0 this year with a 3 8 9 ERA. Uh, he has started eight games, he's thrown 39 innings. He has uh, struck out 49 and 39 innings, but again, his walks, he's walked 29 and 39 innings. That's the one thing where he's he's struggled. But last year he was 4-3-4. This year he's 3-8-9. So he's pitched better this year uh, for the Gators. And again, I be, I don't know what he projects as a hitter or a 
I would say if he's homered pitcher. 14 of the last 17 games mm-hmm. that he hit a five, I, I would most be interested in seeing him hit. Yeah, but they will tell you if you throw 97 from the left side. I hear that. That you'll pitch. And you know what they also tell you if you throw 97 from the left side? What? You'll pitch for two years, and then you'll have a labrum, and then you'll pitch for three years, and then you'll have an elbow. If I, I, can, if if that, I, if I put him at the plate, I can get 15 years out of him. Hopefully he'll – not well, always. I wonder if that has become a, a thinking I, point with I, the yeah, way maybe. kids are these days. Maybe. So, I, I, listen, my my biggest concern with mm-hmm. with the with this NBA um, unnecessary play in played out last night. Dubs are dead. No, it's the injury opportunity that you oh. give your young stars, and so now the Pelicans, who would be in the in the postseason based on their performance this year, mm-hmm. Zion goes out in the final minutes with a hamstring injury last night. Is that night. what they came out yes. and finally said? Yeah. I, I, the guy isn't begging out of the game, man. The guy's got 40 and 11. He's single-handedly winning the game for New Orleans. There is no downside to Zion's night last night. Uh, over his objections, they took him out of the game. Didn't look like he was objecting to me. Well, when he threw down the towel and he uh, went in and had a hamstring injury that they wouldn't let him come back and play, yeah, then I, yeah. yeah, I mean. Basically said, we're done. I, well, they play again now, but but more importantly, they earn their way into the postseason. Tonight, it'll be Joel Embiid. What happens if Joel Embiid tonight tears a meniscus? How stupid would that be, though? Whether well, you wouldn't play him if he did. Let's hope they. They hope the that happens seat. at the end of the game. If you it don't. Happens. Uh, you know, I was going to say you don't want it to happen. <laughs> so anyway, I just you know again, it just the the, it, the injury opportunity does uh-huh, not uh-huh. It, it just way outweighs letting the Bulls and Hawks play a game. Uh, we got a lot to cover today. It's a busy day. Uh, uh, we'll talk a lot of hardball. We got football. We got all kinds of things happening. Uh, on a Hump Day Wednesday edition of It's Mark John is next. It's a Beatrice Plumbing Wednesday. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. Dave Binion here with my son Ammon, who is the air duct cleaning manager at Zero Res. So Ammon, you may notice a little rattle in my voice and some puffiness in my eyes. That's because allergy season is coming on. Can Zero Res help? Yes, your health has a lot to do with the air you breathe. A clean and healthy home begins with clean air. At Zero Res, we can help clean the air in your home by cleaning your air ducts, cleaning the coils in your HVAC units, and fogging the system with a powerful antimicrobial that helps kill and control the growth of microorganisms in your air. We also have options for maintaining your clean air with our excellent inline air purifier and UV lights that will help keep your system clean and healthy. At Zero Res, we are more than just air duct cleaners. We're a clean air specialist. Have Zero Res air duct specialists out and right now we'll give you $50 off your air duct cleaning and while we're at it we'll give you $50 off your dryer vent cleaning. Zero res. Spelled forward or backwards. It's it's the the right right way to clean. C-E-R-O-R-E-C Zero res. Hey gang, Hick it here for my friends at George Moore Chevrolet who want you to know that April's car care month. Great time to get your car ready for the summer. Of course, every month is Car Care Month at George Moore Chevrolet because they have the best technicians certified, committed to delivering top-notch service, using only the highest quality products to keep your vehicle running smooth and safe. But it is a great time right now to get into George Moore Chevrolet and get your car rejuvenated with an oil change, fresh set of wipers. In fact, if you bundle those two things together, your oil change and your new wipers right now, 10% off. Just tell them Danny Boy sent you. And you'll be glad you did. Uh, go to your service advisor, and they will take care of you. Visit George Moore Chevrolet's award-winning service department today. George Moore Chevrolet, together we ride. Clear water. John, I can't even mow my side yard. It's so soggy. Man, my builder sucks. Brent, calm down. This is a common problem in neighborhoods where houses are built too close together. You need gutters and a properly installed French drain that will soak up subsurface water. We can completely dry it up. So I can take my builder off my speed dial now, huh? Yeah, we got you, buddy. Let that builder bitterness go. Clear water irrigation and drainage too. AgPro Sign and Drive event is offering 0% for 84 months with no money down on a John Deere compact utility tractor with loader. Limited time offer. Visit your local AgPro dealership today. Offer ends 4 30 Subject to approved credit. See dealer for details. 
Make your outdoor living perfect with art of natural stone. Pavers, patios, gravel, pool decks, and more. Using all natural stone design and they do the installation. Visit Art of Natural Stone on Route 1 near Bartram Springs or on Beach Boulevard. Discover the difference that local expertise makes at First Coast Lighting and Fans. Visit their showroom at the avenues and browse high quality products to match your desire for elegance, quality, and uniqueness at First Coast Lighting and Fans. He was the best back in Jacksonville. It has to be Fred Taylor. Fred Taylor joins Dan and Jeff on the drill Monday mornings at 8 30. A tough guy. Monday morning running back with Fred Taylor is fueled by Epstein and Robbins and BNB Fuel and Lubricants. Now that's what I call high quality H2O. If you want high quality water throughout your home, call your local water boy. We install equipment to solve any water problem. Water boy, J A X. Com. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. But I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols and everything they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Sheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics, 904-274-5522. That's 904-274-5522. 904-274-5522. If you're an experienced, skilled plumber or welder that's MedGas certified and you're tired of working for a company that just doesn't treat you right, Local 234 is the place for you. Their pay is the best in the business. You'll walk away with $35.09 an hour in your pocket with benefits that's just over $50 bucks an hour. Local 234 has been around since 1901, and that means something. Visit UA234.com to send your resume. Local 234, make the right connection. Instant Keys, you don't have to go to the dealer. Instant Keys comes to you. For lost or broken keys or nearly any make and model of vehicle, call 722-1111 for Instant Keys Locksmith Service. We're in Florida and pest problems are persistent. Want them gone? Mission accomplished with Mission Pest Solutions. Veteran and locally owned and operated, Mission Pest will blow your mind with their communication and response time for all your pest, termite, and mosquito needs. Text or call 904-944-PEST. You'll speak directly with the owners. Mention 1010XL when you call 944-PEST. You'll get 25% off your initial pest or termite protection service. Mission accomplished with Mission Pest Solutions. Are you 18 years or older, just got married, just got divorced, or have children? Listen up. Have you done your last will and estate planning? If you have questions, call Matt Hinson with the Hinson Law Firm. Reach him at 527-1700, offices Jacksonville, Florida. And don't let the state decide your fate. 1010 XL is presented by Barra and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Now, Get Smart John, brought to you by Cannons of Jacksonville. Your best shot for trailer hitches. Ba -ba -da -da. You know him, you love him. He's bald, he's beautiful. The head is smooth as the other side of the pillow. Ooh, I could borrow from Get Smart John. Stuart Scott. Johnny! TrivianNation.com's own. Good morning. Good morning, Google. Good morning, Google. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing well, doing well. So indulge me for just a moment, if you will, please, Always. because you brought it up. Uh, you talked about James Bond. <laughs> yes. And don't worry, I'm going to keep it clean. So yes. Goldfinger, 1964. Yes. Okay, still arguably one of the best lines in the movie okay. of any Bond movie. Uh -huh. They knock out Sean Connery. He wakes up, mm -hmm. kind of slowly opens his eyes. He goes, who are you? My name is P. Galore. Right. And then his response, I must be dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Very risque back in 1964. 1964. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Is when Goldfinger was released. So Very uh, nice. There you have it. Very nice. Yes. Yeah. 
Did you like the picture from uh, Dr. Clancy and I? Yes, Dr. Clancy from Iowa. <laughs> Beaches Dermatology is... Uh, yeah, he, he, he's got some good. guns, doesn't he? Oh, he always yes. has. Always has. Yes, yes. Okay. All right, let's jump into it. We're going to get you started with games. Games, the games people play. Right, wrong, they're just not magic. I don't know. Mm-hmm. In the original version of Trail Pursuit, yes. what color pie piece represents a correct science and nature question? That is a green. <clears throat> yes. I, and, Jeff, what would uh, geography be? Oh, that'd be blue. I'm an expert <laughs> in the blue question. Uh-huh. <laughs> Commercials. Commercials. A popular beverage jingle from the 70s mm-hmm. includes the line, I'd like to buy the world a what? Coke. I'd like to buy the world a Coke. Yeah. yeah. In perfect yeah. harmony. Yeah, I'd like to sing the world a song. Grow apple trees no, and why? honey bees and snow white <laughs> turtle dog. It's the real thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know, it's hard to believe that thing is over 50 years old. Ugh, no, it was great not. back, it sounds like back 100, then. Sounds 100 years old to me. S- still great. Still great. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yes, it is. Science. Science. What are space rocks that land on Earth called? Mm. Those are called uh, disasters. Have, I, 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 <laughs> are those meteorites? I have asteroids, right? Or meteorites? It's or meteorites. Asteroids. It's meteors, meteor. meteorites. Yeah. Space rocks are smaller. Meteors, meteorites. And the meteorites are smaller? I would probably. Well, did you say, did are, you say it was multiple smaller. choice? It is. Uh-oh. Yep. Well, we we feel comfortable with meteorites. You want? Um, I would say, say me- meteor, yeah, meteor. meteorites. Meteorites is correct. Yeah. All right. What were the other ones on the multiple choice? Asteroids and meteors. Okay, good. Yes, so good job. Uh, your favorite category? Presidents. Yes. Who was the only president mm-hmm. who did not live in Washington, D.C. during his presidency? <sighs> he lived in, uh, is, it, is it Roosevelt who lived in New York? Didn't one of them? Uh, uh, I just... But it might have been one of those, you know, it could be one of like those. Did, 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 did Jefferson live in Monticello while he was president? That would right? Be... That's the only that's the only presidential home that is known for itself. But that may have been where well, he retired. Or uh, Wash- where... Yeah, Washington lived in. Uh... Yeah, Martha's Vineyard. No, you know where it is. What's the name of the place he Martha lived in? Martha Washington, I like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I... I, no, I don't. <laughs> 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 um, I, yeah, I don't. It's you're probably. Right. It's. Pro, I'm trying I think to. It's, th- I think it's. I think it's. Now hold on. Uh huh. The, the Mount pres- Vernon, right? Yeah. Wasn't that, 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 yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Because also now, you know, the Capitol wasn't always in Washington. I don't know when it moved. Well, by the time we had presidents, it was. What's the question? Didn't live in the White House. <laughs> yeah, the only one that didn't live in Washington. Correct. Not Correct. The White House, Washington. No. Huh? Correct. Let's go Mount Vernon. Let's go. Let's go George Washington. Okay. George Washington is correct. Yes. Okay, and speaking of Mount Vernon, uh-huh. we li- we lived half a mile from there. You did? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Why what do you think it? I'm such a Redskins fan? Oh, when I was a kid. That's why I said I lived in the D.C. area. Why well, I think I became a big Washington fan. Okay. Yeah. Right. My my The colonel was, was stationed up there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. I like the way you, I thought, oh, they're going off the rails, and yeah. they came back. It, well, and, it, made, it made sense to go with the very first one, yeah. mm-hmm. right? Yeah. There no, probably that was, was good. No, I liked in it. In fact, George Washington, there probably was no White House yet when George Washington was president. Was, was Roosevelt, what was Roosevelt? Was it Hyde yeah. Park, John? Is that what it was called? I think so, yeah. Upstate New York. I yeah. think you're right. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Music. Man low! Sing it <laughs> the four season <laughs> the four seasons the counting crows uh-huh. collective soul and taylor swift all had hits with songs that have what month in the title okay uh oh what a night september late december, december. back in 63 well and then the one had the um what are the what are the bands again the four seasons uh-huh the Counting Crows, Collective Soul, 
and Taylor Swift all had hits with songs that have what month in the title. I think Taylor Taylor had December. Okay, sure. did. then it is December. Because okay. Frankie right. Valley and the Four Seasons, I'm pretty sure that's them. Yeah. Okay. You you sure Taylor has December? I'm sure, pretty sure that's when she all right, was let's born go December. and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Was I right about the oh, what a night? Is yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Right. You sure were. All right, good. Yeah. Good job. Okay. I love that song. I like it. Me too. It's still, yeah, it kind of holds up to time, actually. History. History. What state was the first to secede from the Union in 1860? <sighs> Me some, give me some it feels ideas. like South Carolina, but I don't know. Okay. Well, it feels like South I Carolina, like but, I, I don't, but I, I, I'm not sure. Well, go with the gut. South Carolina. It feels right. South Ooh, Carolina. Nice pull, Jeff. <laughs> well done. Yes. Uh huh. TV. TV. Monty Hall hosted what game show for over 30 years? Let's make a deal. Yes. Very good. Monty had okay. a little bit of that creeper feeling like sure. Richard Dawson, like Dickie yeah, Dawson I on the so. Family Feud when he used to make out with the ladies each one. Okay, up next, Janet. Janet, if Janet you can bring fi- that in here. Janet, yeah. if you can find my hotel <laughs> key in your purse, I have $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I've got some creeper in him. <laughs> Look at the hotel oh key, God. Janice. A hotel key. Can you find one in there? <laughs> Janice was behind door number one. Creep dog. Yeah. I'll tell you what. You look back, you talk about Richard Dawson. I swear, you look at some of his old episodes, I think he is hammered. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, right? Did he smoke oh, on that God. show? He I think have, he did. He might have fired up heaters. I think during. he did, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's a long way from Steve Harvey, I'll tell you that. Listen, I give it up. That's commitment as a smoker. When you're just yeah. fired up in the middle of the game yeah. show, if you can't make it through the intros without having to smoke, that's commitment. Yeah. We had some weird – then yeah. we had the Family Feud host who committed suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ray oh, – uh, Trivia question. Yep, yeah, Ray. It's, it's Ray um, uh, La, La something. Uh, or is it start with an M? It's either La, La it Fontaine. Begins with, no, it begins with a C. begins with a Ray C. Combs. Car, Car, yeah, Combs. Yeah, Combs. Yes, yeah. Ray Combs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Geez, I mean, it's a tough job, man. Good gracious. Louis Anderson battled. You know, is Louis Anderson with us? No, I think he died. Yeah. He passed. Didn't he do Family yeah, Feud he, also? Yeah, he passed. Yeah. He did. Yes, Steve he Harvey's did. been the best one other than Richard Dawson. Yeah. he's it's been, He's been perfect for that show. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, even Mr. Peterman hosted for a while, remember? Whatever, oh, yeah. John. Uh, yeah. yeah. Her, oh, Hurley? Hurley? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, I'm really proud of myself because, okay, you know, I do find, you know, because I do find uh, great ideas from your show, believe it or not. Okay. <laughs> so your audio clue, mm-hmm. and Dan, you especially, I okay. think, will appreciate this. All right. Okay. I asked to be or not to be a rogue or peasant slave is what you see. A boy who loves his mother's knee. And so I asked to be or not to be. So hear my plea again. Oh my gosh, well done. Say you see a little we were doing this yesterday. To fight this is Gilligan's Island. Flea. Yes, to fight this is Gilligan. Okay, it's Ham. I asked myself to be or not to Is that the question? Okay. Yeah. Well, no, actually, that's oh. not the question, but... Oh. Okay. All right, thanks, Steve. That's perfect. We watched this. We so, considered this to be good stuff back in the day. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah. You, I know. I asked, I, I asked Steve if he had ever watched any uh, reruns of Gilligan's Island. Oh, nope. hell no. There's no way. Stop playing, man. You just make sure you have before the street lights come on. <laughs> Listen, I'm old enough to remember Gilligan's Island when it was a regular TV show no, not on primetime. It was a get home from school and watch an hour block of Gilligan's Island. Yeah, of course. Loved yeah. it. It's like a tenure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you've got two choices here. Right. Um, the actor, the actor that played the director who was stranded on the island. Okay. Uh, or. That's Jim Baggins. Uh, what was. No, no, no. No, no, no. That, no. The, He's talking about uh, that the guest episode. Star, the guest star. Oh, right. oh, oh, the episode. oh, 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 The actor oh, oh. that played him, or what was the director's name? Um, it was an alliterative name. Um, I think the, what, the guy, it's the dude that looked, is it Dick Van Patten? 
Vin, is that who's the dad? Dick Van Patten. Eight is enough. Yeah, I think that's him. I think it's a young him. Really? <laughs> He's got that look. I think I that's figured it. Dan would know this. I yeah. don't. It's not <laughs> him, huh? I don't know it. I it's don't not remember him, right? it. Can, um, hold on. Dick Van Patten was one of those. At least that's a dude that looks like him. Um, I don't remember. I just remember them doing the Hamlet. I don't remember the director. I'm trying to really grind on it here. Yeah, um, I'm trying to look. I can't. I'm trying to picture if I, him. If I see him, would I know him? Because I can't picture him. Yes, you would. He's yeah, he's he been in TV series, yeah, yeah. and um, but going back, yeah. like I said, that was yeah, going. Yeah. Who, but, who was And he's it? been in many in movies, too. Yeah, it's. I'm trying to picture it in my thing. They're all. It's the, yeah, they got the outdoor uh, stage set up. Yeah, they're having I see all that. the hijinks. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, opening yeah, up. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Howell are sitting in the audience there. And then, then, then the. Yes, yeah. He, he's yeah. sitting back in the director's yeah. chair. Yeah, and it's. Uh, but I can't. I'm, I'm just. Is it. Um, I don't, it's I not don't. Vincent Price? It's not him. No, although I think he may have been a guest star on there. Yeah, I think he, he was. was on that show. No, he was on the show. I'm just trying. Yeah. To, I'm trying. Yeah. Um, we're we're. Um, boy, I don't remember. Let's see. We're gonna have to sacrifice. But give me a hint. We'll get it. Um, what else was he in? He was in. Um, it's a. He's bald. Uh, glasses. Um, Kiss Marja. Like totally bald, or like balding. No, like had hair on the side, but yeah, bald. Yeah. I don't know yeah. who it is. I don't, I don't know. know who is it. Okay. Phil Silvers. Oh, he yeah, that yeah, is, yeah. right? Very good. Yeah. No, I have yeah. no idea. Who okay. Yeah. And then, okay, and then this was, and what his name was, and and let me know if you remember this, Harold Hecuba. No. No. Okay. No, no, All no, right. No, no, no. That was a good, that's good, okay. though. I thought you'd get the Phil Silvers, yeah, though. Yeah, no, I, I thought I, you'd get the Phil Silvers. Good. Good Phil question. Silvers is like, what, is he like Dick Van Dyke show, maybe? Or what else is he? He's like a, like a Well, he was in a creator. Park and Bill Co. series yeah, yeah, back yeah, yeah. in the 50s. Yeah, yeah. I, I and, couldn't, I, you could yeah, show me this guy picture, and I would not know where I know him from. I wouldn't even be able to tell you. But you'd actor. recognize him. He looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, you would recognize him, though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He was kind of in a lot of stuff. Okay. Not happy. All right. Well, you still liked the cut, didn't you? That's a terrible mm-hmm. question. I like to cut. I like going down memory lane. That's an impossible question. I mean, I just, but go ahead. Chicken feathers. Yeah. Total chicken feathers. All right. Well, I, but, no, but, I, well, but I thought it was Dan fun. would get it. I thought yeah. Dan would get it. Nah. Okay. Okay. Come on, question, man. <laughs> <laughs> Awards. Awards. The MTV Video Music Awards statuette mm-hmm. is in the shape of what? The astronaut. Yes. Well done, E. Hey, e, how come they, uh, I saw a clip on social media last night, maybe you saw it, they booed Whitney Houston at one of the, uh, at oh, one of the awards, like booed her, like she was a nominee for a song. Oh, for real? Yeah, they, I mean, booed the hell out of her. I didn't, I'd have I to go back and look yeah, into I, that. Yeah, I, I, I need an answer. On really? That. Yeah, uh-huh. I, I was like, what in the world? Wow. And then they went, they cut to like her aunt and she was talking about how hurt she was that they booed her and it was weird. But anyway. Wow. I just saw that yesterday wow. on my t- on the but go ahead. We got time for a couple more, John. Okay. Okay. British business. British business. Still a- still around. Identify the two rival auction houses which began with a seventeen forty four sale of scarce and valuable books and a seventeen sixty six mm-hmm. sale of chamber pots. Yeah, uh 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 Sotheby's is one of them. Mm-hmm. Right. Sotheby's, yep, correct. And what's the other one? <laughs> it's an auction house? Yeah. Sotheby's is the one yeah. that I, I, comes to my is mind. Is it where? Repeat the question, John. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, still, British business. Still around. Identify the two rival auction houses, which began with the 1744 yeah. sale. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not Lo- Lloyd's of London doesn't do auctions, do they? Oh. No, it's just insurance. Yeah. It's Sotheby's. Sotheby's and, yeah, Sotheby's Sotheby's and, and I, I, the other one is, uh, oh, gosh, it was just right there. Tickled you my, know this, yeah. Yeah, it tickled my brainstem yeah. there just for a second. It's um, oh oh gosh, it was there again. Um, I don't, I don't. Uh, it's not coming to me. Uh, it's uh, it, uh, uh, um, oh gosh, it's right there, man. Um, Come on, you guys can get this. Yeah, it's. Does it start with an H? Starts with a starts with a C. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting a headache. Sotheby's and what? Christie's. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? By the way, the B team there in that in those two. Yeah. Sotheby's. I could. Yeah. That one I've heard a ton. 
Okay. Uh, movies. Movies. Within one year, either way, mm-hmm. what year was Jaws released? 77. Yeah. Maybe think. 75, actually. Let's go 76. 76. You're within it. It was 75. 75. Yeah, hey. Didn't your mom take you to that one, right? Yes. I, I, didn't go, I, <laughs> didn't, I, didn't, I didn't go with my mom. But I did go with the neighborhood, you know, the neighborhood p- parents Terror, took us. Terrorized. I was 12 years old. I Awful. Was, I was eight years old. My parents let me see Jaws in the theater. Awful. It's bad parenting. Awful. It was a different, scared the living. It was a different time. I'm never going in the ocean. It didn't bother me that much. Yeah. It scared me, but it wasn't like, uh, oh my, awful. like traumatizing. Uh, so o- like some people saw scene, Jaws and couldn't Opening take, scene was off. Yeah. Couldn't take a. Uh, that was I the did, only one. The only, re- it just, got me. I remember boobies. Oh, boobies were good. Oh. <laughs> Hey, the, the original scene, Omen I mean. in 1976 scared the crap out of me. Which one? That was really... The, the original Omen in yeah, 1976. Yeah, I took a pass on that one. Yeah, they, they, now, I will say that, yeah. Mr., that, that my, my parents did... They drew the line at Satanism. So, I, that was good. Yeah. Okay. Got out of that. You have time for one more? Yeah. One more. Sure. On the way out. Okay. All right. Music. Manilo! Very strong. Until 1991... Mm-hmm. Who was the lead singer of the band Queen? Yeah, it's uh, 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 Mercury. Yeah, Freddie. Freddie Mercury. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Okay. All right, Johnny. Okay. Good Thanks, work. Buddy. We'll see you guys. Have Thank a great day. Well, this, is, this is a draw on 1010 XL, 92.5 FM. We'll go back to sports in the 10 minute drill next. The drill on 1010 XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. Drink a beer. Sing a song, make a friend, can't we all get along? Drink a beer, sing a song, can't we all get along? This is great! (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) 1010XL. Hi, this is Dale Murray with Murray Automotive Group in Stark and Kingsland. Save yourself from those big city dealers and their fast-talking flim-flam tactics. No matter what your automotive need is, we've got you covered. Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and nobody beats our prices. And I mean nobody. Shazam! Plus our exclusive 15-year, 150,000-mile warranty included on every qualified vehicle. And we'll trade anything from AirPods to fishing rods. Compare our prices online at ShazamAuto.com. Then come see me, Dale Murray. I'll be waiting for you. Shazam! Hey gang, Hicken here, and let's talk skin. Myself and Beaches Dermatology reminding you all, hey man, wear your sunscreen, right? It's getting hot out there, and if you're an active parent hanging at the fields watching the kids, you're in your boat fishing, you like to chill at the sandbar, wear the sunscreen. Man, if you're one of those that say, I don't need that sunscreen, I don't care, I, I, you know, well, cancer ain't cool, man. And trust me, I know, so when grabbing the clubs for your tea time, gassing up the boat, or grabbing the chairs for your kids' games, bring the screen and by the way, gang, if you got anything on your body, whatever, any mole that you don't like, anything that feels a little or looks a little different, go see our friends at Beaches Dermatology. Go see Doctors Metz and Boudreaux, man. They'll take good care of you. Bring the screen. Give Beaches Dermatology a call online at beachesdermatology.com. everybody, Mike Dempsey here for Dandy Foods. Dandy Subs and Sandwiches, look, we always want you to think about those great options as you're driving around Duval, but the beauty is, even as I'm dropping pounds, Dandy's got great options for me as well. Told you all about their protein packs, delicious salads that they have out there. They have fruit cups for on the go. You know what they have, veggie snack trays. You can grab those on the go as well. Perfect, healthy snack. Dandy is the name to know when you're on the go. So stop into a gate store anywhere around Duval and make yours a Dandy. And do it today. Joe C for CSS Fireplaces and Outdoor Living. They can transform your backyard with fire pits, pergolas, screen enclosures, and outdoor kitchens. And CSS handles the entire project from start to finish. You dream it, they build it. CSSOutdoor.com. You've probably heard the saying, it's not how hard you get hit, it's whether or not you get back up. Well, I'm attorney Brett Hastings, and I have a saying of my own. If you get hit with a personal injury or wrongful death, Hit back and fight to make them pay. At Hastings Injury Law, we have the experience you want if you or a loved one suffer a car or trucking accident or wrongful death. Just call 904-HIT-BACK and we'll help you get up and hit back. Office is Jacksonville. 
Bring your guns and bring your hoses, and we're ready to put up some punches. It's Guns and Hoses Charity Boxing. It's back. It's that time. Bell time. In fact, 6.30, Saturday, April 20th. Join us at UNF Arena. Dan and I there for the millionth year in a row. It is so much fun, this charity boxing. And it's serious, and it's fun, and it's impactful, and you're going to have a great time. By the way, street party before and after the event. Make it a day. Saturday, April 20th. Bell time, 6.30, UNF Arena. Guns and Hoses. When you hear a great call on 1010XL. Telephone communicate. It's covered by the All-Pro Roofing phone line. If you'd like any further information, just call me. Listen for great phone interviews all day on the All-Pro Roofing phone line on 1010XL. Ross, I'm thinking about changing my name. Again? You're already the media mogul, the straw that stirs the drink, the Duke of Pablo Bay. Now what? Refer to me as Dreamfinders Danny Hicken. What in the blazes? Is this a cash grab? No, it's just that I believe so much in Dreamfinders Homes. 20 locations in Northeast Florida, official home builder of Jags and Gators. Great opportunity for first-time homeowners. All right. Dreamfinders Danny it is. Did I mention the lowest interest rates you can find? Visit DreamfindersHomes.com. Now let Dreamfinders Danny celebrate through the majesty of song. Dream finders. Oh, bro. I believe they will build Make it your stop. home just right. This is Dr. Kevin Murphy. Thanks to the coaches and the schools who believe in our team at Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. This is Head Coach Ferland Dormery of Trinity Christian Academy High School. Our athletic program selected Southeast Orthopedic Specialists to work with our state championship football team and will continue to use them. We recommend Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. Relieve pain and get back to life. Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. Bueller Air Conditioning presents Are You Cool? Today's challenger, a corporate management manager from Jacksonville, Florida. Meet Les Blankston. Yeah, hi, Bob. That is a remarkably beige suit there, Les. Tell us, why are you on the show? <laughs> well, I just replaced my old air conditioner with a new one from Bueller, and I'm just so comfortable these days. I wondered, am I cool now? Let's find out, Les. Go ahead and spin the wheel. <laughs> That's right, Les. By upgrading your old AC to a more energy-efficient model from Bueller Air Conditioning, you'll save money, save energy, and proudly show your family that you are cool. <laughs> Do you think I should get a mohawk? Uh, pace yourself, Les. Stay cooler with Bueller. Visit BuellerAir.com. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free from credit cards, car loans, and personal loans. Hey, Prosser here. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle. You can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards. Get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. So call now, 904-999-1508. 904-999-1508, or go to LoanPronto.com. NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. Mark Watson with Hardball Creative, with the answers to the questions I'm asked the most. Yes, we are local, and no, I'm not hiring an actor to read these commercials. Check us out at hardballcreative.com. Hardball Creative. Hardball does it all. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Now, the 10-minute drill. This is a big one. On 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. Yeah! All right, sports concepts and rationalizations. We call it the 10-minute drill. At the end of the drill, we like to hand out some razzle dazzle What are we going to dazzle them with today? Oh, uh, We're going to dazzle our listeners with a pair of tickets to the annual Guns and Hoses Fight Night nice. at UNF mm-hmm. Arena. That's happening Saturday, April 20th. So, I'm looking at this uh, uh, feature by the Chargers. And it's so, I got my guy, our guy Harbaugh is in a, is out in Huntington Beach right now, living in his RV. (laughs) 
<laughs> right what next, about the family and the wife? Right next, they're probably finding a house or whatever. Right next to him is Greg Roman, who's his OC. He has an RV next door to him. Yeah, and those two are sitting there on their little fold-out chairs, sucking. Sunset back Kid, and, talking about. <laughs> he's a he is a he's a he's a quirky one that Harbaugh. <laughs> How far is that from the Chargers facilities? He said, "Winning, I don't know." Is he literally on the beach, like at an RV yes. park on the beach? Yes. So he's just like Joe, yes. you know, Joe and Barb who drove up from Santa Barbara. Yeah. They're sitting there, kicked back, and they're winning in football. Is there anything like it? And Harbaugh's like, it's cured more ills than penicillin. Yeah. You know, there you go. It's a scientific fact. Yeah. This guy's a nut job. He's unbelievable. And it, he'll either <sighs> sink or swim big time. It's a, I love the hire, though. I mean, I, he's won everywhere. And, yeah, I he think he'll, and I think he'll That's win. All, yeah. I, I think he'll yeah. win. I don't, that, he has. I ride hot. Parball's one of those dudes with me, and there have been a few along the way. I ride hot and cold with that guy. Yeah. I yeah. like him for a while, and then yeah. I just get on my nerves for a while. This, yeah. this, this, this to me is a non. You know, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a uh, an amazing stat involving the draft next week. Okay. If you haven't seen this, all right. Sean McVay got the job in 2017. Mm-hmm. Uh, this year's draft, 2024, will be the first first rounder he's had. Oh my gosh! Thanks, Les. Two, they uh, they lost, they gave up two in the golf deal that he inherited. They gave up two in the Jalen deal. They once gave up a first rounder for Brandon Cooks. Yeah, oof. Mm-hmm. They traded out of the first round one year with Atlanta to get more picks. But I was saying earlier, you know what? You can do that when you're I don't know good at what you do, and you get Cooper Cup in round three and Puka Nakua in round six, yeah. and you know double digit sack guys in rounds three and four. Mm-hmm. The Rams have done the almost impossible. Not many teams do this. Not many teams pay past the limit, go for broke, and and then rally and steady themselves immediately. And that's what the Rams did last year. And so now I imagine we'll go into the season with the expectation for the Rams to be a playoff team. It's very it's it's fun. I like it when a trade works out for both teams. Yeah. Which one? The Stafford golf. Yeah. Worked out for both. Mm-hmm. Golf now, I've <clears throat> changed my mind. I've moved off of Keenan Allen. The most underrated player in the entire NFL is Jared Goff. Yes. yes. Most underrated player I mean, in the entire league. Off the top of my head, that's a fair yeah. nominee. Because and, and I don't think that people think he's terrible. That's not why he's underrated. He is not given enough credit for what he is he's done and what what he has done the impact he's had the player that he is and so i just now he plays a position where they get so when you're really great you get so many accolades jared goff can't do anything to enter that conversation with mahomes and allen and burrow can he i like i feel like if jared goff won the super bowl this year it'd be about dan campbell the lions he'd be the quarterback but it's not like we'd put him up there in that top 5 quarterback status mhm mhm or it feels that way i don't know i guess we'd have to see it to make it uh to make sure. I have a article I want to share oh. from Ohio State. OSU. Ohio State people. Okay. Ohio, the headline is, Ohio State reportedly spent more than $34 million for this group of, for its football program this year. Uh, $13 million in NIL. Amateur athletics. Eleven point four two five on its assistants, ten million on its head coach. The best team that money can buy. So this is fun. So everybody will root against. They spent the Ohio ten State. million on Ryan Day. He gets oh, 10, yeah. oh, that is his salary. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not going to beat around the bush here. Ohio State, although like one thousand and three over the last three years, has been an embarrassment to both college football and the state of Ohio. I mean, that's a little harsh. And it's no secret that if Ryan Day doesn't beat Michigan this year, he's gone before they even get back in the locker room. I don't care if we're eleven and zero when it happens. So we could just continue to do the same bleep we've been doing and beating the Indianas and Penn States of the world until we get bullied at the end of November. We're going to try something new, buying ourselves a championship. And their transfer portal includes Caleb Downs, who was like an All-American freshman from Alabama, Julian Sane, who's a quarter, young quarterback from Alabama, Quinshawn Judkins, the SEC's leading uh, rusher from Ole Miss, uh, Seth McLaughlin from Alabama, Will Howard, the K-State quarterback, uh, people like that. Mm-hmm. It wasn't cheap, I'll tell you that. But why is everyone chirping us for this? What do you want us to do? Sit around and accept it? Some schools take their darkest moments and hire Navy SEALs to cheat their way back to prominence. I have zero problem with that. We have chosen to take an alternative route. We're going to spend a billion dollars and put the most talented team on the field. By the way, note, I think we had the most talented team at the end of November in at least two of the last three years, but it still didn't matter. How much money does it cost to increase our toughness? Because of, <laughs> because of the alleged $34 million we're spending on the team this year, Ain't none of it's going to matter if we're still bleeding. Hey, dear Ohio State fan, trade you. 
How about that? You take Billy and the Gators, and I'll take your terrible, underachieving, getting bullied Ohio State Buckeyes. Roman Wilson called out Ohio State after UM's win. You want to act hard, but when we're out there, you're not. That yeah, hurts that... to read. Bleep. We're better than them. It's just Jim Harbaugh had his boys more ready to play and more ready to fight than Ryan Day did. If anything, the fact we're paying $34 million for our team this year is not crazy at all. It's that we're paying Ryan Day 10 of it. Let's get five of the biggest, baddest dudes on the O-line and give them $2 million each, and then I'll coach the team. <laughs> We're a tough line away from cakewalking to the title. I get it, though. Day. Your expectations and, and when did. Because I'll say this. As Ohio of April. Ohio State has it, still hasn't won since, like, <laughs> Urban, right? That, I'll that's... say this. As of April 16th, I do feel good about this season. I think we're going to go undefeated, kicking the bleep out of a much worse Michigan team and 50 piece in our way to a national title. But I've also felt that way three years in a row. Yeah, it's a tough line. Michigan is coming down. Yeah, yeah and Ohio for sure. State And is Michigan's loaded. also, by the way, they're going to get hit with some probation. But, There's. Uh, uh, Harbaugh did leave a bit of a mess there. Mm-hmm. And yesterday, the, the the punishment did come down for recruiting violations. They were pretty blatant so, contact during COVID. And then the st- the sign stealing, planting guys on opposing sidelines, that's also going to come to roost. So you can almost tie these two together. Your boy's sitting out there sipping on a Corona. Well, good for him. So as we wrap up spring ball and we go back into the portal again one more time. We got two weeks, right? 16th to 30th? Uh, let me ask you a question. And, and, and we've been down this road a little bit, and you get you get uh, animated about oh, it, but I'm going to bring okay. it up anyway. Because I heard uh, last week the head of uh, Florida Victorious on the, um, on the on the station, the super station here, 1010XL 92.5 FM. Okay. Um, 100,000 snot knocking watts, as far as I know. I don't know what watts are or anything like that, but I just like to say it. Anyway, so the, the dude's on, and he... And he He's the guy who, uh, he's a partner with Coach Spurrier at Spurrier's Restaurant, and he built his empire through Domino's Pizzas and stuff. Nice, real nice guy. I know him, met him a couple times when I go down there to do stuff with Coach. But anyway, good dude. And so he's in charge of trying to get, in, and, 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 and the bottom line, and what's interesting, okay, so some facts and figures, like I think Florida has 500 student athletes. Right now the current NIL funds 200 of them, okay, of the 500. The goal is to eventually... What the goal is with the NIL is to – and keep this out. This is different from the portal. This is NIL. The goal is to give each student athlete something because basically that's their job, right? Now, look, there's different levels of, you know, of, of college athletics, and I tend to look at it like – like my son's a Juco bandit. I'm just happy he's – I mean, I'm happy and thrilled he's playing baseball and gets to play and – you know what? If they pull off the side of the road and eat pulled pork sandwiches, I think that's awesome. You love the game, right? You do yeah. it for the love of the game. But it's a different time. Especially and, basketball and football. And he said, and he said, look, I'm just going to put it bluntly that if if we want to – I've said this to you before, but – I don't think athletes in other sports should get paid. That's fine. Also fine. Yeah. If we want basketball to – Basketball and football, I'm paying. If we want to win, we got to pay the piper because they're going to go somewhere else and get the money. And his point was – I think there's 500,000. It's interesting. Florida, Gator, Gator Nation. I guess this is my question to you. Why hasn't Gator Nation embraced this like some other schools? Because, because Gator, we're getting because Gator Nation had like we don't the, like the the, the he, he was like we got the big money boosters. We need the other guys to give the fifteen dollars a month. We need. He said there's five hundred thousand Gator graduates. Is that every one of them gave ten dollars a month? We'd have the most money of anybody. So let me. So why? Ha- why haven't we? Well, first like, of all, I think they have like three thousand members. In theory, that was e- that that sounds easier than uh, people going oh, through sure. the trouble to do it. Sure. And we and there's also a no one believes in who's running things down there. Is that what it is? Yeah, okay, for sure. So, there's no confidence. So if uh, if Napier fails, it's not even that, Napier. It's be, for at least for me, it's above. I'm not giving Scott Strickland my money. He's a dunderhead. Okay, so if Strickland fails and they bring in somebody else, then you would be. I don't. People I, would be more. You know apt. what? To be I'm honest, just asking. I say this is my line. I'm never giving a dime to right. the University of Florida, and right. I'm fine saying that. But truth be told, yeah. If 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 we got if there's a plan, an easy pay plan, mm-hmm. and everyone's in, and it matters, mm-hmm. then I will. See, but I'm I, not. I'm not sending you fifteen dollars so you idiots uh-huh. can go five and seven. I'm not doing it. Okay, so you're saying they have to win first, but they're saying they can't win without Bro, the money. Bro, you can win. That's a lie. Well, who wins without it? Tell me who wins with it. It's been around for a minute. Yeah, it's been around for a minute. Yeah. Teams build. Well, good I just teams. read about Ohio State and what they're doing. Yeah. Well, let me that's tell been, me at the end of the year. Been, that's been their reaction. Yeah. Well, I will bet you. I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll bet you. Okay, I'll, I'll give you one. You, I'll bet you. 
a uh, million dollars that Ohio State's in the uh, college football playoff this and, year. And I will bet you another million yeah. that because of Michigan's transition, uh-huh. they could have spent zero dollars and would have been in as well. Eh, maybe. Plus, it's a 12-teamer. Yeah. And by the way, <laughs> who, who? Yeah. Like, who want? All right, I'll give you one. Mm-hmm. Does Texas A&M and all their $15 suckers get their money back? Yeah. Because they paid that all the – they were they the did. first one to pay all that money. Uh-huh. They spent $20 million on a recruiting class. Okay, well, how's and it – And they're all gone. Well, how's it – and by the way, you sit there and say dunderheads. I will, yeah. I also say this. If you, Jeff Prosser, Gator fan, yeah. Gator grad, mm-hmm. if you, not Gator – not drill host, if you went down to Gainesville yeah. and spent a day with Billy Napier, mm-hmm. you would come out of there with a different mindset. Like, you would come out of there going – this guy knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, okay. You would, all right. You and, and 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 he would tell you, Jeff. Thankfully, I'm Jeff Drill Host, and I'm smarter enough to get snookered in <laughs> by say, a he, syrupy, sweet talking Southern he would gentleman. Say, he would say, Jeff, ask me any question you want, okay. and you would ask him. Okay, and you would come out of there going, oh, I I, well, I, I like this. Well, okay. I, Fifteen dollars a month. Yes, I'm in. I'm just I'm just bringing it up. It's no, like, I, I hear it's you. Not I a, don't. I don't. I listen. And to I don't. Me. Play, by the way. I don't hold any like I, my I, opinion I, I, of anyone doesn't change no. if you give or don't eh, give. It depends asking, on when they catch you. So I, I, I'm but, just asking the question. Yeah, I think it's ridiculous. Why hasn't Florida, Florida fan who's how much a, does Billy Napier make? Uh, uh, approximately seven. Yeah, when he gives his five million, I'll give my fifteen dollars. Yeah, because okay. two million is more than you're earning, big boy. Okay, so uh, I mean, uh, also, I, it's all out of whack. I, I've said it a million times. I know you have. I think Billy Napier, I buy, how about if I was a coach, I, first it. thing I would do is I'd say, I'm giving a million back. And you know what? To be honest with you, mm-hmm. it might be a really smart investment. A million? No. You're going to pay me $7 million. I'm taking $5 million my first year, and I'm buying me a roster. And then I'm taking $4 million the second year, and I'm buying me a roster. <laughs> and after about four years, I'm a 10-2 and two coach, and, and the program will support buying them. And then I'll take my $9 million a year because now I win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let me ask you this question. If uh-huh. Billy Napier uh-huh. took $5 million uh-huh. of his uh-huh. own money uh-huh. and spread it out in NIL, do you think Florida would be 10-2 and two this year? Uh, well, they need uh, – it depends on how – look, you basically – what we've learned from Ohio State is – and they have numbers assigned to each position to pay. Mm-hmm. But you need, you know, anywhere from 10 to $12 million annually to compete. Fi- uh, from the financial side, unless you can convince them to come to Florida for less. I paid full University of Florida a lot of money in my lifetime. They can go to hockey sticks if they don't know how to spend it and budget it and use it. That's and fine. They, I'm just, listen, the University of Florida yeah. is a billion-dollar corporation. Yeah. This this notion that they can't set aside $10 million a year for the football program is also ridiculous. Don't don't disagree with that either. I'm just saying. Charge that, some of these out-of-state uh, kids that don't like, know a football from, a, like, from an egg. It's kind of like this, though. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's the same argument as, you know, like when our kids don't get in there and we get furious. And yeah. I get it. I totally, yeah, I've sure. gone, we've all gone through it. It's similar. Uh, 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 and yet, so you get mad, but then you're still coming back and we still watch and we still cheer and we still get angry and we still pull our hair out and we still have that because it's our alma mater. It's just interesting. We got to take a break. We're yeah, way yeah, over. for sure. Uh, we'll keep it rolling. Uh, this is the drill on 1010XL 92.5 FM. The Drill, from the studios at Republic Services. We'll handle it from here. Hello, you're on the air. 1010XL has a new lineup. Launch. Here we go. Dan Hicken and Jeff Prosser. Mornings. Mike Dempsey and Fat Tony. 10 to noon. Mia O'Brien. Lauren Brooks and Taylor Dahl. Noon to 2. Joe C. Matt Hayes and Leon. 2 to 4. Frank French and Hayes Carlisle. 4 to 6. And Baloo and Hacker in the evening. Flip a dial. Instant entertainment. Hey, Hickett here for Lockhart Construction. That's a long time Jacksonville business. Shane's dad started. Shane, his dad, his guys are from here taking care of people who live here. People like me, people like my son, Drew Drew. I know a lot of you, a lot of friends and family who have used Lockhart Construction. Uh, we, we've used them numerous times. In fact, they're working on a, on, on a project right now for uh, my son, Drew Drew. So give the Lockhart family a call if you need a construction job, a remodel. Their family gives your family a better living experience. I say you unlock better living with Lockhart Construction. I'm telling you, fast, friendly, affordable, clean. Uh, You need some information? Give Shane a call. You got an idea? No job too big, no job too small. He'll call you back. 994-3865. Shane Lockhart. Lockhart Construction. 994-3865.
Here's Linda Beaver. Beaver Toyota and Beaver Chevrolet have just received a special allocation of new vehicles directly from the factory. Not 10, not 20, but hundreds of new vehicles with special savings that haven't been seen in years. Every new vehicle available in your favorite color and option as far as the eye can see. Plus, get our exclusive 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty with every new car purchase. Hurry to Beaver Toyota in St. Augustine or Beaver Chevrolet in Jacksonville before the best deals are gone. Hacker here, and I'm loving the doors that are now opening now that I'm down almost 50 pounds. Oh, yeah, and those results are in just seven weeks with Awaken 180 weight loss. By doors, I mean opportunities I've avoided because of my weight, like an all-day adventure to SeaWorld or spending three days at Walt Disney World. Did I gain the normal 5 to 10 pounds I would have at Disney? Of course not. In fact, I lost three pounds last week at Disney thanks to the good folks at Awaken 180. Awaken 180 travels with you and I'm eating all sorts of foods, salmon, ground beef, broccoli, cabbage, collard greens, you name it. It's not a lie when I say I'm eating to lose weight is the only way to lose weight. Do what we all did, Matt, Mike, and myself. Call Awaken 180 Weight Loss, 844-346-1800. That's 844-346-1800 or go on Online, awaken180weightloss.com. Bold City Heating and Air is truly a family owned and operated local company and treats all customers like family. Don't be fooled by the out of towners, equity firms, and national corporations that use local names. There's one name you can trust when it comes to your home's AC cooling system Bold City Heating and Air. Jacksonville grown and entirely loyal to this community. Don't wait until it's too late. Schedule your summer maintenance now by visiting BoltCityAC.com. The flagship station of the Jaguars. WJXL AM Jacksonville Beach. WJXL FM Jacksonville Beach. Hello, First Coast. I'm sure by now you have seen our bright green GFL trucks and containers throughout the greater Jacksonville area. We're an industry leader in solid waste and would love the opportunity to earn your business. We're committed to customer service, reliability, and have an unwavering focus on safety. Whether commercial or construction, let us haul your waste away. Call 904-760-5880 to get a quote today from GFL Green for Life. Jamie Johnson, What of You Tour. Like the the award-winning songwriting master. To make June 20th, the St. Augustine Amphitheater. Special guest, Ben Haggard. Should have seen it in color. On sale Friday, 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. I tell you, the high cost of living. Don't miss Jamie Johnson Live. Still living high. My son and I just built a rabbit hutch for two bunnies he got the girls for Easter. That gives them a dog, three cats, a snake, a gecko, and two bunnies. At Zero Res, we love pets. If you are a pet lover and need some help cleaning up after those furry friends, give Zero Res a call. For April, Zero Res is offering 25% off on all floor cleaning services. That's 25% off the cleaning of your carpets, tile and grout, vinyl and wood floors, and your area rugs. Zero Res, spelled forward or backwards, it's the right way to clean. Zero Res. Here's your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update sponsored by First Coast Honda dealers. Jag linebacker Foy Aluakon participating in off-season workouts has taken note of the AFC South getting more competitive. It's no joke the AFC South got better, so if we want to be able to come on top in the AFC South, like all of us are going to have to get better. There was a major reason the spring game this past weekend for the Georgia Bulldogs was successful for head coach Kirby Smart. Healthy. Number one thing is healthy. Guys got to compete, put on a show for the fans. We still like to play football around here in the spring. The Jacksonville Icemen's loss to the Greenville Swamp Rabbits on Sunday was costly. Slipped the team to the number two seed in the East Coast Hockey League South Division playoffs. They'll face off Thursday against the defending champion Florida Everblades at Five Star Veterans Memorial Arena. Puck drops at 7 p.m. And that's your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update. I'm Sam Nelson. It's 816 and it's 63 degrees. Your time and your tip is brought to you by Bueller Air Conditioning. Stay cooler with Bueller. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. All right, boys. I'm here. I got a... Uh... 
I noticed something yesterday. I gotta just, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it because it's not worth it. But I wanna. I noticed something happen. I hate when this happens. Oh. I hate and, it when that happens. And what happened was, the non-sports world crept into the sports world. Oh, it's happening a lot now. I don't like the non-sports world creeping into the sports world. They know of not what they speak. Okay. I don't creep into their world. Okay. I leave their world alone. You figure it out. You're smarter than me. But when it comes to sports, I know what I'm doing. All right. So what I've happens? got a little uh, PSA. If Stay you don't. in your lane. Thank you. I'd like to tell you guys one LeVar, time. we got a LeVar Ball spotting. Yeah. E. Stay in your lane. Thank you. You non-sports people, like, example, Hoda Kotb. Okay. Do you know who Hoda Kotb is? Sure. Hey, Hoda. Stay in your lane. Thank you. Tell folks who Hoda Hoda is. She usually is about four wines in by the time she makes some of them. She probably was. She does the Today Show. She used to with Kathy Lee. Hoda yesterday was aghast. With? At the WNBA salaries. Okay. All of a sudden, the non-sports world, because somebody posted the fact uh-huh. that Caitlin's making uh-huh. 76K, <laughs> decided to throw out, uh, 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 we're, we're stunned. Uh, it even went up the chain to, well, and I don't want to get political, but I noticed a social media a tweet from the White House about it. I mean, well, the same White House, by the way, I, that wants me I, and you to pay for other kids' I, college education. I, I, listen, These jackasses. Listen, but then here's my theory. Uh, as I tell them all, E, stay in your lane. You know what? You're right. I thought about it. So somebody, hey, ESPN, go ahead, up the salaries. Hey, NBA, throw more money at them. I don't care. Yeah. Up them up, up, up to compare. Give them men's pay. I don't care. I'm just telling the, those of you from the outside world to stay in your lane and let the sports guys handle it. If you don't know this, uh, the, the tune-in factor for the Connecticut Sun and the New York Liberty is not exactly through the roof, is it? Stay in your lane. Thank you, LeVar. So, well... <laughs> I tried to help the WNBA by telling them they should establish a franchise right away in Iowa and let Caitlin Clark be the first pick of them. But this whole, oh my gosh, I mean, I just, I just, they've, they've lost money for years. And, and, and I did see on social media, I did see Bill Burr uh, throw out a little, uh, you know who Bill Burr is, Jeffrey? Yeah, he's a comedian. Yeah, he's kind of filthy, right? Uh, well, yeah, but he, he's kind of the grumpy old man. Kind he, of <laughs> he did do a funny bit where he said, hey, don't blame the dudes. Blame the ladies. You ladies are the ones who don't watch it. You ladies are the ones who don't buy the tickets. Uh, you know what you're yeah. watching? The Kardashians. They're getting billions. What? The Real Housewives. You'd rather watch them all fight and scratch and claw and talk bad about each other than build a chemistry, a unit of a championship squad. <laughs> they need to lower the rims. <laughs> the game, the game, whatever, that bro. Was it. That was the, it. Listen, I, I just had to the, say because I saw too much is, of it yesterday. Uh, this is like, this, I wish if you could answer Hoda. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The, the honest answer would be this. Mm-hmm. So, Hoda, just so I'm clear. Mm-hmm. You, as the anchor of the Today Show, mm-hmm. make $10 million a year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the anchor of the morning, sh- today, uh, the morning show today in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, yes. should also make $10 million a year. Yes. That's the argument you're making. Yes. It's about revenue. Yes. The NBA produces billions very, and billions of dollars in re- profit it's very every simple. year. It's very right. simple. Correct. It's yeah. not anything about no. feelings. No. The only, the, only color, the only color, the only thing that matters is green. Yes. Yeah. And, and by the way. It's that simple. Caitlin Clark will come into the league. Mm-hmm. She's definitely going to give them a burst off the, the, well, they're the gonna bat. Be on, they're going to be on. I think they're on well, what, some yeah, form of television yeah, like 35 times. 38 out of 40. Yeah. But here's the reality that Hoda and the rest don't understand. Mm-hmm. Caitlin Clark should make $10 million and everyone else should just be happy they're making money playing basketball. This is not an interest in women's basketball. Mm-hmm. This is an interest in Caitlin Clark. Yeah. I saw WNBA draft yeah. gets 2.45. Yeah. 2.45. They yeah. wanted to continue on the Caitlin train yeah. and watch her get drafted and yeah. see who she's talked to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a mm-hmm. fact. All, uh, you, all you sudden WNBA fans, mm-hmm. tell me one pick from eight 
to 50 in the draft the other day. Yeah. Tell me one. Yeah. Because Andrew, uh, Andrew Reese went seventh. Tell me <laughs> that's right. right. And tell me, tell me two players not name Andrew Reese and Caitlin Clark. Just two. Hey, uh, E, can I have some pop quiz music? <clears throat> so anyway, the WNBA salary is not about anything other than yeah. revenue. It's yeah. professional sports. This isn't college anymore. There's no Title IX. Everyone gets the same opportunity. Everyone get no. Yeah. It's a business. Yeah. Stay in your lane. You have, by the way, <clears throat> this is the greatest opportunity in WNBA history. I kind of tend to think Caitlin's going to be like, uh, I like in her, in her as she moves to professional sports, like Pistol Pete. I think she's going to be a little bit like Pistol Pete. I think she will bring a bigger, a WNBA yeah. is going to get a boost. And if these crotchety old women, the Diana Taurasi's of the world, would embrace it and support yeah, her right. and grow the sport with right, her. Right. But no, That's just crazy. you're going to, she went Curtis Strange on the world, but she you'll did. find out. Yeah. Sure yeah. she yeah. will, Curtis buddy. Strange. Diana Taurasi, she, she beat your A right now, man. All right, give She's me better uh, than you. Let's move on. Some ah, pop quiz music. Okay. Now this is a this is just an interesting one. I'm not expecting you to get any of these. Oh well, that so, doesn't sound like much fun at all. Uh, Jack Caglione hit 33 home runs last year for the Gators. Okay. And that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That was the 13th best total, tied for the 12th best total. I'm sorry, 11th best total in college baseball history. With the likes of Joe Dillon, Kevin Mench, oh. Nate Gold, and Frank Fazzini. Okay. Okay. But I just want to know the top three home run hitters in college baseball in a season. The top three guys who hit the most home runs in a college baseball season. They did it in 75, 74, and 63 games, respectively. You know all three of them. Now, can I... Is it too much... This is a really, really wide question. Yeah. Why? Because there have been so many players play college baseball oh. for the most part we don't keep up with college baseball stats right i don't know who led college baseball in home runs last year or the year before or the year before right and so for it to stick out and remain in my head the one name like can i get years that the home runs were hit yeah. not teams well go ahead with your gut because i think you'll i think get- pete and cavilia pete and cavilia number one all time hit 48 home runs in 1985 for oklahoma state 75 games he hit 48 home runs pete and cavilia who played a lot of years in the big leagues and see, now I, I can think of a lot of... Now, there's two others. That one you'll know when I give you a hint. The other one you you know, but you know this other one more as a major leaguer than a college player. Right. So that's why I, I mean, I think harder. of the guys who were just like, you know, do, like Phil Nevin. I don't think he hit that many. Like, I'm mm-hmm, thinking of mm-hmm. dominant Golden Spikes winner, Robin okay. Ventura. Okay, those are but nice the, guesses. But those aren't but yeah, home runners, run you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, uh, what about the... Um, what if I gave you this it's one? Is one of them FSU? Yes. Yeah, it's um a, the guy, is it... Um, I think his nickname was Treetops. That's how I remember. Because he hit him into the treetops yeah. in right field? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he was. I could be wrong. Maybe it's not Treetops, but I thought his nickname was Treetops. FSU fan, you can correct me. you got to be an old FSU fan because yeah, it not, happened in I, 1982. Right, I was going to say it's bad. I can't remember the guy's name. Okay. Jeff Ledbetter. Does that ring a bell? Vaguely. Okay. I remember. I would have got. So you, that's not the major league baseball player. So no, the, the, the next third one guy. Is, uh, so Incavilia hit forty eight. Jeff Treetops led better. Hit forty two. I hope he's Treetops. Uh, again, well, he is now. Will tell me if not. He is now. I, well, there's one of them was somebody was Treetops. It might have been a Gator. It might have been a Knoll. But I remember a Treetops. Marvin Treetops Jones. It could be Marvin Treetops Jones. It could be Ernie Treetops D Gregorio. Okay. I'm not sure. sure. Casey Treetops Weldon. It might have been Casey Treetops Weldon. Quite frankly, it could have been Marvin Treetops Jones. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, no, Shade, Shade Tree. Tree. That, yeah, I know. Uh, said that first. Okay, I'll give you the college. I still Bobby not... Treetops Bowden. <laughs> great, great coach. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Anyway. <laughs> Charlie Treetops Ward. We're going to go back to the old Treetops Bound when he came mm-hmm. to Tallahassee. Life changed. I'm going to give you the college. I'm still not sure you'll get this one until I get okay, it. Okay, I like the college, though. Uh, the college Wichita is- State. Rice. Nope, not going to okay. help. How about, how about made his name in the same state? Professionally, okay. So he's a um, he, he, you know, he plays. Uh, it's uh, okay. Um, you know, I'm thinking of those Texas Ranger uh, hitters, okay. but you know, they're, you know, like Wong gone and Pudge. Those guys didn't play college, college, right? Right. right. Uh, so the Ast- uh the you know, the toy cannon. I don't think went to Rice. Jimmy Win. Very um, nice. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, um, I keep. I need another hit. Okay. Um. Mm. What year? What year did he do it in college? 97. 
So 97. And he's been a decent pro player? Or I just know him from Major League Baseball. Was he a good Major League? He was League good, player? yes. He was a good All-star? player. All-star? That's a great question. Major League position. I would say somewhere he made... Let me give you some stats. Yeah. I would say somewhere he made uh, uh, an all-star team. He hit, I'm going to tell you how many home runs he hit in his career. He hit 366 home runs. In, in the majors? Career, in the majors. Damn. He hit 45 home runs in 2006 for this team. That should help you because that was around the time of. Yeah, that's all those. It's not Michael Young? No. No. Uh, no um, did he play for the Astros or the Rangers? Yes. Astros? Yes. Bagwell? Good guess, no. Jeff uh, Bagwell. Yeah, Bagwell, yeah. B- Killer B. Funny stance. Uh, Cam and Itty? Nope. Oh, that was a good one, too. That sounds like 45. Um, Cam and Itty doesn't seem like the he college hit, Here's his home runs uh, with Houston. 30, uh, uh, okay, so he went 34-126, 42-128, so he damn sure wasn't awesome. 25-93, 31-06, 24-82, 45-136, 34-106, 45-126, 29 how, how can I not recall a dude that's hitting that? Oh, you're going to be like, oh, yeah. I think a Bagwell, Caminiti, BGO. Yeah, you're right there. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I don't – Um, it's that it's that that group. Uh, who Played are, in the postseason in 01 uh, against Atlanta, yeah. in 04 against Atlanta, yeah. in oh, 05 uh, against Atlanta. Yeah, no, it's not Beltron. No, uh, um, no, no. Golly, they had a guy. What was his major league position? He was – Outfielder. Was he an outfielder or first baseman? Uh, no, because Bagwell played first on those teams. Outfield and first base, he says. Bats, Bell, no. bats both ways, throws left. Wow, man. I'm yeah. having such a, such a blank. It's the rice part that's throwing 293 me 293 batting average. Oh, I, you know who it is? It's yeah. the, uh, it's another beak. I had a lot yeah. of beaks. It's Lance Berkman. Lance Berkman. Lance Berkman. Yeah. All right. Wow. This, uh, good, good, good. This is the, those are the top three home run hitters in, his, uh, in college history. Do we want to do this quick or no? Oh, yeah. We'll get Joe you in. I fire him up, B. I can't uh, get. Oh, I got to learn how to hang up, though. Hold on. I've still been, I've still been, uh, I've still been annoyed by Joe Yu and his stupid comment to me on Twitter. The well, that happens, you know. Thankfully, then, I'm not again, on Twitter. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like was. if I were on Twitter, I wouldn't like anyone. See, now I can at least like a couple, three yeah, people. I like Joe Yu. I just, yeah. I just this yeah. one, this was out of left field. Lunacy this, sometimes. Like sure. I said on the night, it, it's kind of reminiscent of, and, and Joe Yu's matured a little bit through the years. A but little. It was reminiscent of him telling me that the Canes had the best defense in the country, and, and then, then Louisville hung 55, 65 yeah, on him. Yeah. I remember That's that fair. one, Joe Yu. <laughs> Top of the morning, boys. Can y'all hear me? Am I up? Yes, we uh, hear you fine. Hey, this is going to shock the listening audience, but I am 100% in lockstep with Jeff on this. I wish they would ask me for $10, $15 a month. I would be a new fool to pay any university with billions of dollars, yep. $15 a month, to try to get a recruiting class. You That's got fair. a budget. Yeah. Set the money in there. I pay. I have season tickets. Yeah. I pay a little extra, you know. They, yeah. they give you a little bonus so you can buy away game tickets and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But, come on, hardworking people, you're trying to die, nickel and dime people for 10 and 15 That's what they're doing, That's yeah. Foolish. Yeah. And, well, Hicken's point is no one's making you, but the uh, the ability is there to do it if you want to. So, I, in, in fairness, it's not like the universities are saying – you know, to do it or let it happen. It's it's you know, the fan. It it's a group of fans saying, "Hey, do you want to crowdsource with us, earn some money, and get better recruits?" But yeah, yeah I'm not doing it. No, if you're good at what you do, you ought to. That, that shouldn't be the difference maker. And by the way, you're going to do all this mm-hmm. at some point. The NCAA, somebody's got to step in with the salary cap. End of story. Yeah, that's going to happen. That's oh, yeah. where it all started. I mean, you can tell the kid. It used to be ten years ago. Well, fifteen years ago. Hey, kid. You know, we can't give you any ex- any money. Uh, because the value of this uh, West Virginia diploma is worth the $40 million we're paying coach. Come on, bro. That's the, I'm a capitalist. Supply and demand. That's, well, that, that's some, foolish. There's some truth. Um, likewise, last night on another note, what I called to talk about, bro, the Pels came all the way back. Oh, you had them. I am very – well, I ain't got hurt. But one thing I am encouraged about, best coaching decision I've seen made, Brandon Ingram and not ready. The boys, we won four of the last five while Brandon was hurt. We yeah. came back. And he ruined the chemistry. So he sat him down that entire fourth quarter. You know, Grant Theft Alvarado, Herb <laughs> Jones, and Trey Murphy yeah, came back. No, that's not who you're replacing him with, though, man. I, it's so funny you say that. And I haven't watched the Pelicans like you are. But anybody that's going to play Larry Nance Jr. over Brandon Ingram ain't doing a good coach. Not Larry Nance, yes, but man. Herb. Not Larry Nance, but Herb. Larry and, was on the court. Uh, and Trey. Larry Nance yeah, yeah, was... but he doesn't play the court that Brandon plays. Okay. He, he plays the four. No, I, I, the, the I replacement said... for Brandon were Trey yeah. and, and Herb, All and right. not every game, but last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I hear you. Yeah. Well, I don't like that. So, and I rather play. I rather play OKC than play Denver. So we got a shot. We play Sacramento Friday night. 
if we win, then we play, uh, you know, OKC, which is better than playing Denver. So it's a pure victory for the Lakers. And uh, better hope, we you, better hope, no Zion, you better no hope chance. Mr. Fatty can play. Yeah, no, no Zion, no yeah, chance. He's not fat anymore, bro. Uh, he's, 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 he's big, but he's he has fat to me. Yeah. Anyway, All right, brother. That's, thank you, Joe. You. Um, this, we got to take a break. This is The Drill. Sure. It's on 1010XL 92.5 FM. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. Duval and defense. The ball is out. The ball is out. Things in Jacksonville. Another sack for this Jacksonville defense. Things on 1010XL. Hey, it's one of life's most important decisions if you're 18 years older, you just got married, you just got divorced, you have children, you likely want to take care of your family. Of course you do. That's why I'm telling you about Matt Hinson and the Hinson Law Firm. I'm not the attorney yet. But have you done your last will? A lot of you said, of course not, Hick. Well, you need to. Why? Because then you get the assets to the people that you choose. Also helps minimize income, gift, and estate taxes as well. Matt Hinson, your guy, is going to listen. He's going to help you with some tough decisions. He's going to provide you info needed so you are at ease with your choice. It's a Hinson Law Firm. You got questions? Reach out to Matty, 904 527 1700. That's 904 527 Office is Jacksonville, Florida. And don't let the state decide your fate. Here's Linda Beaver. Beaver Toyota and Beaver Chevrolet have just received a special allocation of new vehicles directly from the factory. Not 10, not 20, but hundreds of new vehicles with special savings that haven't been seen in years. Every new vehicle available in your favorite color and option as far as the eye can see. Plus, get our exclusive 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty with every new car purchase. Hurry to Beaver Toyota in St. Augustine or Beaver Chevrolet in Jacksonville before the best deals are gone. Prosser here for Lifetime Enclosures and Lifetime Flooring. With the weather starting to turn for the better, look ahead. Get that backyard ready for spring with a new screened-in enclosure. Maximize the space you have and make it great with Lifetime Enclosures and Lifetime Flooring. They truly are best in the business. If you have the space and the idea, give them a call today. Lifetime Enclosures and Lifetime Flooring. Showroom just off Phillips Highway. Tell them Prosser sent you. Proud partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is Ace Carline for QC Kinetics. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics now. They've got two great locations. Call for a free consultation at 904-274-5522. That's 904-274-5522. And go see them, Mandarin and Ponte Vedra. You can get in. They've got availability. You need to give them a call. Stop dealing with pain in your hips and your shoulders and your knees. Steroids, surgery, drugs, these are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. Give QC Kinetics a call today. Again, 904-274-5522. Go see them in Mandarin and Ponte Vedra. That's QC Kinetics. Hey, it's Matt Hayes, and I've been telling you about Fenwick Home Services for a while now. Well, spring is here, and that to-do list isn't going away. But I'm not stressing. When I need them, I know Fenwick Home Services is there 24-7 with cooling and plumbing solutions to fit my budget. Whether it's minor upgrades or major repairs, they get it done right the first time. So schedule your seasonal AC tune-up today and avoid costly breakdowns. Don't hope you won't have a problem. Plan to make sure you don't. Book now at FenwickHomeServices.com forward slash radio. Hey, Jacksonville, I'm sure by now you've seen our bright green GFL trucks and containers throughout the greater Jacksonville area. We are an industry leader in solid waste and would love the opportunity to earn your business. We are committed to customer service, reliability, and have unwavering focus on safety. Whether commercial or construction, let us haul your waste away. Call 904-760-5880 to get a quote today. GFL, green for life. It's the blog players put their pads on for. So we want it, we got to bring it. My thoughts and observations on our home team, that's what I share with you every week on my blog. Roland Reach Plumbing brings you Hayes Blog on 1010XL.com. A lot of companies will tell you they're the best. At Custom Tree Surgeons, they show you every time. Custom Tree Surgeons has built an all-pro team. Every tree service professional has years of experience, continually trained and certified. They know what, when, and how to handle any job. It gets done efficiently and quickly by a team of experts. So for tree training, removal, stump grinding, and emergency services, 
Forget any name other than Custom Tree Surgeons. There is no job they can't do better. Go to website customtreesurgeons.com. That's customtreesurgeons.com. And let them show you how the job is supposed to get done. Divorce, menonly.com. This is Kenny Lay of Kenny Lay & Associates. Our firm specializes in representing men in family law. That's all we do. That's our only focus. We can help with all of your family law needs, such as divorce, custody, alimony, and child support. For over a decade, we have helped thousands of men with these types of issues. We even have an appellate division ready to challenge a judge's ruling. If you need a family law attorney, go to divorcemenonly.com. Divorcemenonly.com. Offices, Jacksonville. Let's go! Looking for a night of action without a big hit to your bankroll? This Saturday, April 20th at 7 o'clock in the Vice Star Veterans Memorial Arena, cheer on your Sharks as they go all in against the Las Vegas Nighthawks. See what I did there? With tickets as low as $15, you can't find this kind of family affordable fun anywhere else. Call 904-621-0700 or visit jacksharks.com. Let's go! Decades night. Find that old members only jacket or favorite flannel shirt. We're celebrating the 90s. What's your favorite decade? Let's Go! Don't miss the fun this Saturday, April 20th at 7 o'clock in the Vice Star Veterans Memorial Arena. For tickets, call 904-621-0700 or visit jacksharks.com. That's tickets at 904-621-0700. Let's go! Let's go! Ten Ten XL is presented by Farah and Farah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars, protecting you and your family. Call three nine six fifty five fifty five Jacksonville. A home run! Touchdown! A monster jam! Good, They make the plays on and off the field. Now get ready for the Lockett Law High School Report, brought to you by Lockett Law. Know before you blow. All right, boys, this is the Lock of Law High School Report. No, before you blow, we're going to talk an interesting high school sport today, one that uh, if you look at Jeff and myself, you can tell that we know a lot about. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right, E? Oh, yeah, yeah. And that would be the sport of weightlifting. Pushing so, them steel. Yeah, so, you know, we, we tend to go heavyweight. Uh, that's what we're power <laughs> lifters, Jeff and myself. That's what we like to do, Colby. We have Colby Sexton and Aiden Ryan. No, yeah, Ryan. Aiden Ryan. Two seniors from Bishop Kenny High School. And uh, Colby, how you doing? Doing well, doing well. Aiden, everything good? Pretty good. How about All right, yourself? out of class. That's good. It's a good thing. Yes, appreciate sir. y'all being here. Shout out to BK. <laughs> shout, shout out. out. Shout out to all the peeps over there. Shout out, uh, shout out to my daughter, graduate of BK 2011. <laughs> uh, shout out to Mrs. Gamble. Either of you have Mrs. Gamble for, uh, as your advisor? I do not. Uh, I'm not talking to Mrs. Gamble. Mrs. Gamble's a legend over there. Uh, a legend. Uh, great lady. All right, uh, tell me about weightlifting. What do we do? Like, what's a competition? What do we? What are the? What are the? What are the different? Uh, what do you call them? Okay. <laughs> so there's three lifts. Three lifts. Tell me the lifts. What we do we got? Snatch. Snatch. Clean and jerk. Clean and, and jerk. Pause bench. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's a pause bench? You have to hold it up. It's what you, whenever you're benching. Yeah. And you hold it down. A lot of people like to bounce it off their chest. Yeah, you got to bounce it. I'm a bounce guy. They can't bounce. They can't, can't bounce. bounce. Oh, it's a pause bench. You got to hit and then fire it. They got, you got to oh. wait for them to come. You got a pause bench, call. man. I mean, where you been? Got okay, a pause so bench. are we different? Huh? Uh, well, you with the snatch, you were always good with that one. Well, and the clean and jerk. <laughs> yes. Um, no. Were you so give me uh, different weight classes? Is that what we do? I'm in the 219 weight class. 219. Yeah. All right. Now, Aiden, you're not. No, I'm I, I don't think is Aiden in the 219. Aiden is not. Like the it. Okay. What are you in the? What, in the 139. What? Okay. So that's so you have some some strength for that that weight, right? Yes, sir. All right. So uh, 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 three. You win individually and then together. Do they combine the three? Um. You yeah. So there's two different like um, not like classes, but mm-hmm. like. Different things. Categories. Categories. Yeah, categories. Categories. Thank you. That's what I'm here for, boys. Yeah. <laughs> At Bishop Kenny Education shining through this Come morning. On. Come on, Colby. <laughs> uh, there's traditional and yeah. then there's Olympic. So okay. Olympic is your best snatch, your best clean and jerk added. Yes. Okay. And traditional is your best bench and your best clean and jerk. What is your favorite of the three? Uh, I like the clean. The clean? Yes, sir. What's the number on that? What number are we hitting on that one, Colby Sexton? Uh, it states I'm hoping to do 335. Now, tell me where. T- t- uh, yeah, explain, boy. like, the difference in, in those 
Like, oh. what are you actually doing when you do the the snatch? What is the move? What oh, you, okay. You know, so snatch is like from the ground, and you're going straight like overhead, and you have to like. Oh, so you have like to, this? That's the yeah, one that you go all the way to the top. Yeah, so you, have you have to, to steady yourself, and then you see him lock their legs like out yes, apart. Yes, okay. All right, and, and then, then you can't like uh, like Elbows double can't. press. Oh, I got. I got a question. The other one you get it to your, and then the the clean and jerk you get it to your to your chest, and then you go up. Yes, sir. Which of those is 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 I guess the clean and jerk you can get a little bit heavier weight because you get yeah. to rally yourself. What's the weight difference between, the, like, the 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 winning um, the clean. weight in the clean and jerk versus the snatch? Um, so probably about like a hundred pounds. We're like yeah. twelve, dude. Yeah, <laughs> probably like, like hundred pounds. Like pounds. We need to go through some. <laughs> it might be time in the it's advanced civilization to change some of the weightlifting terms around. It would be bad. I mean, I'm just saying. Man. I mean, the giggling I mean, is just I, it's fascinating. Just, does this happen at every event? Sophomore. <laughs> every parent is exposed to this at some point. I mean, what the hell is going on? Let me let me ask you two a question. Yeah. Have either of you? I've seen this in in powerlifting, mm. and I've seen people do this. Especially in the, which one is that? Uh, That's the snatch, man. Yeah, in the snatch, sometimes you do it too fast and you faint, pass out. A hundred percent. Has that happened to you? Oh, not to me. Not I've to seen us. it me. happen. I've yeah. seen it. That's scary. The yeah. I competition last year. Yeah. I had the clean right here. Yeah. Held it and fell back. Why does that oh. happen? Like, what happened? Do you get the lightheaded on it? They, they the were just like, uh, they're doing way his too bar much hit his too throat? No. It'll be too high up and they'll hold it right there and they won't move it because sometimes if you move Ooh. it, they'll consider it a scratch. So you have to go it from right there. You don't want to fall with that weight, man. No, yeah. That's, some of that's bad. dangerous. Bad deal. Okay, so that does occur. Oh, all the time. All the all time. Right. All right, all right. Now, how did you two uh, get into it? It was part of football, I'm assuming. Is that how you guys, like, tell yes, me about sir. how you developed a love for the sport of weightlifting, Aiden. Well, for me, mm-hmm. Coach Krause, like, if Shout you out Coach Krause. Yeah. Shout, Shout out. Coach Krause. If you weren't doing, like, track or anything, he put us varsity weightlifters pretty mm-hmm. much. So, me and Colby were, like, You guys weren't running. Two. We're not running, Coach. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, so we stuck with that. Colby's like, I can do the shot put thing. <laughs> I'll try that, but otherwise I ain't running. <laughs> no, we <laughs> actually track. <laughs> we actually figured out we were actually kind of good at it, so I kept doing it, mm-hmm. doing it. And then we got to here our senior year, and we're both competing in the state competition. So. All right, when is the state, Colby? Um, it's this Saturday. Oh, it's coming up. It's this Saturday. Okay. Now, can you guys like? Uh, do you have to rest? Like, if you're away, do you do you do you not do anything a couple days beforehand? Do you do you, like? How do you how do you train to get to that? And when you are in a competition, do you have like a number that you know if you reach, it's going to win, or do you go in not knowing if you're going to set a personal best that day? Sometimes it's. Like that, Coach Mack has a lot of the numbers, and he does like what can get us to win or what can mm-hmm. get us to place. That's Do you know what those numbers are? Have you been told yet for this one? No, sir. No. So you don't know whether or not you t- reached them or. But can't you want to hit your personal best in the in the and state, that's what it is, right? right? Isn't that what we're trying to do? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. one's like all or nothing. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. So yeah. shout out Coach Mack, getting yeah. them boys right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. So okay, so do you taper down? Like, have you not, or do you keep lifting right up to it? I've been still lifting. I might might have to. Coach Mack might. A little bit, now, yeah. You got to ease up here a little yourself. couple days. Come on now. Right? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll chill out today. All right. <laughs> maybe today you'll chill out. I was we, giggling like teenagers through the answer. <laughs> I was interested in the answer. Which of those two disciplines? Uh-huh. Like, what's the weight difference between those? <laughs> he said 100 pounds. 100, 100, 100 pounds. Yeah, difference. he said 100 pounds. To, the, said 100 to the, getting the, the boost. Who right? is the best besides? I'm not saying the terms anymore. The I boost. Know. You have the boost and the straight up. That's what we do. <laughs> who is the best? Uh, who are the better? Like, like, do you have dual meets in the season, or is it just the state? Like, what do we do as uh, far as weightlifting? Yeah, we can like, go against like other schools. Did you do that this year or no? Oh, yeah. We did. We yeah. Did a, okay. We did. Like six weeks. Okay. Before uh, state competition. Now, do you do you? Uh, uh, who is your competition? Like, who's good in the? Like, who you face that you're like that? They're a good team. They're like just dismissing any and everyone. Or no you guys the no best? No one we really faced in like those meets were uh, okay. Very good. State would be yeah. a different deal. Uh-huh. Yeah, Actually, like when we went against districts, Baker, uh, we didn't have Baker County in our district. Uh, uh-huh. in our region. Uh, Baker County is good in our region. Yeah, Choctaw is really good. It's country strong at that yeah. way, boys. Yeah. 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 My yeah. favorite is yeah. the girl. They're not wearing uniforms to school. Is it, Baker. Is, All right. Hey, do y'all know <laughs> overalls? <laughs> <what they're wearing. laughs> hey, do y'all know the girl from uh, the girl from Lake City? I see video of her every year. You know what I'm talking about? She's a 
big girl, man, and she throws up some. Yeah, yeah. they Lake got City her in the doing... weightlifting competition. She throws up some enormous mm. numbers, yeah. man. And her coach is over, standing over, oh, her, screaming know, yeah. and yelling. Yeah. Yeah. And the coach, yeah. the coach happen. get over you when you're benching, screaming yeah. at you, not, throw that thing up. Not anything like that. No, no? not no. anything like See, Austin does, that's, that. Austin does. That's there's a little difference there between Lake City and, and BK, uh-huh. right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The the Lake City coach has a big dipper in his mouth and he's yelling at her. Get that weight up. Spitting on her. Am I right, E? And she's not telling anybody. She doesn't care. She's Is that what they do over at Clay? <laughs> they get busy over there at Clay, huh? too. All right, before you go, give me a, a favorite classic, Kenny. Who do you want to shout out to? Uh, shout out Coach Case, power weight training. All right, all right. Aiden? Uh, Senora Phillips in my Spanish class. All right. Oh, Senora oh, Phillips. Phillips. I like, hey. You yeah. know what I've learned through all this? That, the, the whole Greco-Roman culture is pretty freaky. Is it? That's all I'm saying. Why? Freaky, freaky. The names? Look they, yeah, look what they named their stuff. God knows what they're thinking back in the day. I just say. Well, it's Colby Sexton and yeah. uh, and Aiden Ryan, two seniors at Bishop Kennedy. Good luck this weekend, exciting guys. Exciting sport Thank of you. weightlifting. So go get win whatever you got to win. Do you get? Is this? A, is it, are you state champs this week? Uh, you can win a you state win. championship. Yes, sir. All right, right well, go do that. Yes, sir. Why not? Yes, sir. Thank yes, sir all right, fellas. good seeing you, fellas. Uh, have a great time. It's a Lock and Law High Score Report. Uh, Lee Lockett, our buddy, does it, uh, brings it to you. Lock it law, no, before you blow. We're back with uh, the Murphy Power Hour. It's just around the bend. Next. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. It's the fastest sport on four wheels. This is what I've been waiting for. This Sunday at Talladega, brought to you by the Plumbers and Pipefitters Local Union 234. From the station with the most horsepower, 1010XL. Hi, this is Dale Murray with Murray Automotive Group in Stark and Kingsland. Save yourself from those big city dealers and their fast-talking flim-flam tactics. No matter what your automotive need is, we've got you covered. Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and nobody beats our prices, and I mean nobody. Shazam! Plus our exclusive 15-year, 150,000-mile warranty included on every qualified vehicle. And we'll trade anything from AirPods to fishing rods. Compare our prices online at ShazamAuto.com, then come see me, Dale Murray. I'll be waiting for you. Shazam! Hey, everybody, it's Mike Dempsey. Look, before starting Awaken 180, I first wanted to ensure I keep the weight off after dropping it. Well, Paige explained the process, and I was in. Here's Paige now to share it with you. And through this process of cooking your food, through eating out at restaurants, through ordering alcoholic beverages, which you can drink with Awaken 180 with our guidance, you're learning these tools, you're educating yourself, and it doesn't even seem like learning, but you'll learn so much about the foods that you're eating and the variety that you can enjoy that you are arming yourself and ultimately your family with a whole host of information that will enable you to make the right choices, the best choices, the choices that taste good to you long-term so that you can experience that long-term success easily. Thanks, Paige. I chose Awaken 180 because I wanted a solution, a way not to only lose the weight, but the ability to maintain it for life. I found it with Awaken 180. So what's stopping you? Online at Awaken180WeightLoss.com. It's about time for a technology support company to speak the language of your business and have local people who actually answer the phone when you need answers now. It's time to call Total Business Systems. Whether your company needs managed IT services, video surveillance, or voice and data wire Discover why Total Business Systems is on the Jacksonville Business Journal's Fast 50. Call 604-6900, 604-6900, or jacksitexperts.com. This is the sound of real people across Florida betting on sports. It's the sound of winning your bet only on Hard Rock Bet. And if your first bet doesn't win, you get up to $100 back to try again. Hard Rock Bet is Florida's only legal sports book. Your home for betting hoops for any sport you choose. Download Hard Rock Bet now and get two shots at your first bet. Win, or you'll get up to $100 back as a bonus bet. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 plus and physically present in Florida to play. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1-888-ADMIT-IT. You don't have to be a football star to get a signing bonus. The team at Republic Services needs your skills, and they're paying up to $5,000 for you to join the roster. You'll be joining a winner. As an essential business, the Republic Services trucks have not stopped rolling with hourly and weekly pay and better benefits and vacation packages than the rest of the league. Driver trainees, $1,000 sign-on bonus. CDL drivers, $3,000. Diesel mechanics, $5,000 bonus. Join the winning team at Republic Services today. Visit republicservices.com. Equal opportunity When you want to be heard, send your opinion to the 1010XL text line. Designed by Lifetime Enclosures. Thank you for believing in me when the bosses didn't give me a chance. 641-1010. No texting and driving. Get your thoughts heard on 1010XL. 
If you're an experienced, skilled plumber or welder that's MedGas certified and you're tired of working for a company that just doesn't treat you right, Local 234 is the place for you. Their pay is the best in the business. You'll walk away with $35.09 an hour in your pocket. With benefits, that's just over 50 bucks an hour. Local 234 has been around since 1901, and that means something. Visit UA234.com to send your resume. Local 234, make the right connection. After consulting with several orthopedic specialists about my constant knee pain, I chose Southeast Orthopedic Specialist and Dr. Chris Swanson to handle my surgery. Their professionalism let me know this team was the one for me. The surgery was very successful, and if I ever have a future need, I'll continue to trust Southeast Orthopedic Specialists to take care of me. Relieve pain and get back to life. Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. 10XL is presented by Barra and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Welcome to the Daniel Murphy Power Hour. Meet the Mets. Meet the Mets. That ball's well hit to right. I mean, really well hit to right. That ball is gone. Daniel Murphy has struck again. Daniel Murphy has homered for the fifth straight postseason game. Presented by ITP Partners on 1010XL. Oh, yeah! The man, the legend is here. Life is good. We got Daniel Murphy and the Murphy Power Hour brought to you by ITP Partners. We got a lot of different topics. I want, I, to, I want to say, say yes. one thing at 8.52. The Braves play at, uh, I believe, at 2 o'clock today. That means we're T-minus 7 hours until Matt Olson tears an ACL. So stand by. Coming up in T-minus 7 hours, Matty Olson tears an Bad ACL. Bad juju you're bringing. Yeah, I'm just saying by the end of April, we'll be down to uh-huh. this fat A we got from you guys. Boy, this guy's terrible. Hey, tough guy. You got a little... Guillaume, where'd you get him from? Can you take <laughs> his... Easy. Guillaume hit one to the wall for you. Drove in a couple runs last He's night. He's terrible. Wait, he's a fourth he's, infielder. He's a, yeah. Which is a problem when your third infielder is hurt. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I can't be sitting in Guillaume out to second or short yeah. every night. It's two nights in David a row. David Fletcher up as well, too. Oh, look. Right? Uh, Daniel, our, our friend the Ox Gator, he, he might want to say something to you. Let's see what he's got for us. He's on the uh, on the hotline. Good morning, Ox. Good morning, Guggins. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, I uh, uh, was just uh, – I heard you guys earlier talking about Florida Victorious, and I, I oh. kind of stuck, stuck it to the man this weekend. What did you do? So, Florida the- Victorious uh, uh-huh. was having a uh, one of these like raffles, a silent auction uh-huh. for a bunch of. Uh, oh, you went to the Orange and Blue game? There. Yeah, I, went to, okay. I got gatored up. I went to the Orange and Blue game, so uh-huh. they're having the silent auction. Mm-hmm. Well, I went over, and this could speak to the lack of you know passion from the fan base, what have you. So I started looking through some of the items. Well, mm-hmm. they had a uh, an autographed picture of Orr throwing a, a pass against Georgia in the Gator Bowl in like 66. Okay, Steve And Spurrier. I looked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they had no no bids on it. Okay. So minimum bid was $300. I said, hell, this is framed. This is nice. I'm like, I'm going to throw down 300 mm-hmm. Next thing you know, I get a text message. Congratulations, <laughs> you won. I said, all right, that's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> so I got, I got this uh, – Nice picture, probably be if I mean if I went somewhere in the mall or something, it'd probably be four or five hundred bucks. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Stuck it to the man. You stuck it to Oxgator, so you don't know Daniel. Uh, Stephen Orr is is his uh, hero. His hero. Yeah, love him. He, he loves him. Love he loves him. He should. He should be all of our heroes. Yeah, he is our yeah. hero. We love him. But uh, it, 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 there weren't a lot of folks bidding on stuff. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, I went down. My my thoughts on the game were that. They look much more organized. I was with my stepson, so he wanted to sit, sit very low. He's mm-hmm. uh, he's twelve. He mm-hmm. wanted to be near the players. Mm-hmm. We went down. They look much more organized. I don't know if that's going to translate to anything on the field or not. You know, I mean, it's a spring game, so you don't know. But they look better. I mean, Lagway looks like the truth, but we'll see. We'll see. It, the uh, problem with the spring game is everything's got to balance, right? Like on the positive yeah. side, you know, the offense moved the ball, and then you realize, well, we tried seven field goals. So that's right. a re- that indicates red zone. There's a play late, especially special play. They got 10 men on the field. I, there's always something you can find. But I'm with you. I wasn't at the game, Ox, but I did watch the whole thing. It definitely yeah. had a more butt. And I think that's where when Billy talks about, we got 10,412 snaps returning on this team or whatever the name is, that's where it starts to show. You at least got guys in 
you know, more of the routine. Thank you, yeah, Gator. I'll tell you what, what mm-hmm. else, uh, Desmond Watson. Yeah. Uh, he needs some he's of that bigger. Awakened 180. Yeah, he he's bigger. He needs some of that Awakened 180. He does not look good. That's Those not white good. pants are not real flattering. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah last year, yeah, last, last year you, the, the talk was how he had lost some weight. Well, yeah, he yeah. found it and then some because he looked like how beyond. Do you, how does it that's, – that's a problem. Like, and it's not – I don't know, it's, it's with him. I mm-hmm. mean, he's playing college football in Florida – I just, and it's he's amazing how big weight. he is. You can't. There, there, you got to do something because it's gonna. It's a health risk. Yeah, I mean, a, and that's a choice. Yeah, right. you go so watch me. If you go you watch me too. in my uniform in yeah. Colorado and Denver the first year, <laughs> it's I mean, Fatty choice. Murphy. It's yeah. a choice. You weren't that. I Come mean, on, stop. Des, have you seen this kid, Desmond Watson? You I'm not that baby. You just <laughs> look at it. We were in Queens playing the Mets, and I was at first base, and we came in town. And the some, fans. I heard, yeah, I heard somebody scream out. They go, "When's the baby do?" Couldn't help but chuckle because I knew I was about I was about fifteen too heavy yeah, for sure. That happens. Oh my God. At least. Uh, All right, so let me. Uh, oh, but before we go any further, uh, Jay, you got theirs last night. You, you, uh, yeah, I know you chirped after the big win over the Gators earlier, so we just paid you back. You guys, get your split. We got the split. It's good split for us on the road. First, first, uh, first win over Ju and three tries at home. By the way, right. With, so we it, got not that. too many wins during the week either down there no, in Gainesville, no. if I'm not mistaken, and getting your teeth. Getting uh, your- up a little bit on the weekend. If you hit too. a home run with any kind of bat over 500 feet, do, do you do do scouts people take notice? If you hit it over a scoreboard 516 estimated feet and seven home runs in seven straight games, to answer your question straightly, yes. Uh-huh. The next I would say is we might need new bats and new weapons. Also we might fair. need a new governor. Do you do you uh, Jack Caglione? We're talking about here uh, control issues 96, 97 from the left. Hitting at a 400 clip with 21 home runs could leave Florida as the all-time home run leader, hitter or pitcher in the next level. Hitter for me. Hitter for you. He's gonna stay. He's gonna stay healthy longer. Okay. That's kind of what I was thinking earlier. And if it's has uh, that has that thought changed because of all the injuries to arms? Not not for me necessarily. So when I hear, left side 96, 97, yeah, 98. I'd say six. To five, be honest with you, run them out there for both. Okay. That doesn't bother me at all. The, the I would say the issue that comes in. I'm thinking about is so control issues to me is accuracy, right? Well, you got to throw more baseballs. And so you got to work at the it. The more not, baseballs we seem to throw in the modern game, the more us. we get broken. Mm-hmm. But you're going to have to figure out how to throw a punch to where you can get more accurate. It's right. the only way you're going to get more. Aren't accurate. there? Aren't there also more? More and, and and I'm not I'm not dismissing this as something easy to do, but aren't there more lefties throwing 95 than there are guys homering seven games in a row or hitting four or something? With you know what I'm saying, isn't it? What he's doing offensively, isn't it more special than what he's doing on the mound? I would say, yeah. I The offense on – yeah, I'm, I'm, as I'm listening to the question because he, question. he just – he does both so well. Yeah. Right. Um, being left-handed on the mound is going to be more unique. Okay. I think it's going to be – Yeah. It's, it's going to be more unique, more difficult. Um, so, if he was a righty, you'd lean more even more so towards hitting? Yeah. Okay. All the show, hey, righty. Yeah. Uh, which leads to me to another question. I'm watching the Pirates and the Mets last night, and the Pirates have a young pitcher, Phenom, real good. Hunter dialing it up at 100. Jared Jones. Yeah, Jared Jones, Jones yeah. about six foot. Smaller guy, not as big as mm-hmm. you know, some pitchers that we see these days. Six six foot, maybe, six one. Through 59 pitches, 50 for strikes, through five innings. We'll take him out now. What are we doing in this day and age, my man? Uncertain. Why? Well, well yeah. they said they said, well, he threw 125 innings in the minors last year, so they probably got him slated for about a 150. Why? Well, then also, but not all innings are created the same. Very good. You can be. It seemed like last night he was stress free innings. Stress free. Like 60 pitches in, throwing strikes, not a lot of traffic on the bases. Um, the way I look at it now is we're we're putting the governor One hit. of pitches. On these and innings on these pitchers, and it doesn't seem to be working. No, at all. No, everybody's still getting. He's going to yeah. get hurt anyway. I was, I was listening to a stat on the way in by Travis Sawchick that said uh-huh. about thirty-seven percent of major league pitchers have had Tommy John surgery. So we're looking thirty-seven percent. Thirty-seven percent. And I wonder how many wow. have had it more than once. Probably eight to ten. That's and then that's kind of wow. coming now. That the next Strider's generation of players. Yeah. Well, Jake Degrom his second. Yeah. Um, second Giolito second. Strider second. Is Jake expected back this year? Yeah, yeah. I think he'll, he'll like, like after the All Star, August. Yeah. I'd say yeah. after the All Star. What's Scherzer's 
deal. He's so back we'll sooner. Same time. I, think yeah, be sooner. I think he's sooner. sooner I think he was. I saw Verlander watching the Braves Astros yesterday. On, was on the field pregame work. He looks like he's getting close to getting back. It's just what do you expect out of these old guys coming off these long term injuries? I have hard. this. I have this uh, stat. We've been talking a lot about arms, but I got the top highest average fastball velocity in 2023. Okay, so. Last season. Yeah. By individual pitcher? Yes. Well, and I Strider. Also, and I'll, no, I also have their highest average fastball velocity. Oh, in other words, it could be a reliever only throws eight times. And, like, and, their, ball, and their current player. health status. Oh, I have, yeah. Okay. Mm. Bobby Miller is first. He's on the shelf. It just went Yeah. Out. Hunter Green's pitching. Mm. Sandy was third. He's on the shelf. Spencer's fourth. Sorry. All right. Grayson Rodriguez is fifth. We got Renato Lopez, who's apparently better than anyone we've ever had. So. Former Shane. teammate. Shane McClanahan is sixth mm-hmm. on the shelf. Garrett Cole is seventh on the shelf. Luzardo is eighth. On the shelf. Sho- no, no, Luzardo's no, the no, one. Luzardo's Luzardo's Perez. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shohei is ninth on the Second. shelf. Tyler just came back. Glasno. Luis Castillo's pitching. Taj Bradley, I don't know, but on the shelf. Kirby, Please. Medina, Wheeler, all pitching. Senga and Oviedo on the shelf. Of 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Half of them are on the shelf. That's highest. That's the guys who throw the hardest. Is and there we a miss correlation? Out of, out of it's I definitely draw a cor- correlation. Yeah, there's a correlation. Yeah. Um, between kind of max effort and how many pitches you throw. And I mean, when when I think back to the guys that have come before us that have been able to stay healthy, mm-hmm. um, it's it's being able to go and grab that velocity at the proper moments, mm-hmm. which is not all the time. But then I'll listen and I hear. Um, which you mentioned Tyler Glasnow, who was of the belief that when he was coming up that the only way he was going to be able to get to the big leagues and stay Mm -hmm. was to throw as hard as he could every single pitch. Mm -hmm. But as he got into his discussion with Chris Rose, I was listening to, he says, well, I don't try to throw as hard as I can every time now. I work at like 94, 95, and I try to be more accurate with control. Well, I think that we could take that route from the beginning. Now, mm-hmm. some may say, well, if you're if you're not going to throw hard and you're just going to try to aim it or be accurate like Greg Maddox, you won't survive, but I just don't buy it. I wonder with all this power pitching if the next wave won't be. The, I mean, you get to a while as a hitter, it's only natural. You see 95, 92, 95. Some guy th- comes along, go 87 to 90 and put it perfectly like Glavin, like Maddox. There's always a place for them, isn't there? Even, yeah, I think so, and I was watching it last night. So I was watching it at bat with mm-hmm. – who was it? It was a left-hander, but – Basically, by my eye, how the at-bat had gone, mm-hmm. they had gone like fastball inside, even cutter kind of inside to the left-handed hitter. And the way I saw him, he was kind of, he was op- not opening up in a bad way, but you could just see him opening. And mm-hmm. so my first thought was a nice slow curveball away would be good because you could show him that it looks like it's going to be straight, but then as it breaks, but then it's slower than that the hitting that speed. That wasn't Kelnick, was it? No, it was Kel- 904. 904. But as I thought... Slow curveball away. Mm-hmm. Nobody throws slow curveballs anymore at all. Yeah, they it's, do this. It's yeah. just leaning on everything. And he actually ended up throwing the pitch right exactly where I would have tried to throw it just a little harder. He got a, he didn't get away with it. He got the guy out. Mm-hmm. Um it was a great it was a great sequence. I um let's let's take a let's take a timeout. Let's okay. come back on the other side. I, I have a pest of the day that's gonna translate into a legitimate question for Daniel. And okay. and and the players potential role in this and just as as a as a as a spoiler alert and i know i go on the rants and it becomes a bit Mm -hmm. well we're getting to a point of diminishing returns with the umpiring that that (laughs) you could argue something's got to be done (laughs) and wrapped up in a past of the day with some specific examples and uh thoughts from the big leaguer himself when we return it's the murphy power hour and more on a beach roast plumbing wednesday the drill from the studios at republic services we'll handle it from here Grunell. Hi, I'm Mark Grunell. On the fade. Touchdown to Jimmy Smith. You have found the best Jaguars coverage in Jacksonville on 1010XL 92.5 FM. I'm Frank Frangie with the Nim Nick Nugget. I'm not saying Scotty Scheffler is Tiger because he's not. But he's the first guy since Tiger that every time he plays, I expect him to win and we're usually right. Tiger's the last guy that we were that convinced every time he was going to win and he never disappointed. Spieth, JT, DJ never had that. Scotty Scheffler, what a joy to watch. One of the greatest golfers in a long, long time. I can't wait to watch him again. I'm Frank Frangie for the Nimnik family of dealerships. 
There are trucks, and then there's the truck, the GMC Sierra. Frank Frangie here with available features like the V8 engine, the ultimate luxury interior, and, of course, the available world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. Nimnik Buick GMC has the largest inventory of GMC Sierras in the area. This month, save up to $10,000 off new GMC Sierra 1500 or enjoy rates as low as 1.9% APR financing. You get it at Nimnik. GMC, we are professional grade. Certainly facing some interesting economic times. I can't speak for all of us, but for me, it's comforting to know my money's in good hands with ITP Partners. Hicking here for ITP Partners. Jacksonville guys taking care of my Jacksonville money gang. I'm not the expert when it comes to investing, right? 401ks, SEP IRAs. I got guys that I trust. And the reason I trust is because my money grows each and every month, and that's the ITP Partners. That is Chris Bryan and Jeff Hartman and Reagan Wright and Dan Abel and Reed Wingate from Junie Bug to Drew Drew, three generations of Hickens. Invest with our friends at ITB Partners, friends, family as well. And why? Because they listen and give us different strategies where our goals are their priority. What a great time to get started. ITB Partners are there to help to listen. Chris at ITBPartners.com. Chris at ITBPartners.com. Or call them. 312-9751. 312-9751. ITB Partners are my financial partners for life. If you're a business owner and want to learn about federal, state, or local government contracts, plan to attend a free online webinar April 23rd. The Florida Apex Accelerator, in partnership with UNF, provides expert guidance and consultations at no cost. The Apex Accelerator program can make selling to the government less complicated. To attend the free coffee and contracting webinar April 23rd, register at unf.edu slash sbdc. Then select Training and Event tab. Tired of changing out bad sod year after year? Get it done right with Roundtree Sod. Big or small, they have it, and always supply farm fresh. For a lush, legendary green lawn, call 7414-SOD for a free estimate. 7414-SOD. WJXL AM Jacksonville Beach. WJXL FM Jacksonville Beach. Lauren Brooks here from Mayport CNC Fisheries. Growing up at the beach, I know good shrimp and oysters when I see them. They're local and they're fresh. That's why Mayport CNC Fisheries is my go-to for both. They have local shrimp in stock seven days a week. Eat like a local at Mayport CNC Fisheries. Now that's what I call high quality H2O. If you want high quality water throughout your home, call your local water boy. We install equipment to solve any water problem. Waterboyjax.com. If you have experienced problems when it comes to selling your home, maybe it's just because you have not discovered Chad and Sandy and ChadandSandy.com. That's Chad, A-N-D, Sandy.com. You can call them at 904-414-6200. But here's the bottom line. Your home will be sold, guaranteed, or they'll buy it. So whatever you think your problem may be, whether you need more space for an office or growing family or you want maximum equity from your home, but you're not sure how, Chad and Sandy deliver with a promise. And at the bottom line, it ends with your home is sold at an agreed upon price and deadline or they will buy it. That is the definition of a guarantee. The proof is out there. Pete in Lakeshore writes, I was in a pickle. I heard Chad and Sandy on the radio and I called because I needed cash out on a rental property fast. I was struggling to rent. Chad and Sandy got a full offer, full asking price within days. Go to chadandsandy.com. That's chadandsandy.com or call 904-414-6200 today. Have you or someone you care about been arrested or had their driver's license taken away? I'm Susan Cohen and I work with David Robbins at the law firm of Epstein and Robbins. We are experienced fighters for those charged with DUI and all criminal offenses. I've been named the best DUI attorney in the state, and David has been named the best criminal defense lawyer in Jacksonville. In your battle with the justice system, there is only one thing you need to know. Dial David 24-7 at Epstein & Robbins, 354-5645. Rolling, 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 we're all calling rolling, the toilet's overflowing. Got a leak and can't wait a week. Call Roland Reese Plumbing, 260-7059. Hey everybody, it's Mike Dempsey here for Pella Windows and Doors. Look, obviously the warmer temperatures are already here. And if you're like me, you want that oppressive Florida heat to stay outside your house. That's why I'm such a fan of Pella Windows and Doors. By now we know that windows are the number one way that heat gets in and the cold gets out. 
So when you're ready for the stylish design and energy efficiency that comes from Pella Windows and Doors, visit their showroom on Phillips Highway, just north of Bay Meadows, or you can always find them online at PellaJacks.com. That's Pella Windows and Doors. E.T. here, and it's time for the Taste of Golf at TPC Sawgrass, April 24th. Join me for fine cuisine from chefs from the top golf clubs in our area, craft cocktails, games, and unique auction items. This is one of the most charitable events in our area. Come network with a sophisticated audience who is passionate about golf and its values, all while impacting the youth in our community. All proceeds benefit First Team North Florida. For tickets, go to tasteofgolf.com. Come on, somebody. Here's your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update sponsored by Window Gang Jacksonville. As he entered the JAG offseason program, QB Trevor Lawrence says it's taken a while for him to get to 100%. It took a while. I mean, I'd probably say March. You know, when March hit, I felt really good, like lifting and doing everything like totally normal. Noel said Coach Mike Norvell spotlighted the growth of tight end Jackson West following yesterday's spring practice. I think Jackson has a chance to be as good as he wants to be. I mean, he's speed, athletic you know, ability, you know, power, physical. Uh, I mean, he's, he's about all the right things. Gator Baseball got the revenge they were seeking against the JU Dolphins as the team fired three home runs into the night and won back-to-back games. Gator pitching staff gave up a run off five hits and eight strikeouts. Up next, the Gators prepare for a three-game road trip at number 13 Vanderbilt. With your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update, I'm Sam Nelson. It's 9-12 and it's 68 degrees. Your time and your temp is brought to you by Bueller Air Conditioning. Stay cooler with Bueller. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. You're listening to the Daniel Murphy Power Hour, presented by ITP Partners on 1010XL. Beanballed there. Got beanballed. did. All right. Um, it's the Murphy Power Hour. We love it. We love talking hardball. Yes, we do. Uh, you said, you mentioned something, I had to go back. I'm thinking, like, like, I want, is there no, you're too smart and, like, too aware, but, I like, I, I think of, like, Ricky Henderson telling John Olerud he once played with a guy who wore a helmet like that, <laughs> right? So, like, I wonder if there's a guy who was a teammate or wasn't that you would misidentify. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I told you, were you ever teammates with, you know, Tony Kemp or, you know, whoever, mm-hmm. you would know there's probably some that weren't, but I'm, because I was talking about Reynaldo Lopez, you said a former teammate, and I'm thinking to myself, well, hold on now. I'm almost positive he's like a White Sox Angels guy. I forgot that he had the one Sneaky year with Washington. Uh-huh. Yeah, you stuck in. You got the, his rookie year. Yeah, yeah. him and uh, Lucas Giolito okay. came up together in, I think, I, I, 17, and then he ended up going to the White Sox for the Adam Eaton deal. Okay. he I, Look, he, this is one of those guys that my guy, no matter what he does and how it comes up, I never quite, quite seem to trust him, but they go get this Reynaldo Lopez, right? And I'm guilty of... Looking at his career averages when they got him, right? And I'm not saying what he's doing now, but you see what what Anthopoulos saw because, you know, forget Sale and Freed and Strider on the on the mend and Charlie Morton, the Braves' best pitcher, and it's not close, has been Reynaldo Lopez, who last mm-hmm. night went six scoreless um, in three games. He has uh, given up one earned run. He's pitched 11 innings. Um, he struck out 18. His his WAR is 1.2. The last three years combined, it was 1.7. I, it's been kind of a savior at this point. Yeah. Well, he also uh, six Ray, innings, all three, in a, in in a time where guys go four and two thirds for us. Well, he's also out of the mold of I think what the newer pitchers are going to look like. Is he started in the bullpen? If I'm not mistaken, he's a hybrid. He's, he, he's, he's only got two starts since and 2021. Go, and once Spencer went down, he's yeah. moved into the the rotation. He was going to be the fifth starter. Okay. So he was going to be okay. a starter. He, mm-hmm. but he, so he's not the guy taking his uh, strider is okay. either Vines or Elder, or whoever they piece through. Lopez had earned that fifth starting job. So for Atlanta, his only three appearances have been three six inning starts. Okay. But again, a two and zero oh, ERA point five. Daniel, is that good? That's really point good. five. Yeah, his WHIP and is point uh, seven eight or something. I guess that to say him and Jordan Hicks are kind of that model that if it doesn't end up working out in the bullpen because both are in the starting rotation, both were in the bullpen. You can still take those multiple innings into the bullpen if they don't work out as starters, but both are throwing the ball well. Braves, well, the off Braves have lost Albies, yeah. by the way. That's another another one. One thing Murph always says is innings matter. You got, got to eat innings. There's work to be done 162 yes. times nine. And the Mets, you lose Mets have found a kid, and it's interesting. The guys, you know, sometimes these guys find another pitch. 
And this Reed Garrett kid mm. st- struck out 31 and 17 or mm. something like that. Anyway, he's struck out a bunch of guys, and he's given up no earned runs. He's been terrific. It's very early, so you don't. Still, I don't, but I saw his that. percentages. I think he's like 99th percentile in fastball yeah. you know, performance. Yeah. And, and so, Strider so, found another pitch and went to the uh, IL. So. Yeah, well, that happens too. I got this <laughs> uh, on uh, sent to me, by the way. Uh, listening to you guys on the radio talk about velocity and pitching. What about the Harvard executives and our baseball executives have a hand in this mess as well in our analytic-driven baseball world? Old-school scouts still stand, still tend to look at pitchability, how somebody can control their stuff. Uh, Glasno story, a perfect example. I remember listening to Carlton Seaver say, I just uh, hump it up when I need to. I can Did throw you bring 100... up the Pirates pitcher from last night already? Yeah. yeah. I can throw 120, but maybe throw 10 to 15, my max velocity. Thoughts about that, Mr. Yeah. Murphy? Yeah, I mean, as we're talking now, one mm-hmm. of the the incentives for throwing hard and velocity get to the major leagues, make your money as a career. Mm-hmm. But but you get paid, yes, for having great stuff, but you get paid for being available. Yes, like that's that's what you're yes. going to get paid for for being available. Yeah, a guy with a four day. six who can start thirty one right. times is more valuable than the two seven uh, who may. You want a good example? The kid at uh, Kansas City last year who was horrible, Lyles. Yeah, Jordan. Okay, so mm-hmm. he was like, yeah, didn't he lose like seventeen starts on yeah, a row? He was or like something? two and seventeen or mm-hmm. something. Anyway, but and he's in the bullpen, but he's still available. He's, yeah, he's available. You know? And I and, and this is not to say these guys are are terrible by any stretch, but just right. if you think of. A Jeff Supon, I was listening to the right. Cardinals. A Woody Williams, someone who's yeah. going to take the ball every day, going to get you 175 to 200 innings. Mm-hmm. Like, that is that is going to get you rewarded. And I will say that like, you can have the best stuff in the world, but if you're hurt, then you, your stuff doesn't play at all. And so I think that we should be encouraging um, players now and youth right. in high school sports to try to be available. So three years in a row, mm-hmm. I'll use Jordan Lyles as an example. 180, 179, 177 innings pitched. Okay. Which is terrific. What's not terrific is 515 ERA with Texas. He won 10 games. Went to Baltimore, won 12 games with a 442. That's a decent year. And then last year, 6 and 17 with a 628. A little high. All right. So, what you're going to end up happening with someone who, in theory, is going to be more available in today's game is they're going to give up a lot of contact. Right. You're hoping that you better that have a good offensive day that day. Is on the ground, yeah, and at your teammates, yeah. the fellas in the same. And some days it is. It's like Adrian Hauser, and not to say it's just correct. They're gonna give up contact. What velocity and and high spin rates do right. in your curves? They give you swing and miss, mm-hmm. but it also seems to come at the expense of whether or not you're gonna be able to be the guy that pitched long-term. for the Astros last night's a former first rounder, and it's the same thing with him. He had been pitching a contact before the Braves game last night, and he pitched a contact, but they went to guys mm-hmm. like he had given up. Just I was I don't even remember the numbers like. Seven earned runs, one start, and six the one before. Oh, was it was it Whitley? Yeah, uh, no, 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 no. He's got. It, it was uh, Hunter. Um, You're talking about the Brown Fort Forest? Is Hunter Brown? Is that his name? Hunter Brown. Hunter Brown. Okay. Hunter Brown. Yeah. Yeah. He got lit up his last time out. His last two times yeah. out, and for the Braves hit him a little more than they scored, but for a while he kind of held him in check. Um, we lost Whitey Herzog, the White Rat. Yeah, but very, ninety-two. Yeah, very before your time, but White Rat was he was in the Mets organization. He's salty. We should have gave him the job. We did, and he went to St. Louis and beat our butts. But didn't he also? He won with the uh, Royals too, right? White rat? Yeah, or no? Uh, he may. Where have. was? Where was? Why did? Where did? What? Or did he not manage the Royals? I'm losing have. my mind. He may have. Let me look. Who was the manager of the Royals when they played the Cardinals in the World Series? You remember? Uh, Who was, was that? that uh, Tallahassee? Dick Hauser? Was it Dick? Yeah, it was Dick Hauser still. Did, where did Whitey Herzog manage? Was it Whitey just the Cardinals? Herzog? Stand by, please. I, I may have blown that one. He may not have managed, managed the Royals. Royals I thought he did, too. He did as he may have. Yeah. Stand ball. Did he manage them in 80 when they beat the Astros? Was that Whitey, or was he already? He I don't ma- know. He managed the Texas Rangers, the California Angels, the Kansas City Royals from 75 to 79. Okay. And then the and then, Cardinals. And then on to the Cardinals. Yeah, 81 to 90. So, really, his only title then was with the was with the Cardinals. Did he only uh, win one? He won. He was 5-9 and nine in 14 games with the Royals in the postseason, and 21 and 16 in the postseason with the Cardinals. But just oh, one with the Cardinals. Year. LaRusso won them all with the He with had three, uh, six division winners, three pennant winners, and one World Series. Yeah, so winner. one. Mm-hmm. Like those pennants, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway. He had great, this is different, but great beer commercials with Jack Buck. I mean, just old school yeah. stuff that, you know, good, good stuff. The White Rat, but we did not like the White Rat in New York. All right. Uh, speaking of <laughs> speaking of drunk. But R.I.P. Good dude. Uh, yeah. Speaking of drunk, it's a uh, time for today's pest of the day. Brought to you by Mission Pest Solutions. Mm-hmm. Mission Pest Solutions <laughs> gives you just that. 
not just service, not just control, but a solution. Go online, read the Google reviews. You'll find out or call Mission Pest and you will speak to one of the owners when you do. 944 Pest, save 50% on your initial treatment. We got to do something with these umps, man. I'll give Pest of the Day to either Major League Baseball or Angel Hernandez. Angel Hernandez has been umpiring way too long. Mm-hmm. His, his reign of terror has got to end. He had a game the other day where 78% of his called strike accuracy, 78%. Boy, he should be in the 90s, right? 12 of 55 yeah. strikes he called were actually balls. See, unfortunately for Angel and his band of dumb A's, we can actually look at the box and see when you're missing it. You can't. So, Daniel, my point, it now comes, I ask you this as a player. I mean, I know we just accept there's mistakes. This is, this is, this is besmirching the game, man. This is threatening the integrity of the game. That game that he missed 12 of 55 strike calls, they did the analytics. It factored into a 1.79 advantage for the Astros in a game. 1.79 runs in one game. Runs and outs and balls and strikes are too valuable. Angel throws him around like he's like at a drunk wedding. Will you take RoboUmp, yes or no, Daniel? I will. You will? Yes. Okay. Why do we not why move towards that? We why are we, well, we We're moving say, towards it. Uh, We've tried it. Not, it, uh, not they, at the big league. They're not. They don't trust it enough yet, I would say, Major League okay. Baseball to, to put I it I trust in play. it a little but more than, than Angel. Like you, when, I, when you... I got a count last night of uh, uh, one and one, and you've taught me about the battle for the strike zone, and, and my guy throws a strike, and they call ball, and it's two and one, and I'm like, that was a strike. How do you miss that? It's what? right on Correct. the – Correct. Yeah. It, it leads to – yeah, uh, Jonathan Parra, 82%. I think that's when I texted you, I hate umpires. Yes. Jonathan Parra, 82% <laughs> accuracy on Monday. Seven of his 39 called strikes were actually balls. I mean, look, Murphy's talked about a ball's valuable, man. Uh, balls yeah. and strikes, it's account matters. One and oh, oh, and one. Well, in the game last night, Araldis Chapman, I don't know if you watched it yeah. at the end, but he's trying to go, not finish the ball game out, but he's got a 3 2 pitch. No, 2 2. Anyway, he throws a strike that you think is going to end the at bat, calls it a ball. He ends up recording the out later in the at bat, mm. but you can tell that Araldis is still holding on to yep. it, and he held on to it for the rest of the three batters, gave up two or three runs. Got and then. As he was going to, as it, there was a break in time, I was with my wife and I was like, man, Araldis may have a little go with the umpire right here. He seems like he's still disgruntled. Next thing I see, he's getting the old heave ho from the umpire. I don't know how they don't lose their mind, man. I don't it's know how tough. they don't lose their mind. I mean, it's just, it's so, and, and, the, and the part, the hard thing for, uh, like, I get, like, some of the plays of the field, the tag, bang, bang. I need the, I need to see it to make sure. These idiots behind home plate are from me to you to the action. If you can't get it right 95% of the time, you're just not good at it. In and out especially. Up and down, I understand. Give me a little bit more varied. Like, yeah. One thing in watching Major League players like on the TV as, as much as I have lately is I just did I underestimated how good they are at staying on the plate the majority of the time. They don't really make a lot of mistakes east and west. The players do when they make decision makings, even more so before two strikes. When you get two strikes, to me, I never get upset with anybody swinging at something. You got no more strikes. You know what I mean? You just <laughs> you got no more strikes. You want to see something funny? This right. is a funny meme. Y'all gonna take the y'all gonna take the gonna take the big look. Awesome. You seen that one? Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen this one? Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> oh yeah. You know how on your phone you get uh, <laughs> missed miss calls? calls. Yeah. yeah. Angel Hernandez has about six missed yeah, calls. Missed calls. It's all yeah. Angel Hernandez. I saw that the other day. Miss that call. was good. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Daniel, just to give you, uh, you like the history of the game, so I'll just give you a little background on on, on the White Rat because I, we were reading about him. So he was with the Mets, mm-hmm. and Gil Hodges passed away in spring training. He had a heart attack after golfing one day. He was the manager of the Mets. And so the speculation was, well, Whitey's the next guy. Whitey was next in line to be the skipper. And the Mets were run by a guy named M. Donald Grant. He's the guy who traded Tom Seaver. He's, if you ask any old Mets fan about M. Donald Grant, they used to call Grant's tomb. They hate him. He's just dead to us, and he is dead. But anyway, um, so M. Donald Grant, not only did he pass over uh, Whitey to give it to Yogi Berra, who's a Hall of Famer and, you know, and played shortly for the Mets, but any, a more popular name. But Whitey was known already as being a baseball, like mm-hmm. he, he was going to be good wherever he went. And so they also ordered him to not attend Hodges' funeral, which was really weak. So anyway... Herzog left the Mets and took a managerial job. And this is this is the part that I wanted to tell you about. He took over the, for the Texas Rangers. And do you know who he replaced? Ted Williams. Very good. All right. Ted There's Williams. a YouTube video out of Ted Williams <laughs> talking hitting in his Rangers yeah. uniform yeah. that it's I've good seen. Stuff. It's really good that stuff. That is good stuff. Now, did Whitey's father play in the big leagues? 
Because uh, I question. feel like I've uh, there's Bill a Herzog. Herzog. There's a Herzog I remember at least. I feel like if with he did, the New York Giants way back ago. in the day. Yeah, with the New York Giants. Boy, um, if you get this one, I'm gonna give you a tip of the oh cap. Oh my goodness, we might be onto something. Yeah, that would be tasty. Uh, his, fa- uh, his father worked at a brewery. Okay, his mother at a shoe factory. Makes Dad sense. Gummit. Yeah, good try Almost. though. Good try. Maybe it was Whitey. I was did thinking. you see the? Um, did you see uh, one of our favorite characters in Major League Baseball history pass this week? Carl. The dudes that, yeah, the dudes that traded families. Oh, Fritz. Yeah. Fritz Peterson. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Carl Erskine, who was the last of the, the boys of summer from the Brooklyn. The, the only living member of the 1955 Brooklyn Dodgers left is Sandy. Okay. Koufax. Wow. He's still alive. Yeah, Carl Erskine passed No, away. I was talking about the dude. I'm much more intrigued. Uh, forget the boys of summer. I, like, right, the, so I like the two dudes that traded. The you 70s. know the story? You know the story, don't you? I'm not sure. This one's a good one, Daniel. Okay, so there's Mike Kekich oh, and yeah, Fritz I just Peterson. Found out about this they story. both pitched for the Yankees. They were best of friends. <sighs> best friends. So the friends, the husbands and the wives hung out together. Mm-hmm. In midseason one year, they announced a big trade. Mm-hmm. Uh, they traded each other's wives and children. For each other. So Fritz went and married this dude's family. Fritz went with Kekich's and, and wife. Kekich went it. with Fritz's yeah. wife. And one, of them stayed, one of them stayed together. The other one never made it. Yeah. yeah. So. It's probably the first time they got together when they announced yeah, that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> it was one of the, and it happened in New York. Uh, Understand? Let's just say, let's I don't just care say, what it happened. What, what, it, it happened in New York. What do you do when you're at the plate and you got a bat in your hand? <laughs> you swing, baby. You swing. Uh, let's come back with the final segment. It's a Beatros Plumbing Wednesday. It's the Murphy Power Hour here on 1010XL. Get Florida Gators play-by-play on 1010XL. The Gators hope for harmony in Music City, Florida, Vanderbilt. Thursday and Friday night and Saturday afternoon on 1010 AM. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. Imagine driving a late model Corvette, BMW, Mercedes, Lexus, Honda, Chevy, Ford, and more. All at a fraction of the original sticker price. Visit Vaughn Motor Group's indoor showroom and browse a great selection of dream cars that are inspected with warranties. Before you make your next auto purchase, check out Vaughn Motor Group on San Jose Boulevard or at VaughnMotorGroup.com for a complete inventory listing. If you can dream it, you can drive it at Vaughn Motor Group. Men, are you suffering from erectile dysfunction or PE? The medical providers at Prime Men's Medical Center offer breakthrough treatments that eliminate problems in the bedroom without pain or surgery. 98% of men see instant results on their first office visit. Listen to a specialist in men's health. I'm Dr. Simovitz. Prime Men's Medical Center offers breakthrough medical treatments that eliminate ED and PE. Men are even lasting 90 minutes or longer regardless of age or medical history. But that's not all. For a limited time only, call Prime Men's Medical Center now and your initial consultation and first treatment are completely free. You'll see instant results right in the office. You'll even get a gift that enhances your performance in the bedroom. All this worth hundreds of dollars is free if you call now. 904-664-8217. 904-664-8217. That's 904-664-8217. Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute is the sports medicine leader in Northeast Florida. We're proud to be the official sports medicine provider for your hometown teams, including the Jaguars, Sharks, Axemen, and the Jumbo Shrimp. We have the most cutting edge resources for sports medicine care, including active armor casting, Alter G anti-gravity treadmills, and highly trained physicians and athletic trainers. JOI is truly where the pros go, and so should you. Stevie Beatrice from Beatrice Plumbing here. A lot of plumbing companies say a lot of things. We focus on what customers say. Like who a few weeks ago, Donna, said the entire experience was the best fix-it experience she ever had. Or Chris, whose hot water went out on a Saturday, and he thanked us for getting it fixed that night. Because that's the difference when you hire a real plumber. They show up to fix the problem. So next time you need a plumber, remember Beatrice Plumbing. Because real plumbers fix problems real fast. Our slogan, Know Before You Blow, applies to more than just DUI cases. Hi, I'm attorney Lee Lockett of Lockett Law. Battery charges can result in jail time and criminal convictions too. So know before you blow a gasket and hit a loved one or a stranger. Drug crimes like possession of marijuana and cocaine will land you in cuffs too. So know before you blow. In a boating under the influence case, you also have the option to blow or not to blow. So know your options. 
Know Before You Blow. Go to knowbeforeyoublow.com now. Offices Jacksonville. Who are the top prospects? These kids can play ball. And you know what? 1010XL's draft previews are brought to you by Big Brothers Big Sisters of Northeast Florida. That's the foundation of this team. Listen for draft previews. Yo, E to the T here, and we've all been there before. A weekend trip to the casino? Cancel, because real life can't call it. My bookie's new and improved online casino is here to change the game. Dive into a truly realistic casino experience featuring the latest in slots, progressive jackpots, and live dealer action. All from the comfort of the crib, my boy. I love the live casino. Just go to my bookie and click live casino at the top. You'll find the dealers ready to spend just like you're at the casino. The MyBookie Casino provides the Las Vegas experience with the actions in your hands, and you don't even need to wear pants, my guy. Start at MyBookie today with a generous sign-up bonus using promo code 1010XL and a revamped loyalty program that'll ensure the host an exclusive VIP perk. So sign up and hit the casino with promo code 1010XL. The more you play, the more you win. Only with MyBookie. Come on, somebody. Bring your guns and bring your hoses, and we're ready to put up some punches. It's Guns and Hoses Charity Boxing. It's back. It's that time. Bell time. In fact, 6.30, Saturday, April 20th. Join us at UNF Arena. Dan and I there for the millionth year in a row. It is so much fun, this charity boxing. And it's serious, and it's fun, and it's impactful, and you're going to have a great time. By the way, street party before and after the event. Make it a day. Saturday, April 20th. Bell time, 6.30, UNF Arena. Guns and Hoses. The 2024 draft is almost here. The Jaguars are now on the clock. Join us at Everbank Stadium Thursday, April 25th for the official two-off draft party presented by Donovan Air Electric and Plumbing. <laughs> Be there as the Jaguars make the 17th overall pick and don't miss the unveiling of the official 30th season logo that you voted on. We're getting the party started at 7 p.m. Tickets are free, so register today at jaguars.com slash draft party. We can't wait to see you there. The Jacksonville Jaguars select... 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396 5555. Jacksonville. It's the Murphy Power Hour. We're talking a lot of baseball. I got sent this quote unquote leaked. I think this is just an example of a model. I don't think this is something that has been pushed to this point, but it's uh-huh. just. You know, the, under this format, you have 70 teams. In other words, you have 10 seven-team divisions in college football. They get all split up, conferences, quote-unquote. And then you have an eighth of 10 where there's relegation. You can you move in and out depending on okay. how you perform. But, boy, I t- and they're divided by west, southwest, plains, midwest, northeast, southeast, and south. And um, as a, a Gator grad or fan... You would like to take whoever drew this chart up, bring them into the slingshot factory, and shoot them into the sun. Because under this particular breakdown, this is where Florida would sit. Clemson, Duke, Florida State, Miami, NC State, North Carolina. Are you detecting a pattern here? Are they basically putting them in the ACC? Clemson, Duke, Mm -hmm. Florida State, Miami, NC State, North Carolina, Wake Forest, first of all, Wake Forest, you need to get right over there to the to, to the to the reg, you know relegation list. Oh dear, uh, Wake Forest, and then UCF in South Carolina. That is most distasteful. You don't like that. Why would I like that? Every win. rivalry Florida's ever had is gone. We can win. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, by the way, these yeah. brainiacs in the South have put Georgia Tech. Mm-hmm. With Alabama, Auburn, Georgia, Kentucky, LSU, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Vandy. Now, doesn't it seem real clear like maybe Georgia Tech should go in Florida's spot and Florida should go in that, and then there really wouldn't be any questions? Yeah. Or am I making too much of no. nothing? Well, First of all, it's not a... this is nothing official. Okay. Yeah. It's... And other than that, by the way, why does the SEC go to all this trouble to get all these schools if they're just going to be put in some southwest quadrant of the new college football system? Because they get the cash? I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's an odd time. If we're going to go to something like this, do you even need all the realignment? Right. If you're FSU, you just wait. Right. Yeah. What does it matter? You don't want to lose all that money. Let me ask you, when you were a free agent, as I saw this yesterday, when you were a free agent, did anybody do anything special besides money to woo you? 
Was there anything extra done? No. No? No, I had to sing for my supper in the first I understand. A bit. But you had earned your free agency. It mm-hmm. was you were you were a good a great addition to a ball club, so you were an all star. Um but you're not LeBron. No, and you gotta think I I came into the part of the market where there were a number of other players who looked a lot like me as far as production. At the point because you yeah. went then went and played better. Yes, I yes. my my best yes. my best statistical season was the one after I signed my yes. free agent deal. So you you yeah, you paid it back and then something. With Washington. With yes. Washington in sixteen. Yes. Silver mm-hmm. Slugger. Anyway, LeBron was a free agent mm-hmm. for the decision. And the boys got a hold of what New York presented. What the Knicks did for him. Is this real or a joke? It's real. Okay. They got the, there was a video. Okay. Ten minutes long. Okay. So imagine LeBron. Hey, LeBron. Did they just on. send it to his phone or no, they brought no, it in yeah, and played LeBron, it? LeBron, come yeah. on in. Hey, yeah, listen, mm-hmm. before we get started, we got this video. We want you to, we want you to. That's probably the biggest miss in North, in, in New York sports history. Not getting LeBron. Not getting LeBron. Never it's felt perfect. like we had a chance. Though. I know, but it would have been yeah. perfect. He's a yeah. Yankee fan. Yeah. It's Madison Square Garden. Yeah. You would have won a title. Yeah. He went to Miami. Yeah. Anyway, so what they did is they had uh, the Sopranos. Okay. To start the video. I didn't see the whole video. I just saw this. And now, is he, he alive at this point still? Well, he's in the video, so yes. Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Tony and, and Carmen. The show's probably actually still going on. Yeah. Yeah. So Tony and Carmen are there. Is that his wife in the his show? His wife. And <laughs> they start talking about this, like, how we got to get, you know, you, I know a guy who wants to come to New York. Where's he gonna? What? Where's he gonna live? Uh, oh, I gotta. He's got to She goes. Well, some nice places on the upper. Oh no, no. He needs a big place. And they. And he's on the computer. He goes. Hey, I found it. It's Madison Square Garden. And they did this whole skit thing. Okay. And that was just the start of it. And they got all kinds of other New York celebs to talk about LeBron coming to New York. And they came out of it just giggling, like like. At that point in time, I don't think that was going to woo LeBron. If somebody did something like that for you, would that have any, any impact? Obviously, it was a swing and a miss for the Knickerbocker organization. Mm, uh, it'd be pretty cool if somebody went through all that. You would enjoy that. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. But yeah. I look at it more like I can't. I, I'd be really surprised somebody would do it once. He maybe he probably got another show. For would you have? As well, would you have gone to a place for? I mean, is there pressure for a guy like you to take the best financial offer? There's usually more – you're encouraged to take the most money because mm-hmm. that's going to help the market behind you. Yeah. So let's say, um, in reality, like the two-year deal that we were able to sign in Denver, mm-hmm. it's reasonable to think that that might have been the only multiple-year offer we had. Right, and right. So, like, um, was heading into that – and this is – I didn't help at all with my play there, but right. was Denver, the Colorado probably wouldn't have been the team chosen – that Bye. we were talking to that would have had the best chance of winning a World Series. Right. If that right. makes sense. Right. Well, I always, I always go back to uh, Tom Glavin, who just was a square peg round hole for the Mets. Mm-hmm. And just in the respect that – but he was a player rep. Or was he the head of the union? Or Yeah, the, he would have been really – He yeah. had to take the best offer. Mm-hmm. And the best offer was from the Mets. And I, he didn't want to pitch for the Mets. I mean, in that situation, there, I wouldn't. I would consider someone like Tom to be more insulated from the situation that I'm in. Uh You don't see nearly as many people in the game that look like Tom than you did at me at that time. And not to say that I'm, yeah, putting myself in a different realm now. Yeah. Um. That, but some guys get to choose their shot. Yes. Like most of the guys in free agency, the shot gets chosen Mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. The offer from from the Nats was was the only one, and there was only a couple more. The second. The problem with the Mets is they went and got Glavin. He was like. Wasn't he like 37 or something he was already? Still effective, though, because he was yeah. never, you know, he was, but he just, he had horrible, some horrible loss. He won his 300th game. You know, with it, yeah. Well, is he, I mean, his one loss was terrible 9 and 14, 11 yeah. and 14. Then he went 13 and 13, 15 and 7, 13 and 8. Yeah. Not, not, not awful. He lost and the, the one ERAs that mattered. were three, the- <laughs> three, five, three, six. He lost to us. He gave up like 11. No, it was the Marlins. Yeah. It was the end of the year. It was oh, one we game. needed it. Yeah, we, we yeah. beat him and we're in. And, he gave up like eight in the first or something, and yeah, it we took just, the life out. Nice. It was just awful. Attaboy, Tom. Aaron we sent him up there just for that. Probably. It wouldn't shock me. But anyway. Um, Four yeah. 21 seasons for the Braves. Oh, yeah. That's terrific. A lot. terrific five, I'm sorry, five. I shorted him one. Five 21 five seasons? Five 21 seasons. His first was in 91. His last with the Braves in 2000. Many, five in 10 years. How many innings did he pitch as Evan for you? In his career? Yeah. Um... Yeah, he's up in the 240s a lot of years. Uh, 4,413. 4,400 innings. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Stick a quarter in him. Yeah, 4,400 innings. We got innings. a guy throwing 59 pitches last night. Well, I'm sure. Sh- well, 
He'll fifty nine pitches, and he's going to get hurt. Yeah, well, yeah, he's going to get hurt, and I just don't. I don't. I I got to think it's the youth. All right, trivia. Did did uh, Tom did Tom Glavin win a sigh? I would say yes. Yeah, yeah. I would say, say one. Say yes. Yeah, no, two. One, two, two. Cy Youngs. He won a Cy Young. In, Smoltz did not. Smoltz right? won a Cy Young. He did win one. I think he won one. I think he won one. I could be wrong. Let me double check. Was it as a starter or a reliever? <sighs> the reliever, I think. Hold on, he, he I could be wrong one on year that. Where he was, I may, I may be wrong. He may, as Smoltz may not. I didn't know Glavin had two. I thought he only had one. Maddox won three of them, I think. Uh, four. Four. Uh, four. He won like three in a row with the Braves. Yeah, yeah. Three, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Too. I think Smoltz won one, dude. I do. I think he won four. one. Just let me know. I, I'm gonna have to go Pat Hinkin on you here. Uh boy, you go to the uh, 90s. There's Murphy jumping around, 417, 2009. Louis Castillo legs out an infield single to beat the Brewers 5 4. The walkoff is the first in city field history. There you are, Murphy. You, you, you want to know Who's why? Boy? You want to know why Braves fans like me. Is that uh, Ryan Church? Was Ryan Church on that team? Was he on the 09 team? I don't know. Maybe wrong. I mean, you want to know why Braves fans like me? It seems sacrilegious, but because we really truly understand why we mutter curse words under our breath at Bobby Cox and not. Ac- ad- you know, accolades and parades. Let me read off the Cy Young Award winners in the 90s. Ali Perez out there. 1991 Glavin, 92 Maddox, 93 Maddox, 94 Maddox, 95 Maddox, 96 Smoltz, 98 Glavin. Oof. One title we got. Smoltz got one? That. Was Smoltz a reliever I, or starter? It was 96. Starter. Starter. Jeez. I don't I think you have more titles, but I, I hang the pennants a little bit higher than... Yeah, we do. Games. We got to win yeah, more than one, one with Maddox, series. Glavin, and Smoltz. Never injured, by the way. Always in their prime. Mm-hmm. Always riding into the postseason with those three dudes, and we won one. Oof. Yeah. For a lot of years. Mm-hmm. The Braves won the Cy Young six years in a row and eight out of ten. Oh, in a decade. In a decade. <laughs> Who is Reed Oof. on that team? On oh, which team? Jeremy. That's who it is? Jeremy Reed, okay. yeah. Ron Reed. Did he play for us? Yeah, he, uh, yeah, Jeremy, he was, and then he was uh, hitting. So we got him in the trade with Putts from the Mariners. Oh, um, Putts. Um, JJ, yeah, that JJ, was a bad blast trade. from the past. Well, <laughs> that was, God love our Mets. The year before, we had the, the, in 2008, the bullpen wasn't great. Right. So we went out and made a move um, for JJ Putts and then yeah. Frankie Rodriguez as well, too, right? Frankie. We sewed, up, we sewed up the end of that, back into that. K Rod. K Rod. The gas can. No, that was Benitez. We used to call Benitez Delgado, the gas Delgado, can. Delgado on yeah, this Yeah, Carlos Delgado okay. started the year. Delgado was good up. for the Mets, wasn't oh, he? Was he? Great. Yeah. he? just in this, this, this is at in the 2009, end. Yeah. It was, he gets hurt that year, which actually is the reason why I end up getting to play first base because nice. oh, he goes okay. down. Yeah, yeah. Church was on that team. Man, he might get a Jose's out oh, what, there, any, out is there. Anything uh, caught your eye uh, on the baseball season here, early season? Only got a couple of weeks in. It's kind of gone according, you know, I mean, look, anytime yeah. something weird happens, it's always this time of year. There's... You know, some poor team like the Pirates will start eight games over 500 and end up finishing with 76 wins. But anything jump out? Lots of parity. Because yeah. even the, the yeah. Dodgers right now heading yeah. into the season, it would have been their starting pitching bulk that would have concerned me. You could say that about any team. Mm-hmm. And then the injuries that they've had so far. Um, and then I still, I, I, would pro- I put the Braves best. I like the way they defend and then their lineup. But there's more parity throughout the whole league than I think. Then well, um, we've had like the East, the American League East now, the worst uh, record in the division, nine and nine for the Red Sox. So they've they've um, kind of established themselves. The Central, the National League Central, again, every team at least five hundred. So those two divisions, uh, as to speaking, you know, to the parity, it's uh, there's not a you know there's a couple bottom feeders, right? The Rockies again are terrible this year. The Marlins are awful. Yeah, Sorry, E. Uh, but the surprise White off, Sox White Sox 2 and 14 they're the worst yeah. they've ever started Ooh. and the surprise i guess the, one of the biggest surprises is that the Astros are the disastros they're terrible yeah, and i've watched them they can't the last, hit i was going to ask you cuz they're no the good Braves the last yeah. two nights i mean Altuve's old uh Bregman these are good players Altuve Bregman Tucker Jordan Alvarez Jordan. they're good players yeah but Correa's got I mean the Correa and Springer and you know, these other accessory uh, accessory players just um you know, they played without Abreu last night, and he was already kind of old when they got him mm-hmm. as a replacement. And the pit, but more than that, it's the you know they got no pitching. Yeah, they're, the they're, the two down. good pitchers they have are hurt. Mm-hmm. And then and uh, then the bullpen and then Verlander season. also. And yeah, Verlander's out. I think they they haven't thrown the ball as well uh, at the back end with Hader. Um, the guy you the, mentioned earlier, you said was that the guy that pitched? What was his name? Pre, uh, free, what's his name? I I told you a a, a, a first rounder pitched last night, and you threw a name at me, but it wasn't him. 
Oh, Whitley. Forrest Whitley. I think he, yeah. he may make his debut today. Yeah, it's supposed oh. to be. Yeah. Yeah, because he was, he was very highly Good. Uh, As a, prospect. Let's get out of town against a guy making his first uh, first appearance. Let's get a sweep of the Astros and move Bonus along. Bonus game for the for the Braves and the Mets today. Yeah. Series what one. A, win yeah. a series, you get that third yeah. game. Sweet. Nothing yeah, to I, lose. I, I'm game. sure Braves fans join me. It just feels like it's kind of been a ho-hum start, but you're 11-5. and five. You can't go complaining, you know? No. I can't. No, just haven't gotten over that 16-4 to four yet. That's what's still in there. Uh, what, yeah, that's why they're. That's why they came. Among away. the things that that's are why very the disappointment reigns in Atlanta. Among the things that are very low on the concern level, the Mets. Sixteen to four. We got to go. Respect. Murph, great to see you, my man. Great to see you guys. It's Daniel Murphy, the ITP me. Power Hour. Always good to see the Murph and talk some hardball with him. Uh, yeah, tell uh, brother Johnny shore up that Trinity team. They lost a game finally. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They went. They went and played in a national tournament. I know. Played really well. I was talking. They are about really it. good. They yeah. are a fun team to watch and. Uh, uh, your buddy's son is having a heck of a year. Yeah, he's, just, just, he's a Jordan sophomore, Martinez, right? Yeah, Jordan just yeah, hit seventh home run. Well, yeah, I mean that's good stuff. Really good team, and I can't wait for the uh, postseason gets going. I think next week or the week yeah, after. Baseball so. around here is the oh so awesome. good. We're so, so good. fortunate. Yeah, we are. All right, uh, we'll be back to wrap it up next on the drill. The drill on 1010XL from the studios of Republic Services. We'll handle it from here. Start your Sunday off with a cup of Joe and some sports medicine intel. This is Joe C. inviting you to join me and Dr. George Bari for Breaking Bones every Sunday morning at 730. And if you miss an episode, just look for Breaking Bones wherever you listen to podcasts. Hi, this is Dale Murray with Murray Automotive Group in Stark and Kingsland. Save yourself from those big city dealers and their fast-talking flim-flam tactics. No matter what your automotive need is, we've got you covered. Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and nobody beats our prices, and I mean nobody. Shazam! Plus our exclusive 15-year, 150,000-mile warranty included on every qualified vehicle. And we'll trade anything from AirPods to fishing rods. Compare our prices online at ShazamAuto.com, then come see me, Dale Murray. I'll be waiting for you. Shazam! Ready for a heating and air company that's just as local as your favorite coffee shop? That's Bolt City Heating and Air. Jacksonville grown, family owned and operated, and not bought out by the out of town big guys. And with transparent pricing, you'll know the costs up front with options to choose from, backed by Bolt City Satisfaction Guarantee. And rest assured, Bold City Techs will treat your home with white glove service. You can be comfortable today. Visit BoldCityAC.com. Clearwater. John, I can't even mow my side yard. It's so soggy. Man, my builder sucks. Brent, calm down. This is a common problem in neighborhoods where houses are built too close together. You need gutters and a properly installed French drain that will soak up subsurface water. We can completely dry it up. So I can take my builder off my speed dial now, huh? Yeah, we got you, buddy. Let that builder bitterness go. Clearwater irrigation and drainage too. Folks, it can hear for zero res. Man, if you're like me, you're getting the itch for some deep cleaning. The problem is most of us have, don't like throwing stuff away, right? But we always call zero res for our floors. We'll have the zero res crew clean all the flooring because this month all flooring is 25% off. That's right, 25% off carpets, towel and grout, wood and vinyl floors, and area rugs. Great time to get all the floors clean. Zero res, man. Zero res. They've been doing it for years. You spell it forward, you spell it backwards. Zero res. It's the right way to clean. Any adventure, any task, any time. There's a CF Moto Utility ATV or UTV for any rider. See the full lineup at Ride Now Beach Boulevard. Venture seekers can start with the trail testing capability and comfort of the C Force lineup. For the ultimate in UTV performance, check out the Z Force 950. Find your utility ATV at Ride Now Beach Boulevard or online at cfmotousa.com. ATVs are recommended for the use only by riders age 16 years and older. ATVs can be hazardous to operate. CF Moto recommends approved training course for safety and training information. This is Keith Catlin for Catlin Truck Accessories, and we are so blessed to be in business for over 100 years. Over 100 years of the best products and customer service means you can count on Catlin. From roll and lock bed covers to Lear toppers to cam locker toolboxes, Catlin Truck Accessories has you covered when it comes to your truck or van. We do those too. Got a fleet of vehicles? We can outfit them all. Who can you count on? Count on Catlin. One name, one location, 100 years. You can count on Catlin. This state in sports history is brought to you by Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. On April 17, 1974, at the Senior PGA Championship, Lee Trevino beats Jim Colbert by one stroke for his second title in the event.
Well, I'd like to think that you know this already, and I sure hope you have experienced it if you're a pet owner. Because if you're a pet owner, there is only one place that gets you the peace of mind that you want, and it's a perfect name. It's Pet Paradise. It's the ultimate home away from home for your four-legged family member. Whether your pet prefers a splash in the pool or just making new friends, Pet Paradise's team of pet lovers now, pet-loving pros, going to ensure the most important pet in your world has a great visit, whether it's day camp or an overnight stay. Oh, by the way, inside these ultra-modern facilities, dotting the First Coast, I believe eight or nine locations now, it's always any and everything you need under one roof. They have professional grooming services, veterinary services with New Day Veterinary Care. At Pet Paradise, it's top shelf customer service and treatment for that member of your family, that four-legged member of your family. So go to Pet Paradise right now. Book an appointment. Find out what they're all about at PetParadise.com. 15,000 workers. I'm Brian Rose from Remedy Staffing. We survey 15,000 blue-collar workers each year to better understand what drives quality and dependability in our workforce. The survey shows when looking for a new job, the initial pay rate, job security, and safety while working are the most important factors for hourly workers. If you're an employer and would like to learn more about the voice of the blue-collar worker, please call us at 904-528-1933. Attention veterans, if you have a VA loan, you need to listen to this, especially if your current rate is higher than 6.5%. Now is the time to take advantage of the federal government's VA Streamline Refinance Program. With my friends at Loan Pronto, you can. Go to LoanPronto.com. Prosser here, and Loan Pronto has fixed rate APRs in the five. You can drop your rate now. Lower your payment with no income documentation and no appraisal. Do it at LoanPronto.com. Their all-digital platform makes it easy. They can even cover your closing costs. If you need cash now, Loan Pronto can get you up to 100% of your home value. You can pay off all your credit cards or other debt and save as much as $1,000 a month. Call Loan Pronto now at 904-999-1508 or get a 30-second rate quote at LoanPronto.com. Ask about streamlined VA loans, no income doc, and no appraisal. Loan Pronto, 999-1508 or LoanPronto.com. Equal housing lender, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. All right, I'll leave you with this nugget. Uh, it's making its way around social media. Don't know if it's true or not, but that's what social media is for. Falcons owner Arthur Blank called uh, Robert Kraft after his first meeting with Belichick this offseason. Kraft warned Blank not to trust Belichick. A source close to Belichick said Kraft was a big part of why the Falcons passed on hiring him this offseason. Spokesman for Kraft strongly denied that Kraft said anything disparaging. That's on ESPN, by the way. So. Why, if you were an owner, would you, wouldn't you want any other team to tank? Like, if I'm an owner and someone calls me and I know there's something wrong with the guy they're about to hire, I'm like, yeah, hire that dude. Yeah. You saw what he did with us. Yeah, I would say this about Belichick. I think there's, after watching the documentary, well, I mean, the, the, the Patriots they, have been analyzed every which way. Mm-hmm. Belichick is a pain in the ass, but he knows football. He knows X's and O's. He probably would be better served if he had another person helping him with roster procurement. I don't think that's necessarily his strength. But man, if that guy can that guy can come up with a game plan to win. Yeah, we looked at that draft history thing, yeah. and it was, the Patriots were there. It's been him. They yeah. were like third or fourth or yeah. fifth the year before. So we say he's not good at player procurement, but yet there they. I mean, by that, there has to be a reason why. Uh, no disrespect to Raheem Morris. But there has to be a reason when you have Bill Belichick and Raheem Morris to choose from well, uh, yeah, we why know, you would take you know Raheem what? Morris. We know that reason, Dan. We've seen every press conference. Yeah. Uh, that's, well, yeah. I mean, you can't, you know, that's what it is. Some huh? people be like, yeah, no, I need yeah. a little more energy. I need yeah. a little more, you know. I think with a team that's poised to win right now He'd with Kirk Cousins, I think Belichick would have been a great fit in I, Atlanta. T- listen, I think they went I, the wrong way. But that's just me. It's the Atlanta thing to do if you ask me. Yeah. Hopefully Raheem Morris is Belichick. And his first try didn't work good. And the second try, he... Wins a bunch of titles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I think there's – I think that's – it's like when you – like Belichick doesn't feel the need probably to – owners want to be talked to, kept in the loop. Let, let right. You know, Belichick doesn't feel that need to do that with anybody. And I'm sure it drove Kraft like it drove Brady, clearly drove Brady crazy. Yeah. 
Brady is Brady has been more Tom Brady in the last three years than he ever was Tom Brady in New England. But he won a lot of titles. But they won. He, so yeah. there's the trade off, and I don't know. And and then again, there's also always the did it pass you by? You know, Belichick mm-hmm. seventy one. So that probably factored into. I just think it's interesting. All right, we're done. Uh, uh, we're back tomorrow. Or are you off? Why would I be off? I thought you said you had diarrhea and you need to be off. Jeez. Didn't you tell me that at 7 a.m. this morning? That's going to do it for a okay, maybe Beatrice maybe Plumbing. Maybe well, I, it's a Beatrice Plumbing Perhaps Wednesday, so if Perhaps I do, I it's wrong. my business. How about that? The drill from the studios at Republic Services. We'll handle it from here. Some situations call for mystery. Yes. 